That's right, we're going to open up this vault door. We're going to get this stream fired up. Oh, welcome, everybody. Look at me on time and everything. Well, at least close. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming in to the stream today. Uh, we got the vault open. We're ready to play some games today. Uh, good to see you all in there. Thanks to people uh, following my channel when I'm not even online. Appreciate that. I see a bunch of follows there. Uh, thanks for coming in and hanging out. Now, today is going to be a fun day. We're going to be working on some Valenheim today. Uh, we're going to be working on our giant mega base. You're welcome to come join me uh, if you are one of my crew. And if you're not one of my crew, guess what? I can teach you how to be part of my crew. Uh, I can go ahead and put my social media right there in the chat. Uh, or you can just go exclamation discord uh, in the chat as well. I uh, go onto my discord. Uh, there's a section there that says rules, exclamation rules. You can read those rules and there's a green check mark right at the very bottom. You hit that green check mark. Once you say, kids, yeah, I can be awesome uh, for sure. Uh, and so uh, you can go ahead and uh, uh, hit that green check mark and then uh, get access to the server. And come join us. Know that we do ask that you create a brand new character and that you uh, only play that character with us until we take out the fifth boss. Now you're welcome to come in. Uh, get geared up, or you're welcome just to run around. You're like, Kidman, I'm new to the game. I just want to run around a little bit. Uh, get used to the game. You're welcome to do that as well. We are working in the hardest zone right now on our gigantic mega castle. <laughs> it is looking awesome, everybody. Awesome, awesome. Also sorting all of the loot, so we got to get that going on today. We're working with our farms. We've got to get our animals tamed. Man, we got so much stuff to do, and that's the moment my eye goes out. <laughs> uh, we got so much stuff to do uh, that we got to get into it. We got to get going. Uh, and I appreciate you all hanging out uh, as well. Uh, oh, I see Dragon Overlord in the chat. What's up? Hey, Kesman. Hey, everyone. Today got uh, good to amazing because I watch the best streamer on Twitch. Oh, thank you, Dragon Overlord. I appreciate that. Uh, you're always so kind again in the chat. I appreciate it. Uh, now, of course, uh, if you uh, haven't been watching my Twitter or my Discord, my daughters, very bravely, I'm so proud of them, uh, went and uh, got their COVID shot. They're, they got to get two shots because you can only have the certain type uh, for uh, children. My daughters, who, uh, my twin daughters who are 13 and then my oldest daughter who's 16, uh, who don't like shots, but who really does, right? Uh, who wants to go, Woo! I want to get a shot today. Yay, let's go do that. <laughs> nope, I don't. It, you're a little messed up in the head if that's your favorite thing. Uh, but uh, they very bravely went in there. And my wife let my oldest daughter, who's 16, uh, go uh, with the doctor. And then she was with my uh, younger daughters, uh, who are 13, uh, again. And uh, uh, my youngest daughters, uh, they, my one of my twins, a champion, man. Boom, got it. Was just fine. Uh, the other one got it and then said, oh, okay, we got it done. And then... Oh, <laughs> passed out, uh, as you do, because you know what you do is you build that stuff up in your head. It's more, you know, the shot itself is just a pinch, ow, 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 and then you're done. That's it. It just takes a bit. How do I know? I got my shot. I've, I've got my, I'm vaccinated. So did my wife. Uh, my wife don't like getting shots either. I don't like getting shots, but you know what I do? I just pretend to like it's not happening. <laughs> That's what I've done since I was young, and it works very effectively. you got to find what works effectively for you. Uh, so I just sat there, and they're like, they pulled a thing up, and I'm like, all right, you do your thing. I'm going to be looking over here. So I'm looking over that way. They're doing what they need to do over there. And then you're like, ah, yikes. Ouch. All right, let's go. Uh, and then they're done. They're like, That's it. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm out. And then... No side effects, no nothing. I'm fine. Uh, I got the Johnson Johnson single shot because that's what my wife wanted to get. Uh, again, my kids got to get the dual shot. Uh, but my daughter, who who when I you know when she was younger, absolutely had a meltdown one time. She's like, wait, 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 and literally took like thirty minutes, thirty minutes until I had to do the dad thing. Uh, it, there's nothing nothing more heartbreaking in your life, everybody. And when you got to look at nurses and go. Uh, give them the, give them the head nod, meaning that, cause they're going to look at you and say, if it's okay, if they grab your child and hold your child down and then give them a shot. Now she was like eight, nine o'clock and eight, nine years old then way long time ago. Uh, I think so. Or maybe it was 10. I forget. Uh, it was a long time ago, but, uh, she was just having an absolute meltdown. She had nothing to do with it. She had built it all up in her head. Uh, and so she got her shot and literally she got the shot. Nothing. Bam. Fine. Right after that. <laughs> uh, again, don't build it up in your head, everybody. Go be brave. My daughters are very brave. I'm so proud of them. Uh, so my uh, my oldest daughter, uh, who has that problem with uh, needles and surgery and all that stuff, you 
she builds it up. Uh, she went in there and she said, and, you know, she went in there for a while. It took her a while to get to a point where she was ready. Uh, and then she's like, you just have to, you're just going to have to do it because I'm just going to have this problem until you do it. Uh, that was very brave of her. With no, no uh, interaction or uh, prompting from me or my wife, she bravely just said, go and do it. And so they did. And I'm very, very proud of her for that. Uh, overcoming your fear is the hardest thing you'll ever do in your life, everybody. Uh, overcoming that fear of asking that person out, the fear of feeling like a failure or making a mistake or embarrassing yourself. Those are the biggest fears that you're going to face in your life. And you know what? You got to embrace those. You got to embrace those moments, right? That's what I do. I say, ah, I need a shot. All right, hit me. I'm not watching, though. <laughs> I'll be over here. Because if you, if I watch, I'll probably pass out too. I don't, I don't blame my daughter for passing out at all. Uh, you know, I'm a 50 year old man. I've had lots and lots of shots. I've had shots going in, and I've had blood being taken out, uh, for sure, many, many a time. Uh, but uh, I just don't look. Uh, and that's my secret. <laughs> As a lot of people don't. Lies. I see a lot of people doing the same thing. They're younger than me and older than me. People in their 70s and people uh, who are in their 20s just going, yeah, you do your thing, bro. You do, you just draw that blood. You know, you put your arm over there like this. You got your arm. You're like, all right, you draw that blood. You do your thing. I'm looking over here. I'm just going to not watch any of this, right? Uh, so big love also to uh, our frontline uh, workers as well, uh, all the nurses and doctors out there who deal with that every single day. And I'm sure they see it time and time again, uh, for sure, for sure. So very proud of my daughters uh, who did that. Now, of course, they got to go back and get a second shot. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but they were very brave. Uh, I just wanted to shout them out on uh, on the Twitter and on the Discord and uh, here on the stream. Again, very, very brave. Uh, because you know, at that age, you you got this, you got it all built up in your head. When you get older, it's like you've had a hundred thousand shots. You know, you had shots all your whole entire life. You know, whether it's uh, immunization shots or you had the flu shot or you had uh, uh, antibiotics, uh, where instead of taking the medicine, you get a shot in the rump. Sometimes you get a double shot, like me. Oh man, there's nothing like those double shots, bro. Uh, double shots in the rump uh, that have like a delayed pain. Right. At first, it doesn't hurt. Uh, and then you get by the time you, you know, you're out of there, you get to your car and you sit down in your car. Holy mackerel. like a fire is under your butt. <laughs> you're like, ha, ho, ho. Yeah, ha, ha. Woo. OK, now let's kick it in. <laughs> but then again, uh, I'm not dead. So there you go. So that's your option. everybody. <laughs> that's your option. Uh, do you want to stay alive? And yes, I do. And do I care if others live or die? Yes, I do. Uh, so uh, that's why you go and you do that stuff uh, to uh, make sure that everybody else uh, also survives as well, not just about you. Uh, again, that's the thing you try to teach your kids. Try to teach your kids to be responsible, to not only just care about themselves, but to care about others in the world because we're not alone here. Billions of others in the world as well. But I don't know about you guys. I'm ready to do some battles. I'm ready to play some games. I'm ready to get into it. Uh, so thanks for coming in and hanging out. So let's get to it. All right, let's start with some hydration, everybody. Let's go. Mm. Big amount of hydration there. I actually slept like a normal person again. Isn't that amazing? Uh, it's always amazing when I when I actually slept like a normal person. I would love to go back and be the person I was before six years ago, <laughs> where I could just go to sleep at nine. I wasn't dizzy all the time. I could just do all the things that I used to do without uh, even thinking about it. Going up and down stairs and and running and doing all of that stuff. Uh, but you can't go back in life, everybody. You can't go back in time, no matter how much you think you can in the Avengers. <laughs> uh, you got to push forward. Uh, always pushing forward, not uh, going backwards. Don't spend too much time in the past that you forget to live your current uh, present, right? Uh, important, important stuff. Now, we're ready to play some Valenheim. If you are going to come and join me, feel free to get onto the Discord, uh, into the voice chat. Uh, we're going to have some fun uh, for sure today. We're going to get into it. See if everybody's in there right now. Uh, as well as uh, we're going to, of course, do some Stream Raiders. Let's go ahead and get that started first. <laughs> to battle! Yeah, a little bit of coughing coming on there. Uh, all right, we're going to start off with a tough one here. Let's go and see what quests we got. Oh, we got some stuff in the quests and in the store over here. Uh, what do we got? Uh, kill three armored units. Anything that's like a kill thing, I don't really worry about. 
um, but all the other stuff. And I really boosted my haste now. Uh, I went heavy into the haste spell. Uh, it's like 14 seconds long now. <laughs> uh, you guys are going to be like super fast. So uh, that's going to be good. Uh, let's see. Whoa, I got 1,400 extra scrolls right here. I got two level 30 tanks and a 1,400 scrolls on top of that. Uh, too bad you couldn't turn those in and use those for another one. All right. Oh, we got a rogue one. How much we got? 132. All right. Let's definitely go rogue. Uh, we can get our flag bearer. Uh, healer's already max level. Yeah, let's go flag bearer. There we go. Uh, you know, we we'll use the little gold we got. And let's go ahead and start up a battle. Again, we're going to start up this level uh, thing here. We're just two away from the boss. This is a tough one to start the day with. So I'm going to bring in... I'm going to bring in the, the epic healer. That's what I'm going to do. And we're going to try to make a run uh, for this right here. Uh, doesn't look too bad, though. It's only got one thing, but who knows how many people are going to spawn. Uh, so gather around Norbert here. Norbert is my little baby dragon. Uh, he's going to uh, heal the heck out of all you guys. They're going to be so cute. Uh, gather around him. He's going to heal the heck out of you guys so you guys get tons and tons of loot. We're going to do battles all day long. Uh, so feel free to come on in. Uh, follow that link. Again, my name is Kismet, K-I-S-M-E-T. It'll give you access to the battle board once you download the app on your mobile device or on your laptop uh, or desktop. You can play through uh, the web browser. Uh, you can play while you're watching the stream at the same time. You can go ahead and put down your units every one, every five minutes, just like uh, Paste is done right there. Nice job, Paste. And on your behalf, I'm going to go ahead and give all you early birds a thousand kids caps for being here right at the top of the stream i appreciate uh all of you all right now while we're letting that run uh for the next uh 28 minutes uh, we're gonna go play some valenheim let's go all right now here's my sexy looking character right there uh, i have restarted the server just to get us started today uh let's get into it uh, let's see, we got uh, three retweets already. Oh, I gotta put the password in. I always forget that part. Uh, let's see, I I just I just put it in there and I already forgot what it was. I, see, I'm only comes up with the passwords and I forget them right away. <laughs> Again, I block it just in case. Uh, you know, you never know. But it used to be, by the way, another game called Seven Days to Die where you would. Uh, you could actually see the password while you were typing it. And so if you were typing it on stream, everybody would have the password to your server. Uh, I think that's kind of funny. All right, here we are, everybody. Now, we are in our gigantic uh, mega castle here. Now, remember, this is not just me, everybody. There's a whole bunch of peeps working together. Uh, if you are awesome at teamwork and working together, you want to come help uh, gather materials uh, or uh, work together, uh, feel free to come on in. Uh, and hang out. Now you can see down there, this is eventually going to be our village. And you can see uh, our massive structure here uh, that we've been working on, our primary base. Uh, it is shaping up. Oh, I like the nice open feel of it uh, where you're not actually inside, but you're inside, if you know what I mean. Now look at this over here. Al has been working on this. This is a genius idea. Uh, as you can see, we have a ton of windmills. Uh, and these windmills are grinding up our barley and they are running it down below there. And then you collect it all down below. Uh, and then you can store it down there and kind of like a grain silo, uh, which I absolutely love. We're going to call it the Allen grain silo. How about that? Uh, I should make a little thing and, and make a little sign for it right there. Uh, as you can see, we have a, a little tiny little bit of farms going <laughs> uh, in the mega style that we like to do. You can see we got a massive amount of farms uh, fired up there. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep those going today. We're going to actually have some animal pins real close to our base here. Uh, I was working on that a little bit. Uh, we'll probably have to work on oh, something up there. Looks like wood or something up there. I don't know what it is. Uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, Soul actually did this part, and uh, each of my crew have done different parts of the base. Uh, the main part of this large base here, uh, Anon did that. Uh, Alan is working on that over there for the barley. Uh, I was working on the farms down here. Uh, of course, with their help, we went and cut the whole area out and flattened it out, even though we said we weren't going to cut any more area out. You always end up flattening stuff out anyway uh and so we went and created our beautiful farms here still does need a bit of work but uh it definitely turned out wonderful right there uh and of course uh we need to get our uh animals uh over here and captured so that we can uh, uh we can use them for farming and whatnot uh of materials now we can also have farms elsewhere but we are trying to centralize all of our stuff here 
Uh, and you can see that I've been working on my area, which is the sorting area, right? So we've uh, put in wood, core wood, fine stone, all the basics uh, over on this side, right here next to our various different uh, forges. We've got iron ore, silver ore. We've got coal on this side. Now, these are our kind of two highest uh, things that we're doing uh, out of these particular things, which would be silver and iron. Uh, over here, uh, this is for your black iron. Uh, this is really, uh, really awesome over here. So you, uh, uh, you put in uh, some coal in there, uh, and then you put in some black iron over there, and that'll get going. So we got to uh, put another space there for the black iron uh, to be held up. Uh, and you can see I've got my own box here on the side, and this is for my crew. And then we're going to add a bunch more boxes on the other side, and this is going to be our little central area. Uh, we've also got our random crafting box, which has got a bit more uh, of our stuff. Now, on this side, I'm feeling uh, probably uh, our uh, iron and all of that stuff. And then we're going to have uh, what we call the, uh, the loot library, which is going to be probably back along this back wall here. Uh, which is going to be all of our excess, right? So if you have you know, wood box number two and stone box number two and so on uh, over there, uh, out of the way. Uh, and back here, we've got uh, a bit of this. Now, I might take this out and rearrange all of this because we've got a ton of various different loot in here, like stone, uh, which we can take and go ahead and put into the stone box. We can go ahead and take the wood, put it in the wood box. Now, we're just getting started on this. we got a lot of work to do on this. But let me give you the rest of the tour here. Uh, right up here, we've got three levels of uh, uh, portals, which is awesome. Uh, this is also done by Alan. As you can see, we've got our planes. We've got our nexus up here, uh, our primary uh, stuff. And, of course, we have lots of... Whoa. Uh, we got lots of room. God, that scared me. Uh, we have lots of room for portals, uh, as you can see over here. And he's done an amazing job. Not only did he make it an awesome portal thing, but it's also a really fantastic view. Now, we are in the hardest uh, area in the game called the Plains. Uh, you don't want to mess around in this area. It doesn't matter what level you are or what gear you got. Uh, at any level, they can uh, annihilate you uh, in this area. Though, if you do have enough food, especially the high-end food, uh, you can keep your food up and your, uh, uh, and your stamina and all of that stuff so you can fight them off. As you can see, we've got some food there. So I'm going to go ahead and just pump some of this food real quick here. There we go. And you're going to see, look how much higher my thing is. There we go. Uh, and then as well, as you're going to see my stamina bar be much, much longer. Again, this game is all about the food, everybody. you got to master that food. Uh, you get your food going on, you're going to have a higher chance of surviving. Uh, so we are kind of consolidating all of our loot right now uh, into a single spot. Now, let's go ahead and see if there's anything else in here. We got a bunch of core wood. Uh, let's see. I think I've already filled up the core wood. I did. All right. That looks good. What else we got? Uh, we got a little bit of this, some fine wood. That's gold. That's going to be a trade box. Uh, let's go ahead and look in our fine wood. Oh, fine wood already full as well. All right. So that's why they're in this box is because it's already full. Let's get our core wood out of there. Let's go ahead and put all of this over here. All right. Nice. Now, another thing that we might want to do. Uh, along with this crafting box right here is we might want to make a box very similar to that uh, and put that uh, in there. Uh, we also want to go ahead and create a second level, much like we have here for our uh, chest uh, on the other side, kind of like a mirrored version of that. And so what we're going to need is we're going to need uh, some uh, uh, wood to make that happen. And so we're going to grab some wood from over here. Again, it's great when you get back to uh, when you get back to uh, sorting, and you can just like I need some wood. Okay, there's wood in that box, right? Uh, you know right where the thing is. Uh, very, it can be very frustrating uh, it, when you uh, have it where we were having it for a while, actually for a couple weeks now. Uh, we've had it where it basically uh, was uh, blocked. Uh, blocked or unsorted. When you have it unsorted, it is so difficult to find anything uh, in the game. And so what I'm going to do is walk this across to the other side. Or on this side, the easier part to do it. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves uh, some stairs. Now, the reason why we're going to make some stairs is just so we can stand up just a little bit. Uh, in this game, you know, the height of where you're at does make a difference on how easy it is to run stuff. Uh, and then we're going to run it across here. Now, if you might notice, we got a whole bunch of upgrades in here. Uh, those upgrades are perfectly placed both on the upper level 
up there and then on this level right here uh, so that they will actually make all the workbenches upgrade at the same time. That means I have four upgraded workbenches and two upgraded forges uh, and they are all max upgraded uh, which is great. Uh, so no matter where you, which workbench you hit, you know you're at the max level of those benches, which is awesome. Now, before we put in the top part there, we're going to use these. And you're like, Kismet, why don't you use the larger uh, uh, chests? And the reason why I don't use the larger chests is because it burns a lot of hard-earned material, a lot of iron and stuff like that. Uh, these are just as easy to use uh, as going in and using those higher end materials. Now I'm going to try to squeeze as many of these in here as I can. Say that. Let's go ahead and take that one out. I think we might be able to get a couple more in there. And I'm not a big fan of clipping through stuff, but eh, the end of the box is okay. I'll roll with that. Now again, I don't want it to be too far forward uh, because I'm going to be putting signs all the way across there uh, that go along with it. That's looking pretty good. It's fairly lined up to the other side. All right, now we're ready to uh, put in our other stuff. And again, this is this is what I usually do on the base. Uh, a lot of times I'll make the entire base, but I feel like in Valenheim it really le uh, lends itself uh, to uh, people working together uh, toward uh, building epic bases like we're doing here. And let me jump down over here. And see how it's kind of awkward to do it from down here. Uh, you can also try to zoom in a little bit. Let me get uh, out of there. Uh, five. There we go. There we go. Zoom in a little bit. That should make it a little easier. There we go. And let's see if this lines up. Oh, I gotta, I gotta offset it one back. That's what I didn't do. I didn't offset the chest. I just see. I just saw. I made a mistake there. Uh, what I did is I moved it too close to the edge, and I didn't offset it Offset it back one. Uh, because the ones on the top are, uh, the ones in here are offset. They're offset so that you're not, uh, you're not blocking the, uh, the chest there. I just realized that. That's my bad. And you know when you make a mistake, you own up to your mistakes and say, you know what, that was my bad. And you just roll with it, right? that one out take this one out this needs to go back by one own your mistakes everybody just own it up it's okay you make a mistake you roll on you know it's kind of like doing the tango uh, you know what you, you roll on you go in you, you get all wrapped up you fall you get up and you tangle water, but that's the way you do. <laughs> How do you get the coal maker to work? Uh, nice, uh, nice base. Well, thank you. Thank you. Again, there's a lot of awesome people working together. Uh, the way you do your coal is this right here, uh, this item up here uh, at the top, uh, which is your kind of coal generator. That's called a, a kiln. Uh, and I've uh, taken the stairway out right now as I'm working on the area. But I go ahead and put it back in here real quick, uh, temporarily. Like this. Uh, but we have it where you can come up to this level up here. And then you just go ahead. And you're going to need the uh, little boxes that help you uh, get this. Uh, you can get those from various different places around the world. I don't want to spoil that for you. Uh, but uh, basically, you can go ahead and put uh, the wood into there. And that wood will then uh, be melted down uh, or burnt until it becomes coal. Uh, and then the coal will just drop out of there. Uh, you can see we've got our stacked on top, uh, which is a really fantastic way to do it. Uh, you can see our coal drops down there. Uh, so that's how you get the coal uh, through your kiln. Now, there is other ways to get coal, uh, like in the swamps. You're going to find some of those fire guys, and those fire guys will give you coal as well. Uh, both of those will help you a ton uh, in your journey uh, to make uh, an epic base and to work your way around uh, Valenheim. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this out because, again, I want to inset this. I totally had forgotten there that I'd inset that other side last time. And let's hope our upgrades aren't too in the way on this side. I think we might be able to get away with it. 
this upgrade definitely gonna be in the way but we do what we can do right all right again this inset so you can get to the benches uh, but that definitely is in the way uh, I kind of feel like there's something a little funky going on here Huh. Yeah, that one's inset. This is the only one that's way out like that. Huh. wonder if I could take that out and maybe nudge it a little closer. Let's just give it a go. Put some a little bit closer here, so a little bit easier. Uh, now, this is an upgrade uh, for our uh, benches. Uh, you definitely, if you take that out, you want to put it back right away. Because uh, you're going to forget... Uh, see if I can just kind of squeeze this in a little bit closer. Oh, man. That's going to be tough. Yeah, maybe off to the side a little bit. Now, looks like... Uh, and again, I'm trying to put it in the center so everything gets upgraded. I don't know if that's closer or not. Now, the second you do that, that particular thing is a workbench upgrade, right? Uh, so the second you do that, you want to go around and double check all your workbenches are at five uh, because that's how many upgrades I have there. I have five upgrades. Uh, or actually, I have four upgrades because it starts at one. Uh, and uh, if you go through all of these benches now, it should be five. You should check them. Every time you mess around with those upgrades, uh, you should be checking that. And they got to be within a certain distance. Uh, of that particular upgrade uh, like that hmm maybe I can slide a little left let's go ahead and see if we can slide that maybe a little left over here that's gonna be close to that upgrade yeah see these other upgrades are going to block this upgrade and if I move it too far one way right the other side may no longer work uh, and it may go down to a four. That one seems fine. Uh, let's go see this one. This one would be the toughest of the three. Uh, of the four, I mean. No, that's uh, actually working. All right, awesome. Just within distance to upgrade all four of those benches. Let's see, just the one upgrade is upgrading all four uh, for use, which is great. Uh, because that's just that much less room uh, being taken up. Uh, instead of using, you know, four different upgrades, uh, it's not necessary. You can use just one. Uh, so we'll go with that. We might have to clip a little bit there. I hate clipping stuff. But again, I don't make the games. Uh, I have to work within the boundaries of the game, uh, of what it lets me do. And so we'll try to nicely line that up to the other side here. And let's say something like that. And let's see how we can get these in here. And again, I try to, try to put them nice and close to each other like that. Oh, actually, I can rotate it around. Yeah, see, that's not going to let me put a bench there. But that's okay. You know what we'll do? We'll just do the best we can do, right? That's all you can ask of anybody. Just do the best you can. If that upgrade's got to stay like that, then that's how we'll keep it. All right. At least that gives us more room on this side. And then once I get up here, uh, now I can really go ahead uh, and try to extend that width. I'm trying to see where... That one's about the same as this one. Let's get up onto this stairs. Again, see, these stairs are really helpful for aiming uh, where you want stuff to start. And let's say something like that. Now, normally I would go and I would take out the ones that are turned the wrong direction. But I feel like in the long run, uh, I will definitely replace these with the bigger, uh, with the bigger chests. But not right this second. Right now, we're going to just use those smaller chests. Uh, because they are less resources, they don't take up our iron. Uh, and iron could be used for much better things than uh, just for chests, I think. I feel like the, uh, the requirements for the chests make the iron usage uh, not a valuable thing. Even though we do have massive tons of resources, obviously. Uh, but, uh, again, I feel like the uh, collection versus the return uh, of that... Uh, is different now we're also going to have uh again this side's going to be different than the other side because of that upgrade in the way 
Now, I could move the upgrade and take the upgrade and move it down and try to put it down here, but I don't like the upgrades to be in the way. I don't like them to be right next to the bench. Uh, and that's why you see all my upgrades are either tucked in there uh, or they're out of the way uh, because otherwise you're running into those things every time. And if you put them vertically, then they're up out of the way. You don't have to worry about it, right? Uh, which is real nice. Now, again, uh, if you don't like that, just go in there, take it out. And then redo it. So we're going to try to put this a little closer here. And we're also going to turn it so the chest is the right direction. Just to kind of fine-tune this side a little bit. There we go. We'll pick up all of that. That's looking good. Uh, thank you for the follow, Day Spawn. Thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for hanging out as well. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and grab uh, some of this coal over here. Uh, like this. And we're going to grab... See, we got a whole bunch stacked up in there. Uh, for when we need to forge stuff. And then we're going to run over here. Now, it's nighttime right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do... I don't really have to because I'm in here by myself. But what's going to happen is if I hang out here at nighttime, uh, some really tough mobs are going to spawn. Uh, and they're going to start attacking my base. Uh, so I can go in here and I can go ahead and just go to sleep. And then it forwards time to the next day uh, in which you're not going to get as big a spawn. Uh, this is one of the great uh, mechanics of the game. Uh, if you are playing solo, I highly recommend uh, a lot of the times, especially if you're in a really tough area like me, uh, to forward the time. Now, if I'm in with other people, we're on day 306. Actually, I need to upgrade my title. I meant to look at that. 306. Let me update my title at that. There we go. Uh, so... Uh, uh, so if you're playing with other people, though, they need to go and lay down at the same time. Uh, and as you can see, we're making some great progress. Uh, and uh, we'll see if uh, peeps show up today or if it's just me today. Because, uh, again, it is Friday. A lot of people have to work uh, and whatnot. Uh, so uh, we'll see if they are going to back me up today or uh, we'll see them uh, tomorrow night. Now, we also play Valheim on Friday and Saturday. So uh, if you can't make it today, uh, feel free to come and join us. Uh, tomorrow, it's going to be a lot of fun. We can take this out now. And we're going to line up some signs uh, right in front of all these chests. And we're going to give them... Uh, we're going to give them some... Uh, various different labels. And let's say something right there. Again, I like to, like to center them. Now, I could turn them the other way, which I have done in the past. Uh, but the problem with turning them the other way is that they're very close to each other. Uh, and then uh, putting a uh, label on them can be a little annoying. Uh, I much prefer it this way uh, than any other way. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. I like that. Okay. Now, we need uh, to make another box that's going to go right here at the end. Uh, and again, we can make a, a bigger box, the reinforced box. Um, but we're going to need some uh, fine wood and some iron. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can track some of that down. So we'll go over here. We got some fine wood. That's easy. Or actually, let's use the fine wood that we put away here in the box. There we go. Uh, let's get that out of there. Uh, let's put some of this wood back because it's going to make me overburden. Right back in here. There we go. Uh, and then uh, we're looking for some iron. Now, iron, I don't know what the heck I did with it. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. That is tin. Uh, right there. We've got some copper there. Uh, now, we still have a bunch of resources laying around uh, elsewhere. I think we cleared this whole bottom level out. I went and uh, I took out all the uh, stuff from down here uh, temporarily. Uh, oh, that's right. We were working on this down here, too. Uh, working on the supports for our uh, 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 forges up there. Uh, let's go ahead and fill these back in. Uh, oh, and I'm out of stone there. We'll get some more stone for that later on. Uh, so we got that going on. Very, very nice. Hmm, let's see. Where did I put that stuff? Most likely in here. We have to go in here and sort these. These are the drop boxes. Uh, drop boxes get filled very, very quickly with my crew. Uh, and as you can see, we have lots and lots of loot to organize. Now... We actually have a whole nother base that you haven't even seen yet if you just wandered into my channel. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of stone right there, too. Uh, which uh, I'm going to need to grab uh, a whole bunch of resources and bring them over here. Now, one of the problems with the drop boxes right there is the fact that I have to walk them 
up and around uh, every single time, especially something as heavy as uh, stone. Uh, but you can also use carts and other things like that. Uh, I feel like it's just easier at this point uh, because I do have just enough stamina uh, where I can go ahead and grab a ton of loot and just walk it up here, especially something like stone, uh, where you're going to need a ton of stone. And that allowed me to bring it right up here and put it away. Right, oh, right in there. Get out of there, you. Uh, and then we can go ahead and now stack that up there. I usually do the heaviest stuff first, like stone and stuff like that. Um, but uh, this bottom part here, we probably will end up not using it as much um, because uh, uh, we'll be, of course, using our more uh, more uh, advanced or more uh, higher level portals, I would imagine. But we'll see how it works out. Holy moly, look at all that in there. Now, again, before you pull that out of there, make sure you got a full stamina bar uh, as well. And again, we could use the cart, uh, which I'll make one here in a minute. But this is basic stuff here we'll go ahead and just go this way i think it'd probably be better going this way because you're going to end up maybe a little closer right here i guess you end up the same way same direction we'll try it both directions then around here now your goal is to walk this stuff close enough uh, because if you do run out of stamina you won't be able to uh do anything uh, once you do that stamina, even uh, try to make a box and stuff like that, you won't be able to do because you'll be too overburdened. Uh, and that's why I have these other boxes over here, just in case. Uh, so I can go ahead and feed uh, these resources into there. There we go. Uh, and that's going to go ahead and clear all that stuff. Now, I don't see any uh, iron. Uh, we may not have any more left. Uh, that's uh, That could be an issue. Uh, as well as we can go out to... Uh, uh, out to various areas to get that going. Uh, now, let's just go ahead and do what I call uh, sorting. Uh, one of the things you want to do is you go ahead and you grab all of this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and choose a box. Uh, I kind of cleared out those boxes on purpose so I could choose a box up here for just uh, stone and wood. That allows me to grab everything else out of that box and kind of try to consolidate it down into a single uh, group of it. And you're going to see that instead of having all of these boxes uh, in one, uh, we're going to go ahead and just click on everything in there and try to consolidate it down uh, as much as we can. So it instead of having it across a whole bunch of boxes, we're going to try to put it in our inventory. And you can see my inventory is full, but yet items are still disappearing out of the box. And that's because they're stacking with what I have. Uh, and it's a really good idea to just go in here. I'm just holding down control and then left clicking. Uh, to try to consolidate these all together uh, so I don't have to, uh, you know, sort the boxes 15 times. Believe me, you can waste a lot of time sorting all this random stuff over and over and over again. Uh, I've been sorting for quite a long time, so I know to consolidate first and then sort later. That's just wood. We've skipped that. These two here. And same thing here, especially when you have a lot of trophies or uh, common loot like gold and stuff like that, that can be stacked together. There we go, getting somewhere there. And then last box here, stack all this together. Now, once you get that first kind of round of sorting, you go ahead and take all the stuff you sorted here and put it into a box. There we go, we put it in that last box here. Now, here's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, and I'm going to move this forward just so that it makes it easier for me to remember. Uh, what it is that I was sorting before, what I already sorted, uh, versus uh, what uh, I uh, am trying to sort, right? Uh, so I go ahead and take all this out and then put all this back in right there. So now I know these two right here are sorted. And then we just do the same thing and rinse and repeat our way down as we go ahead and start to empty out all the boxes on this side. So now we have three empty boxes there. And we're going to take our stone, put it right here at the end. There we go. Uh, and again, now it actually says empty when you roll over it. Uh, but I'm old school, so I end up opening it anyway. <laughs> As happens. All right. Uh, all right. And that one's done. And then here, same thing. Anything we can stack. And we're just going to rinse and repeat, everybody. Just keep going on the same thing. That's wood. Uh, right here. All right. Looking good, looking good. This is going to save you a lot of trips uh, back and forth while you're sorting. 
especially if you're going from a lower level like this to an upper level. Uh, this kind of sorting can get real annoying and running back and forth can get real annoying uh, for sure. Let's keep the wood and let's put that in there. And again, we're going to go up here with this stuff. Very specifically, not the wood though. Uh, and then consolidate the wood and the stone uh, together over here. And we know that over here in this box somewhere, there we go, a bunch of wood there. We'll consolidate that over here to this box. Again, we're see I'm consolidating the stone, consolidating the wood at the same time. Let's go ahead and get that out of there. Uh, here we've got some more wood. There we go. Uh, in there. And again, these three are the ones I'm sorting. And so this whole side now is sorted. Just in that amount of time that we did it. Uh, perfect timing uh, on the battle, too. Uh, so we've already sorted this side. Now we just sort this side, and we walk the stuff where it goes, and GG, we're good. All right? Uh, let's do a battle real quick, and we'll come back, and we'll we'll do that very thing. And again, thank you, Dayspawn, for the follow. To battle! All right, how we looking? All right, 39 units down. Let's hope we can get it done. Uh, I believe in you guys. Let's go. Let's get it going on. Again, the more units you put down, the more chance we have of winning. Let's go get a win. Let's do it. Look at Norbert healing the heck out of you guys. Where's he going? He's running off. What are you doing, Norbert? Stay with the crew. Stay with your crew. Always stay with your... Keep Stay as a wingman. Stay with your crew always. There you go. Heal those awesome peeps. All right, looking so good uh, so far. Uh, getting a bit of resistance right there. Uh, wiping them out. Of course, it always ends up right where I'm at for some reason. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter where I put myself on the screen. It always ends up right there. I uh, like that uh, Tamps G there. I uh, like your little crab uh, skin there. That's cool. Uh, we got one last guy up here, and it looks like uh, Dragon Overlord came in there and wiped him out. Uh, open the captain chest, give you guys some love. 50 gold going to John Boy, Dragon Overlord, getting tons of Centurion Scrolls, as well as Subi getting some Flying Rogue. Uh, and Tamps G, MVP, with one unit there. Fantastic. Uh, 14 kills. Now, again, put down as many units as you can because you don't want to be that person that didn't put down enough units and causes us to die, right? Causes us to fail. Uh, so make sure to put down as many as you possibly can. You're going to actually allow more rewards for everybody in the stream. Allow us to get going on our uh, progress over here. We're already on tier 40 uh, and we're going to try to uh, work our way here to the boss <coughs> and get you guys a boss win. Uh, all right. Now, again, I can't remember what quests I need. Let's go in. Uh, and take a look again. I think these all are going to take care of themselves. Yeah, these are all going to take care of themselves. These uh, kill so many units and so on. Uh, so there's nothing specific I need to put down. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my rogue. Uh, this is a really great one for your rogue right here. Uh, my rogue's going to sneak in there. I'm going to actually put him in the front at the top. He's going to sneak in there, wipe this out, run around, try to wipe these uh, things out so that they won't cause these tanks to spawn. Uh, and he will die at some point. Uh, rogues usually get wiped out. Uh, but at least we can take out these tanks as quick as possible. Uh, plus, I'm going to put my haste down. You're going to be hasted for 14 seconds. That's right, 14 seconds. That's a long haste time uh, for sure, for sure. All right, let's get back to it. All right, so this side has been sorted. Now, as you can see down there, I, my thing is flashing saying, hey, Kismet. Uh, you're going to run out of stamina. Now, normally, I don't like using high-level food uh, for uh, just running around. But in this case, since I'm going to be lugging crazy tons of stuff uh, back and forth, back and forth, I'm going to burn up some of this food here uh, for this heavy amount of work that I'm going to be doing, uh, which is basically sorting and getting our base organized. Uh, I love the open, uh, open air feel of our base. Uh, I like that style. Uh, as opposed to being all closed in, uh, like a normal, uh, like a normal castle you might want to build. All right, again, let's go ahead and consolidate this stuff down. Uh, that's an empty there. Oh, lots of wood in there. Let's go ahead again, get all this stuff stacked up as best we can. Oh, now we're making some progress here. Look at this. All right, nice, nice. Liking it, liking it. 
That's a lot of all of that. All right, nice. And then we've already uh, filled that one up. Let's go ahead and fill this one up now and then work our way forward. And you're like, well, Kismet, why are you putting it back in the box? Well, the reason why I'm putting it back in the box uh, is to just consolidate it. I'm using uh, these ones here in the back to consolidate it all down so I'm not just grabbing stuff out of this box and then running it up there and then grabbing stuff out of the next box and running it up there. Believe me, that is uh, the very inefficient way of doing it because you're going to resort the same items five, six, seven times uh, and it's really, really going to waste your time. Uh, big time. Uh, it's going to waste your time. Uh, oh, that was already full. All right, let's go ahead and back up here. And if you notice that I put all the wood and stone together, uh, even if it's wood of different types, uh, that allows me just to kind of clear that out. We got the last three boxes cleared. We got that box clear. Uh, let's go ahead again, take this wood, switch it over here just so it's in one central spot. Uh, this one, bottom one, and again over here. Again, I could lug it back and forth and back and forth, but we're just consolidating. All right, now we got all five of those done. You can see they're all, say, empty. Uh, this one here, just a little bit of loot there. Empty there, empty, and empty. All right, we're looking good. So there we go. We've consolidated all of that stuff. Uh, now what you want to do is go ahead and say, okay, now what am I going to do uh, with all of this particular loot? Now, as you can see, I've got a lot of gray dwarf eyes here. Uh, so that would be a great thing to start with. We can just go ahead and look through here. All right, there's some more there. Uh, what do we got here? You're going to end up with a lot of these uh, over time for sure. Uh, for sure, for sure, for sure. In fact, so many. Uh, we can see that these first four here, we don't even need to look into anymore for right now. Uh, because we know those are going to be uh, wooden stone. Uh, so we're only going to work with these five. So I've consolidated uh, down basically like 20 boxes down to four, uh, which is super, super useful. Now I'm just going to take these eyes here and run them separately. Uh, I won't be overburdened, so I can run them nice and easy right up here. Uh, and we can go ahead and look over here and we say, is there anything in here that says gray dwarf eye? Or maybe just eye right up here. All right, there we go. And we can see we're already full. Uh, we're already full with eyes. So these are going to be overflow. Uh, overflow items and so I'm gonna start putting my overflow items just temporarily uh, over here I don't think I have any wood now I gotta get some more wood um, but I'm gonna put my overflow items start to put that on the other side so I'm gonna need a little bit of wood to make a box uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say okay hey this is overflow right over here let's just go ahead and put it right there and now we've moved it up to the second level and we know that those are going to be overflow. Now I have a feeling I'm going to have some more overflow. So I'm just going to go ahead and line them up right here temporarily. Uh, again, trying to consolidate all of our loot together. Let's go ahead and go back here and consolidate. Uh, or, oh, I put it in the box. Or did I use it up? Wow, did I use it up perfectly? Wow, that was weird. I used that wood up exactly perfect. Because there's no wood left in my inventory, which I was going to put back in the box. That was freaky. That was freaky. It was like I intended to do that. <laughs> all right. Uh, now, another great thing here is we can go ahead and just say, okay, we're going to do all the feathers. And we'll do feathers and leather, right? So we'll grab all the leather, all the feathers. Uh, what else can we grab? Here's more leather here. Again, we've only got five boxes to sort now, so it's not too bad. Leather, leather. All right, looking good. Up here, more leather. Uh, and if I miss something uh, and I go, oh, well, I missed some leather or I missed some feathers, don't kick yourself too much. Just roll on anyway. Uh, now, what's another thing I could do? I could do bones, I guess. Uh, this is a fang right here. This is different. Uh, bones. There's some bones. So that's a good idea. Uh, how about some uh, resin? Resin's a good one. We we'll probably have a bunch of resin in here. Uh, bones and resin we're on right now. There's some resin. And maybe some coal, too. Let's go ahead and hit some coal up while we're at it. Uh, there's some bones. Uh, those are other materials we don't need right now. All right. That's looking good. And we'll run those up. Now, again, I'm looking for stuff that's probably going to be overflow uh, in the long run. But we'll go ahead and see. Uh, and again, I like to have a little mixture of various different leathers in here. Uh, for people uh, when they're looking for it, but we can consolidate that. We've got some nice uh, locks pelts, which are great. Uh, we can probably consolidate that onto that one. 
Uh, these are already maxed except for this one here. Uh, anything else I can put in there? I would probably, I would max out at four of any given uh, item uh, into your main one. Uh, because uh, most likely they're not going to be using that. Most of the time they're going to probably be using this wolf pelt uh, of all the stuff they're going to be using. Uh, now if they're looking for feathers, we've got a whole feather box over here. Awesome. Uh, we're looking for resin. we got a resin box. We'll put that in there. Uh, you get the general idea. And we've got bones. Now our bones are maxed out. Uh, so we're going to go with that. We also have a coal box. We can go ahead and put the coal into the coal box. So we've got some stuff that is overflow. Uh, that's going to go into a secondary backup box uh, in case that all gets used up. Uh, we will have that overflow to be used. Now, I kind of feel like we're not going to have too much overflow from this, but you got to think that this is our second base. Uh, our other mega base, uh, we're going to go to here in a bit uh, and organize that as well. Now, one of the things that I have not put in yet is trophies, right? Uh, so we've got a bunch of trophies here. Uh, so I'm going to actually leave them at that area. We've also got some uh, potions and things like that. Uh, we're going to leave all that in there. More trophies in here uh, that we can use. we got some obsidian, uh, some crafting needles there. Uh, I'm just looking for regular items that I might need uh, and organize. Again, nothing in there that's uh, under my organization. Uh, some of that stuff goes elsewhere. Uh, more trophies, more uh, kind of uh, stuff there. More trophies, uh, more crafting items there. Uh, and then this stuff over here uh, is more, some of this is food items, like ooze, that's food items, trophies. Uh, we've got black metal scraps, another trophy, and then this is actually used for something else, which I don't want to spoil it for you. Uh, that's used for something else there. Now, that is pretty much it. I've just sorted that whole entire thing. It's already sorted. Done. GG. Uh, that's a GG on all that. But let's go ahead and double check again. We're going to go run down every box. All Every box is empty. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and take the, the heavy stuff out of here. We're going to go ahead and grab the big stuff and work it out here. Now, this is my job. My job is being the quartermaster. My job is to sort stuff. So uh, if you've mastered uh, sorting or if you're interested in sorting and how to uh, run a giant base like this, uh, this is pretty much how you do it. You go in and you uh, grab the loot. You put it in a specific place. You put a label on it uh, so you and your crew uh, can remember where stuff is. Uh, and it makes everything that you're doing way, way easier. And again, let's go check that wood box. I think it's already full uh, over here. Oh, actually, I took some out. That's right. I took some out of there. Uh, stone is getting full. Not quite full yet. Now, again, we've got uh, a lot of uh, stamina. So we're going to try to walk this over here into the overflow. So we're obviously going to need uh, an overflow box for our wood. And even more so uh, because we're going to downscale our other base. Uh, and that other base uh, is quite humongous, as you'll see when I run over there uh, in a bit. But let's go ahead and try to uh, work all this stuff up to the upper level so we don't have to keep going back and forth. Now, one of the things that you got to watch out for, see my stamina bar is not quite all the way up. Uh, let's go ahead and take it back out first. Let's let our stamina go all the way back up again because I was holding down shift to run. Let that go all the way back up. There we go. Then you go ahead. Oh, then you go ahead and overburden yourself. Why don't you have lots and lots of stamina? That one's empty now. A little bit more wood there. And then, of course, we can grab as much stone as we can get away with. Now, I have 1,590 uh, weight on me right now. Again, I could use the cart, uh, but I find if you have the food, uh, you can go ahead and utilize the food as well to go ahead and uh, run this stuff up and down. Now, I do have a buff as well uh, that uh, could help me if my stamina was low. Uh, but in this case, I am just walking real heavy stuff, so it's not going to really help me uh, all that much. Oh, I hear some baddies out there. I hear some baddies out there. Do you hear that noise with them out there running around? And again, since it's nighttime, it's spawning some baddies. Uh, we might get an event or something like that, so let's go ahead. Oh. There we go. Enemies moved away far enough. You saw it said, hey, enemies too close. But they moved away, and that allowed me to do it. Hey, Pickle Man, what's up? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for showing the lurker love. All right, now, forward time, that doesn't mean that they've gone away. They might still be down there, uh, which we can go ahead and look and see. Oh, yeah, someone died down there. Somebody died in Desquito. 
Now, because we are in the plains area, uh, death squeedos can come in and attack us at any time. Uh, so watch out for that, though we did uh, kind of clear the area, so it shouldn't be too bad. But just in case, keep an eye out uh, for those baddies. Let's keep going. Oh, my run is up to 50 again. Now, my running was actually at 56, uh, but it goes down when you die. So you lose some of your skill points. Uh, and that happens. It's okay. You know, it goes up and down uh, as you go. These are all trophies there. And I think these are all empty. Give them another double check. All right. Almost done with this basic stuff. All right. Now we're like, yay, we're done. Nope, that was level number one. <laughs> Let's go check level number two uh, and see how we do. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, there's some iron right there, too. Uh, all right, here we go again, everybody. We're going to basically do the same thing we just did. See if there's anything in all of these. Oh, okay, those are already empty. That's a GG. Awesomeness over here. Oh, yep, bunch of stuff in there. Consolidate that down a bit. Nothing in that one. All right. Uh, that stuff's kind of in a weird spit. All right, we'll go ahead and put this back into this box. And we're going to go ahead and find that box that had some stuff in it. Here we go. Over here. And then let's see if these are all empty now. Those are all empty on that side. That side done. This side. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. A bit of stuff there. Uh, and again, we'll grab, uh, we'll grab some of the stuff that we know we could probably uh, put away fairly easily. Uh, so let's go ahead and run that. Right over here. Now, this cool thing about this, this is on the same level uh, that I am sorting at. And plus, I'm not overburdened as well uh, with this particular items. And again, leather. Again, don't, you don't want to put more than four of any given thing in there. Now, look at that. All of our nice wolf pelts are consolidated uh, into one spot as well. We can consolidate those lox pelts. Now, we have two stacks of lox pelts going there. Uh, we've got max stacks and all that other stuff. And we've got some excess items. Let me go ahead and throw over here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We need more boxes. We got lots of excess uh, going on over here. Uh, all right. Put that into there. And then we have excess leather. Now, we have some things here like chains and needles and, of course, more gray dwarf eyes. We know we've got that's overflow. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff like trophies and, of course, gunk. Uh, let's go ahead. I like to put the chains uh, up here because you usually don't have, like, a box full of chains. Uh, if you do, hey, congrats to you, bro. You've been working hard. I'm give you some love for that. Uh, but uh, if you don't have a box full of it, you just want to have a nice, uh, what I call the crafting box, right? Uh, the crafting box is where you just put all your random stuff uh, that you might be looking for when you're crafting, like needles or linen thread and all that stuff. Now, you can also make separate boxes for those. If you make 15 tons of linen thread, hey, more power to you. Make a whole box for it. But I find I don't make a box until I feel like I have too much of that, that particular item. Uh, also, I noticed I actually have some iron in the crafting box. So I could have got it from there as well. Uh, but this stuff over here, this gunk, uh, is, uh, uh, is utilized for various different stuff. I don't think I put the gunk on this side. Uh, now, these are what I call basic items. And then the more advanced items are going to be on the other side. Uh, now, I go ahead and just put gunk on this side. Right over here, and I've already labeled everything. Uh, gunk. And we'll go ahead and put that right there. Now, do I feel like we're going to have a whole chest full of gunk? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see how much stuff we got. And right up here goes the coal. And again, these are trophies. Now, trophies, uh, I would go ahead and uh, put in a separate area. Because uh, you're not using your trophies all the time. Um, but temporarily, I'm going to use this kind of upper right box uh, for trophy and number one because you're going to end up with a lot of trophies. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put those trophies up there uh, just to sort them and move them out of there uh, to be put away. Now, some of these other boxes right here are uh, overflow boxes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start to migrate those boxes uh, over to this side. You're going to see we're going to end up a lot of uh, overflow stuff. Now, you're going to see me start to mix stuff as well um, because I'm just trying to minimize the amount of boxes uh, that I'm going to need, and then I'll resort those uh, in the end. And now this box is empty, so we can take that out. Take that up. Now, that sound you're hearing is the uh, portal behind me. 
and more. Oh, wow, that's okay. That's Some of that is sortable loot. Uh, we could definitely sort that out uh, into different spots. Anything else over here that's going to be overflowed? Nothing else in there. Uh, maybe bones. Bones probably is full. Let's see what we got back here. Uh, this is all sortable stuff. Uh, and these are equipment. There's some wood there. Uh, and some stone. And we definitely want to take those eyes out of there too. That's going to be overflow because we've already established that eyes are in overflow now. Uh, I think I can sneak that stone in there though. And then I need to walk all this real heavy stuff to the other side. Weapon away. Uh, all right. And again, wood, wood, wood. We definitely have plenty of that. We're going to have even more so in a bit here. And again, I'm just going to build out some more. And again, I'm not trying to make it pretty. I'm just trying to uh, get all the excess stuff combined into one area. Uh, and eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these areas here, the upper areas, uh, probably right along this area as what I call the loot library, where you put in, uh, you know, wood, and then everything above that is going to be wood. Everything above that is going to be stone. Everything above that uh, is going to be eyes, right? Everything that's an overflow will have multiple chests that just go straight vertical, uh, and then they're using our vertical space uh, as opposed to using horizontal space, which is what they're doing right now. Uh, also, if I had lots of iron, I could go in and uh, consolidate it that way as well. But I'm just going to kind of move all this stuff uh, out of here right now. Now, we know where the coal goes. That's an easy one. Pick up this wood right there. Somebody's bed there. Let's go ahead and move that out now. We're not using those beds there anymore. Let's go ahead and walk on over here. Drop off some of this coal. Now, I love doing this, everybody. I can do this endlessly. I love organizing stuff. Uh, very, very fun. You saw, look, I put that coal down. That was just enough uh, for me to be able to run around. Now, I'm just putting my uh, stuff in here temporarily. All of these uh, items here will have their own box eventually. Uh, I can tell you this is a bunch of gear, uh, crude bows and wood shields and iron greaves and all that stuff. Uh, we're going to be putting our gear uh, in a separate spot. Uh, so let's go ahead and just start by uh, putting it, let's say, uh, down here like this. Where we got some boxes already going. Now this is actually our little area to uh, get our rested buff as well. Is This is where our finished goods will be. Uh, and you can see we can just stand right here. We're getting a comfort of 12, uh, which allows our rested bonus to be very, very high. Uh, but uh, in these chests here are more random items that I'm going to need to go through and sort uh, at some point, uh, as you can see. But we're going to go ahead and put our gear over here, and we're going to come back to that later on, uh, as you can see there. A lot of overflow items. Again, I, there's a lots of stuff everywhere, all over the base, because we have been moving our primary base uh, from our previous base over to here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And we have some other items that we could actually sort. We go ahead and put that in there. We've got some trophies. Let's go ahead Put it up here. Now, I feel like at some point I'm also going to put a certain type of trophies in certain type of boxes. So if you're looking for, say, antlers or whatnot, uh, I feel like we're going to get so many of those that uh, we're going to be in trouble. Now, let me go ahead and I think we got all this. Yeah, we got all this. Double check. Oh, wait. Hold on. Ah, a little bit in here that snuck by. Yeah, that's why you always double check. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I just didn't grab all this stuff yet. Let's grab all this stuff. Consolidate it down. So, all right. And again, let's keep working back and forth, back and forth on all of our chests. And then over here, this is a real easy one. We're just going to go straight to the trophy box. And we're going to throw all these various trophies in there. Uh, trophy, that's a freeze gland. No, no. This is trophy. Uh, and so on. Now, the rest of the stuff is pretty much a crafting item uh, over here. And so we'll consolidate uh, a lot of these crafting items together. Obsidian for right now, not that. Uh, this is food, these are those, and these are actually food items uh, that we can go ahead and run over here into the food drop box. I must say the rightmost one is gonna be the food drop box. Uh, oh no, that's barley in there. Oh, look at this, we've actually got some uh, fishing in there. They didn't label any of this. Where is the actual drop box? Hmm. Hmm, 
I would I would say those are finished goods. So you know what? I'm gonna create a Dropbox. Uh, well, I would create a Dropbox if I had some wood, which uh, you know we got like three boxes full of it over here. Uh, let's go ahead and run along here. Uh, run over here, actually grab some right there. There we go. Good idea to always keep a little, a little bit of wood on you, uh, especially when you're working on your bases. Uh, all right, and then we'll just go ahead and make a Dropbox temporarily. Uh, this is their domain over here, uh, so I'm going to let them uh, do their thing. So I basically am going to create a bit of a food and uh, garden Dropbox uh, right there, just so I can sort the stuff and put it away uh, and get it out of that particular area. See some wood up there. Come on, you grab it. There we go. Uh, all right. Again, let's not forget our lower level sorting. Now, at some point, you shouldn't have to do this too much, right? You shouldn't have to sort stuff too much. Um, but at some point, you just want to grab everything, right? You want to just grab it all uh, and find a home for it. Like this, like I'm doing right now. And then we've got those all empty on that side. I believe we've already cleared these. Again, I'm looking to see if it says empty. All right, bottom level done. Bottom level good. Let's go. Now, some stuff is dual use. Uh, you'll find uh, that uh, you can use it both uh, as a trophy or you can use it for making stuff uh, and so on. Uh, or it might be a food item that also can be used elsewhere. Uh, again, I'm just going to go ahead uh, and put that gunk right here. Uh, just consolidating that down. Now, ooze and ancient seeds and stuff. Uh, I feel like we also want to create a bunch of sorting for our food. Uh, and then name the different boxes, strawberries, uh, uh, and so on. Uh, huh. This is uh, all... This would actually be more of a trophy. Let's put this up here. Uh, trophy and trophy. This is really, this is actually used for something very specific. It actually is not a seed. You can't actually plant it. Uh, it's used for something else. Uh, so I just kind of put it in the trophy boxes uh, to get rid of it out of the way. Yeah, not going to spoil it for you guys. Uh, this is food. Uh, and this is gardening, gardening. And then the rest of this stuff we can go ahead and utilize. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a box for keys now. Now I might take this gunk and actually move it over by the food eventually. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put random. Oh, that's not a key. This is a key. There we go. And then over here, go ahead and put that in here. Now I love boxes that are like a mixed box. Because when you go in there and you're looking for something, I need an iron. I need a little bit of tin. I need uh, a little bit of uh, linen thread. I need a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, you can all get it from one box. Uh, I'm not a big fan of too many boxes, uh, for sure. Uh, I only make a box when one box is full. Is there a sweet spot for base size for beginners, not too large or too small? Uh, really depends on what you're putting in the base, right? Uh, what are you putting in the base? Are you putting just a portal uh, and your bed and uh, uh, maybe a workbench and a forge? Uh, maybe you're just doing you know, workbench, forge. Uh, thing. It's all about what you're putting in it. That is the sweet spot. Uh, of course, your base is going to need to keep to expand uh, based on what you're putting in there. Now, ours is a bit over the top, as you can see. <laughs> uh, ours is exceptionally large uh, for uh, what is really needed. Uh, but then again, we do have a lot of people in from time to time. We have up to 10 people uh, that come onto our server. Uh, and so we need a lot of food to support their food. And of course, we need uh, a lot of space. We're not always running into each other. So if you're trying to uh, you know, craft something, uh, we've got plenty of crafting space. If you're trying to forge something, uh, we've got plenty of that as well. Uh, oh, this is empty now. I, I love it when I've cleared a box and it's empty now. All right, there we go. Let's grab this out. And again, a lot, a lot of work to be done. Uh, this is very, very involved. I'm going to take this out as well. It's actually in my way right now. Uh, and there we go. So we've cleaned that up a little bit. We'll actually make uh, two more of these uh, over here for our uh, lower level items. Uh, but let's go ahead and walk our heavier level items over here. All this wood and various stuff. We've got a bunch of coal we can run. Over to here. Man, we got lots to do. 
Now, some of this, you can see that I'm doing what's called double sorting. So I've already sorted it once, and now I'm back sorting it again uh, and again and again. You don't want to do too much double sorting. And again, I'm just putting this in here. Eventually, all of these, uh, 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 you know, like bronze and uh, copper and all that stuff, all that stuff will have a home because uh, you don't want that to be in your crafting box. You eventually want that to come out of there. Uh, so you have more room for things like bronze nails and chains and all of the other random stuff that you put in there. Now, this is a trophy, and this is coins. Now, what I need is I need a little bit of iron, uh, and then I'm going to need some wood, which I'm sure I have crazy tons of it right here, uh, so I can make kind of the next level box. Now, also, uh, oops, wrong kind of wood. My bad. I meant to grab the other wood. Uh, where are you hiding? Fine wood. There you are. Uh, so we need some fine wood, and now the, these boxes actually can hold more uh, than the other boxes. Now the problem is uh, you got to kind of squeeze it in there and you're going to have a little bit of clipping and you know that's life. Sometimes again I don't make the games I just play them. Uh, now this one over here is going to be something different uh, than all my other stuff and it's going to be more of a consolidation box. Again I don't like to use up the iron unless I have to. Really there's no... Oh actually because I put the coal away. I put the coal away over here. Again, having a box for stuff to go into is the most powerful thing you can do, especially when you're working in a group, uh, which is typically what I'm doing. I like to play uh, in multiplayer. Uh, I'm not a big fan of PvP. We don't do any PvP uh, on our server. Now, I enjoy PvP, but I, when you're in an open world and you're just going in and you're just having fun, you're collecting stuff and you're doing questing and stuff like that, uh, that's not called PvP. It's called ganking. Because the other person doesn't want to be in PvP. <laughs> uh, and so uh, I've done that before. I've been on PvP servers and whatnot. And I'm just running around collecting pages and strangle Thorn Vale. Uh, and, you know, it's not PvP. It's me, who's a level 20 guy, uh, versus five max level guys. That's called ganking. PvP is the old school way. Like when you see someone and you're this about the same level and you're about the same gear and then it's just you versus them or your two buddies versus their two buddies or whatever, that is PvP. Or when you go into 8-man versus 8-man, that's PvP. Or 40-man versus 40-man, which I've done a lot. Uh, I've been the highest tiers of the uh, of PvP before in a lot of different games. Uh, some of those games would be uh, like uh, Lineage. Way back in the day, we did giant raiding, massive raids where we took over all the castles i mean my group was the best we practiced by the way we practiced raids ahead of time too uh or uh castle sieges back in those days star wars the old republic the amazing hut ball a very very fun game over there uh lord of the rings online uh world of warcraft of course uh guild wars 2 all of those i did lots and lots of pvp and enjoyed every minute of it uh, but I chose to do the PvP. I went into a PvP area. When you have an open world PvP, it just never is fun if you're not going in there for that reason. Uh, if you're just in there, you know, organizing your stuff and someone comes along and destroys your base, that's a real jerk thing to do. Uh, that's not how I like to play. So we have no PvP on our server uh, at all. Uh, that's not how we play, everybody. We play together. And that's part of the fun is that you're still going to die. You're still going to have issues. You're still going to have to overcome stuff. Uh, but I'm not a fan of open world PvP anymore. Unless it's like a big group versus another equally sized big group. And then you're doing world PvP, then that's awesome. But if it's 40 people versus 2 people, count me in, count me out in either direction. Whether I'm in the 40 people or I'm, I'm, I'm in the 2. Either way, I don't want to be part of it because because you're just steamrolling those uh, those poor uh, few little people uh, or you're getting steamrolled one or the other. There's animosity one way or another, uh, so I'd rather just opt out. Uh, opt out of that and just play PvP old school like me. <laughs> I like to play old school. Okay, so this is going to be uh, our trade box. All right, trade box. Uh, and, of course, everything that's going to go to the trader uh, is going to drop into that particular box. And then crafting box over here. Uh, and again, I'm going to use a little bit of iron just on those bigger boxes, those boxes where we're going to put a lot of stuff. Uh, we got potions and poison resist and all that stuff. Uh, that's what I would be call a finished item, right? Now, one of the things that you want to do is you want your people to be able to come in, uh, the people who go and collect loot and bring stuff in, you want them to come in, drop it in the drop box, and then GG, they're out of there, right? 
Uh, so you want them to come in, drop in the drop box, and then run over here to this side uh, where they can get more ammo, they can get better items or better weapons or whatever it is they're looking for, food and water and all of those things, maybe some potions, uh, and have a nice area where they can just go to and pick up that stuff, and then they're out, right? Uh, great example, uh, Seven Days to Die. I have what I call raw boxes and finished boxes, right? Uh, and then, of course, you have all your crafting boxes as well with your various different elements in them. Um, but you definitely want a, a raw and a finished, uh, especially with food uh, is a great example. Uh, you can see that we have a bunch of raw food in there. This is all raw stuff. Uh, and then, of course, you have your finished food. Now, that stuff should all be labeled because it's going to be making it way easier. Uh, but we'll get into that later on. Now, over here, I'm just going ahead, uh, going ahead and grab some of this random loot uh, that's dropped over here that's not in the drop boxes for some reason. I don't know why it was dropped over here. Uh, this is not the place to be dropping that stuff. Uh, let's see. What do we got that's too heavy? Probably the wood. Hold on. Let's put the wood back. We're not going to make it, so we better put the wood back down. There we go. Uh, we can probably get that leather out of there as well. Very nice. And then we're going to run it back to its home over here. Now, I'm not going to leave that uh, thing there in the way, by the way. Uh, we will take that out of there. Look at that. Nice. See? Now, that just, that just combined two stacks together, uh, so it's not taking up as much space. <coughs> You're gonna. This is gonna happen a lot. <coughs> ah, allergies. Ah, kicking in. Uh, and of course, more stuff we can sort uh, over here. Uh, we got some items for the trade box. We got our gold. Uh, we got some items here. We can consolidate. Consolidate. Uh, now these are our overflow boxes. This is where we say, "Oh God, we got too much of this particular thing," which I already know what it is that I have too much of now. Uh, which is basically leather, stone, wood, uh, these eyes. I've got way too many of those. And I'm keeping track of that in my head, uh, that I've got too much of that particular thing. And these are trophies. We go ahead and put that trophy back. And this a little bit of organization here it needs to be done. Let's put our coal back. We're not doing any signs for right now. And then we have some potions, right? Uh, we have some finished goods. So we're going to go to the left side here. We're going to say potions is a finished good. Uh, nothing in that one. We got a bunch of feathers that can be definitely sorted and put away. Stone, wood. Let's grab that. All right, cool. And not overburdened as well. Oh, and it's becoming nighttime. And we definitely need some more food. Now I'm going to go ahead and burn up this food while I'm working. Uh, let's go ahead so we don't get any nighttime events. Take a quick little rest. And again, this is forwards it up. Guild Wars 2, yes, incredibly fantastic game. I love the Guild Wars 2 base game. Now let's go ahead and do a battle while we're sleeping here, and we'll come right back. To battle! All right, it's battle time, everybody. Let me give you a big old boosty boost right there. Super fast run. Let's go do this. Uh, there we go. Is there a sweet spot? Yeah. Uh, just functionality for early progression. Yes, I would definitely use uh, functionality uh, as the base of basically everything that you do. We do the same thing even with our mega base there. It is actually about functionality, about the ability to make uh, gardens, the uh, ability to feed my people, the ability to make armor and weapons uh, and whatnot. That's how I build. I build in three different stages. There is the basic build where you just build a house so that you're out of the rain. Uh, and you've got a campfire in there, uh, or you have a campfire outside while you're inside. You still get the heat from it uh, and whatnot. Make sure that you do have ventilation so that that smoke can get out of there. Uh, very fun to learn about ventilation and how to keep your smoke uh, from uh, uh, suffocating you in your house. Uh, and then, of course, your workbenches and stuff so you can heal it, uh, so that you can repair it. Uh, and then, of course, uh, upgrades for your workbenches so you can keep unlocking different things, finding different elements that are going to unlock different patterns, uh, and so on as you're progressing. Uh, let's open the catch chest, give you guys some love. Phil Z, Rotisserie G, Subi, and Dragon Overlord all getting some love. Uh, K. Luhu uh, coming in, KT Luhu uh, coming in as MVP with the six kills. Way to crush it. Look at that. Put down Max. So you put down max units, you're going to be MVP at some point. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a boss battle here. Now in the boss battles, I'm going to call out the big guns. My little buddy Norbert. 
Uh, he's my little baby dragon. Now, this little side game we play called Stream Raiders. Very, very fun. We play for about a minute or so every 30 minutes. Uh, and as you can see, I'm putting down my epic level healer. So gather around me there, everybody. Uh, go ahead and join us for another battle. Now, again, if you have not played Stream Raiders with us before, uh, you can find the link in the chat. You can click that link. It's going to take you over there to the website. You can go ahead and download the mobile app so you can play on mobile uh, while you're watching the stream at the same time, as well as you can go ahead and download it on the desktop or on your laptop and play it right in a web browser if you so choose and of course you can put your units down the more units you put down the more uh kills and assists that you're going to get you can put multiple of the same unit down like say you want to put your archer down right so you start with your archer which is going to take about 10 minutes to cool down then in five minutes you can put down another unit so you can put down your warrior and then in another five minutes guess what your archer now ready again so you can put down another archer and another warrior and another tank and the more units you put down the more chance of kills and assists you're going to get of course the more loot you're going to get now the more uh, uh units that everybody puts down not only are we going to have more loot in here but i'm going to give you more loot in the chat every time we hit a hundred units i give you a thousand kids caps if we hit 200 units which we've had uh multiple times uh we can go ahead and give you guys two thousand kids caps toward giveaways here in my stream i literally give away thousands of dollars worth of free stuff thanks to all those epic sponsors down below like bethesda and elgato uh and blue yeti and all of those amazing peeps who do support my stream. I appreciate each and every one of them. Let's get back to some Valentine. Uh-oh, smell of sulfur in the air. We got some uh, activity going on. Now, it's really scary when you're in a big old base like this by yourself. They're around somewhere. Now, one of the problems with a big giant base is that they spawn in your base. I feel like they should definitely fix that. Oh, the smell is fading. Uh, all right, they went away. In theory. But they around somewhere. Here comes the rain. Put them out. Uh, the smell of sulfur in the air is an event. Uh, that means there's some baddies that spawn somewhere uh, around the area of that. Uh, where it did it. Now, we're also going to need to extend this out a bit here. We're going to build an actual castle wall uh, around here eventually. We're going to work on our village. There's just so much awesome stuff you can do in this game. This game is a 10 out of 10 in early access, everybody. That's incredible. That's like a Minecraft uh, level uh, bit of fun that you can have. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Just look over the fence. Don't see them. Now, sometimes they linger around and sometimes they will vanish. Uh, I find uh, you got to watch out. Because uh, they can sneak up on you and try to wipe you out. They can wipe you out. Now, of course, I went right into battle mode. Luckily, I knew I wasn't going to battle anybody because, of course, my health was all the way up and my food wasn't running out. Uh, that's usually what happens whenever you get uh, stuck in battle. Uh, let me check these boxes again. I don't know. I just feel like I'm checking them again just in case. I sometimes forget it. There we go. All right. Those are all good. Uh, so I, I find that every time I get in a battle, it's right when my stuff is running out. All my buffs are running out in that moment. Uh, it's always something... Uh, like that. Okay, we moved all of that. We moved all that other stuff. Uh, let's go check these drop boxes down here and see what we can find. Anything hiding down in this lower level? That is no. Now, it does say empty when you roll over, but I don't know. I'm just so, it's so ingrained in my brain to look in every single box. Uh, that's just the way I am. But hey, no, no stuff to sort there, so that's looking good. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff in here. Now, I'm gonna, you're going to start to see me just start grabbing stuff. Instead of running around in every single box everywhere and consolidating stuff, uh, we'll do a little bit of inefficient. That's all done, that side. So we just got just the one, the one box here to organize. And so now we've got some keys and some feathers. That's pretty easy. You just go right here to feathers. Man, look at all these feathers. Woo, mama, that's a, probably the most feathers we've ever had right there. Uh, we don't usually, we use them up. Again, saving your feathers for the long run, uh, not going to help you, uh, I find. All right, this can go in here. Look at that. Nicely getting consolidated in there. Uh, we've got our keys, which we've put right here. Now, again, these are not the permanent location for these. I'll probably end up moving them uh, in the long run. We've got uh, wood and stone right over here. That can go in here. Maybe get some more resin in there and more leather. Uh, and this is very time-consuming. Uh, at this point, and that's because we have been building our base, but not organizing our stuff 
as we're going along because you can't I couldn't put the boxes up yet until the actual base was done and once the base was done then I can go ahead and put up the boxes and I can go ahead and start our sorting uh, procedure uh, that we're doing right now um, we're finally to that stage and this is actually taken uh, a good amount of weeks and weeks uh, to get this going because uh, we typically only play about two days a week uh, uh, on Fridays and Saturdays because I'm usually playing other games during the week. Now, here's the cool thing that's going to happen next week, everybody, is that I am going to be adding back in my night streams uh, because my kids will be out of school uh, and that will, of course, help me. Now, those will be tentative night streams uh, and that means that uh, if there is some IRL stuff that I do have to do, I will let you know uh, and say, sorry, I'm canceling this particular uh, potential stream uh, for tonight uh, for various reasons of IRL. All right, but I am going to add them in, so we're going to get more streams in and more stuff. Now, we're going to be doing more team stuff at nighttime, like Valheim, Seven Days to Die, stuff like that uh, at nighttime, uh, Fallout 76. And then during the day, we're going to be doing more uh, single-player uh, stuff, like uh, Subnautica, like uh, uh, Satisfactory, though we are doing some multiplayer on Satisfactory. Uh, we're going to still keep that during the day. Uh, maybe some uh, No Man's Sky still during the day and Astroneer during the day. So some of that stuff is still multiplayer but during the nighttime, we're going to be doing Fallout 76. We're going to be doing, of course, Valenheim on Saturdays and things like that. Uh, and I will let you know, and you'll see it on my schedule as well uh, when I drop that off. All right, we got some tools on us here. Now, actually, I'm going to take this out now. This, oops, this is in my way. I just accidentally took that out. That's my bad. My bad. Oh, I don't have the stone. Don't got the stone for it. Run back over here. Grab some stone. Over here. And put that right in there. All right, there we go. Got that filled in, looking sharp. Uh, and now we're really getting into it. Now, I feel like a lot of my favorite part of any game is this part right here, which is the building and organizing and, and getting everything together uh, so that it's really at a gigantic mega level. Right, and again, oh, let me get back to what I was saying earlier. I'd never finished that part. Uh, that I do build at three different levels. Uh, there's a basic build where, again, you build out your basic base, of uh, campfire, uh, workbench, all the basics, right? Uh, and then, of course, you go to what's called a super level, a uh, super building, where you are building for uh, efficiency and you are building for uh, survival, right? Great example, you start your, uh, your uh, farming. Then you start uh, working on your forge. And then you start working on your uh, smelters and things like that. Uh, that would be a super build. It actually functions as a uh, next level uh, scaling. And then you reach a level like we're at right now where you just build stuff because you can. Because you're at that level and you're like, hey, I'm going mega farms. I'm going mega base, right? We don't mess around, everybody. <laughs> and then you're like, you know what? That's awesome, but what if we took it to a whole nother level and then we have our mega castle, we have our massive farms, and then we go build a gigantic docks, which is going to be down there, and an incredibly huge village down there where you guys eventually can come in and build homes and things like that uh, down there. We're going to build out a village with a market and all sorts of other fun stuff down there uh, once we get all of this uh, organized and ready to go. So what I'm doing is going to facilitate all this other stuff uh, down the road. And that's why what I do is very critical, uh, I feel, uh, to everything that we're working on. Uh, so that everyone can say, hey man, I need some iron. Where's the iron? Boom, there's the iron. Hey, where's uh, some more wood? Psh, oh, wait, our wood box is empty now. Where's some more wood? Oh, we got some overflow wood over here? Well, cool, I'll grab some of that. I'll grab some stone. I'll grab all of that stuff. Now, it looks like we've got all of our boxes empty. That's always, that's getting your drop boxes empty is always a wonderful thing, everybody. Uh, but it's not that wonderful, and I can tell you why. Let's go take a look and see why. Uh, we'll go see. Uh, afternoon all. Rich History G in the chat, everybody. Say hello to the wonderful uh, Rich History G. Uh, happy World Meditation Day. Oh, well, there we go. Get some meditating going on. Nothing wrong with that. Now, here's the other thing, everybody. Here is our other base right here. We call it the trade base. It is a mega base, uh, as you can see. Uh, we don't mess around, everybody. Now, this is a wood base uh, with a partial stone. 
Uh, but as you can see, we've got our trader down there. We've got our sleeping area and a oh, beautiful storm actually going on. Uh, as well as our sleeping area. We've got some farms and whatnot down on this side. Uh, we've got a dock over on the other side. This is our current main base. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to take everything from this base and we need to migrate it to the new base. So this is going to take us again. You can see we have some stone foundations down here. Uh, and so what we're doing right now is we're taking all of the stuff from here. And we grab all of our loot that's laying around. Uh, and we're taking it over to the other base. Now, you can see, uh, eventually, we're going to need to go through this portal right here uh, and carry a bunch of stuff through there. But look at this. More drop boxes. <laughs> uh, and again, this is what happens when you let it go too long. When you let this go too long, uh, you are going to have just an insane amount of stuff to sort. Now, it's actually a good thing, if you think of it in the long run, uh, that you're actually going to end up doing less sorting. Um, because uh, this is why I have so many drop boxes. So I'm doing less sorting uh, over the long run. And so I'm going to try to consolidate a bunch of this together uh, and whatnot. And again, you can see some of this stuff is the stuff we've already sorted before. And that's okay. Again, we're just trying to consolidate all this stuff down as best we can. I'm carrying too much. Well, hey, that's the way I am in just about every game. Again, I'm just clicking stuff, hoping that it stacks with the stuff I've already got in my inventory. Right here. Oh, that one's empty. Sweet. Well, that one's almost empty. But here, oh, that consolidated down. Nothing there. All right. Hey, oh, we're getting down here. That uh, can't stack anymore. And that is gear. All right. So this is pretty good. We can go ahead and stack all that in that last one. Uh, what do we got here in this top one? So now what I'm doing is I'm consolidating it, right? I'm bringing it all the way to the end, and then we'll work our way backwards. Oh, these are these are real empty right there. So we got three empty ones. This is uh, gear, so I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not going to worry about that. That's just single stacks. And then again, what you're trying to do is you're trying to find stuff that stacks with each other and consolidate it down. Because it will auto-stack to the right item. It doesn't make a new stack. Uh, it automatically knows, oh, hey, you already got some bones uh, and puts the bones together or whatever it is. And again, this is this is definitely worth your time. This will literally save you thousands of hours uh, if you do play a lot, uh, in which we do. Uh, and a lot of these games save you so much time. So much time in the long run. All right. Nose is itching. Someone must be talking about me. That's how you know. Really itching. Somebody's really talking about me. Uh, there we go. Also, I have allergies. Which are constantly kicking in here. Okay, now see this box here where I've got this wood in? I'm going to actually put wood and stone in there. Because uh, that's something uh, that I will sort separate. Uh, and then let's walk this all the way down to the end. Check the end box. Uh, again, we've already consolidated a bunch of that. Uh, one box over. we got a little bit of room there. And here, and again, it looks daunting when you first go to do the sorting like this. You're like, oh, God, kiss me. You got 25 boxes. Uh, you got 25 or 30 boxes there uh, that you got to sort. Uh, but it's really not that daunting uh, once you get it going. So now we're down to these four boxes. These two are empty. Those two are empty. That one's empty. This one's empty. Uh, so now you can see that we can take 20 plus boxes and consolidate them down into four or five boxes. Uh, very, very easily instead of, instead of you know, grabbing the stuff and going and sorting it and grabbing the stuff and going and sorting it, which just takes so much longer. It is just so much of a wasted time. Uh, so I like to optimize my time, that is for sure. Uh, anything else in here? We can consolidate a little bit of wood there, a little bit of stuff there. There we go. Uh, and that's going to be that. Okay, so and then back over here. Uh, that's already consolidated. This one is full. That one is full. Now we're on box really number four, but we've already got uh, some uh, items over here, which are uh, more of uh, armor or crafting or tool items. And now that one's full. And so we're at basically six boxes uh, over here. Okay. And again, we did these. We did those. Now we're on this one. And then this. Again it, it, again, it seems daunting when you first start it, um, but as you can see, not that hard. Not that hard once you get it down. 
So we basically just consolidated about 20 boxes together uh, into eh, about six boxes uh, total uh, because we're going to count that one there. Uh, so that's looking good. Now, a really easy box to move from one base to another uh, would be our trade box. Now, one of the things that's going to hinder us on this particular base uh, is this base is right here. And you can see I've got lots of labels everywhere. Look at this. This is our starter island. Uh, this base is right here. And what we need to do, and we're going to try this today, we're going to do a little sample and see if we can get it going, is we need to take all of our tin and copper and iron, and we need to take that and we need to sail that way, way, way up here, which is where our current base is, way up here. This is our base here, uh, way up here in the plains on this particular island that we took over. And so we're going to need to get our loot from here to here. Now, we're going to try to create an aqueduct or a canal, right? Uh, a canal through here by cutting into the land. Now, if that's hilly right there, we're going to have trouble because you can only cut down so far. Uh, but we're going to try to cut through the plains here, uh, or the not the plains, they're actually called the meadows. Uh, we're going to try to cut through the meadows and uh, try to cut across so that we can create a canal so we can shortcut uh, through there instead of sailing it all the way around every single time. And I wonder if that can be done. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I want to try the game and see what happens. No backseat gaming, all right? Uh, we're going to try that a little bit today, hopefully. We've got plenty of time uh, to get to that. But before I do that, I want to set up my people for success, right? My peeps are going to come in tomorrow, Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They're going to be like, Kismet, I'm here. I'm ready to build. I'm ready to keep expanding uh, the uh, village. I'm ready to keep expanding the base. I'm ready to work on stuff. Uh, and so I'm setting up their success. That's what I do as a leader. My job is to facilitate greatness in others, right? I feel like that's my role. And so uh, one of the things we can't take are these dragon eggs. So I'm going to take the actual dragon eggs out, along with all this other stuff, uh, out of there. Uh, and I'm going to have a specific box, uh, which is going to be for those dragon eggs. Now, the dragon eggs are really, really heavy, as you can see. Uh, so I'm going to take these dragon eggs, and I'm going to walk them down our little grand staircase here. Now, of course, you can see this base is mostly out of wood, because that's what we had at the time. Uh, but I'm going to walk these down here. Uh, and eventually we'll close this back in again, and this is this will be the entire base, just this part right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a box. Hopefully I've got some wood. I do not have any wood. Let's hope there's some wood in this thing right here. Uh, I should have thought of that first. Nope, nothing in there. Uh, oh, here, watch. I just put them in there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, consolidate all the stuff that needs to be moved from this base to another base by boat, because that's the only way to move it, uh, or you can run it, I guess, but you got to get from island to island, uh, so you definitely need to take a boat at some point. Um, but all the stuff that needs to be traveled by boat, I'm going to start consolidating together, like iron and steel and all of that stuff, and I might just put it in that cart right there, because it's very convenient. Now, all the other stuff, I can actually just portal over to our other base. Now, speaking of portals, we've taken out uh, the bulk of our portals, which used, this used to be our portal room here, done by the amazing Anon, who I see is in the chat. How's it going, Anon? Thanks for hanging out. Uh, 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 so that is awesome there, as well as we had a second level of portals that we still have some of those still to move and migrate. Uh, but really what we want to do is just kind of take out items as we go. So there we go. Now we've taken out the trade box. That is one less thing we need to do. Now, I'm not going to be taking down the entire base. I'm going to let my crew who built the base, and on and uh, Alan, uh, come in and undercut all of this once we've moved all the gear and all the items out of this particular base uh, into another base. Then they get the, the honor of undercutting it and knocking it down. And then we'll grab all the resources and bring those resources to our new base. But all the other stuff, like silver and iron and, and bronze and all of the stuff, uh, we can go ahead and start consolidating this stuff uh, into a single area. Just like this. Oh, man, look at all that copper in there. Ooh, that's a lot of copper. And so we'll consolidate it down here. Since this is conveniently here, I could create a box for it, but I'm just going to put it right in this thing. I think that should be just fine. Now, this particular area that we're in right here is the Dark Forest. Uh, because we are uh, so built up, uh, the Dark Forest uh, really not is not much of a challenge for us anymore because we do have Dark Iron uh, items like weapons and armor. Uh, so even if you go out at nighttime in this area, probably not going to be that difficult uh, unless you ran out of food or something messed up like that. Uh, that would be not good uh, for sure, for sure. And you can see I've got uh, some raw uh, tin there. And again, let's double check these. These are now done. 
Uh, and let me go ahead and change this to this so I don't have to look at that thing coming up. That one is done. And I think that one's already done. Let's go ahead. Uh, oh, no, I did. Uh, it, is, it is. There is some up there. I'm down here. Uh, that's right. That one had copper. All right. Now I'm overburdened again with loot. And again, as long as you have some stamina, you can keep moving. At some point, though, if you do run out of stamina while you carry a bunch of stuff, just throw it down on the ground, uh, run, drop the stuff off real quick, and come back and pick that stuff up. Uh, you don't want to leave it unattended in the middle of nowhere because uh, it could get uh, could get lost. Uh, but most of the time, you will keep your stuff. If it's by a workbench or things like that, all that stuff will be kept. All right, so we're making some good uh, progress. We got any bronze in there? Nope. Oop, wrong thing. Trying to hit my button. There we go. Take that out. So what you want to do is just keep migrating your stuff. Oh, here's a bunch of crafting items. There we go. Now, none of these crafting items right here uh, are uh, items that I can't portal. So I can portal all of that. Uh, what do we got over here? Obsidian. All right. Now, obsidian, once it uh, is like that, I can uh, grab it. But I'm just going to go ahead and walk it this way a little bit. Actually, let's walk it over here to the ammo box. I'm going to throw that in the ammo box for a second so I can pick up all this loot laying around. Let's grab all this obsidian. That'd be a good one. Take that out there. And no, now it no longer resides in our old base. And we're going to grab some more of this loot here. Take as much as we can. And we're going to migrate it to the new base. All right? And this... This is a tremendous amount of work here. Uh, I take try to take on the stuff that's the, the most uh, the most hardest thing. Uh, I kind of roll up my sleeves and try to work on really difficult stuff. Uh, again, I can just sit and fool around and you know collect stuff all day long, uh, but I like to take on a good challenge uh, like this where you're taking on a lot of uh, responsibility of managing all of the loot. Uh, that's why I enjoy doing it because uh, I know it facilitates greatness in my crew. Uh, and so there we go. So we've got a lot of trade items there. Now, I could have just went and traded that out and just had the gold. Uh, I could have done that too. Uh, but we'll go ahead and put that there. Now, Obsidian for right now. We see we've got some in here. Uh, we go ahead and put that in there. But now we're going to be full. And this is the only time I start adding new boxes, everybody, uh, is when I see that something is full. We got a little sharpening stone there. Put that away. Uh, and so then I'll go ahead and create a new box for it. And I'm going to go ahead and put it up here at the top. Uh, again, we're going to take our obsidian here. I'm going to try to remember how to spell it. Uh, O-B-S-I-D-I-A-N. O-B-S-I-D-I-A-N. Because I have trouble seeing words. Oh, I, I think I spelled it wrong anyway. A-I-N. Is it A-I-N? I-A-N. I-A-N. Uh, I have a problem uh, with seeing stuff now uh, because I have sleep apnea and vertigo. I have trouble sleeping. Uh, and so it's like I'm constantly in a dream state. Uh, I'm not kidding. Every day, and I'm always dizzy every single day. Uh, so it actually makes me difficult. Uh, it makes it difficult. Look, I just did it. Uh, it makes it difficult uh, for me to even make sentences, uh, as you just observed. Uh, all right, so we got our crystal as well. Uh, we'll put our crystal over here in our uh, little crafting area. We got a little bit of that. We got a wishbone. What else? We got some keys on us and some wood. Uh, let's put this wood in our overflow because we know we've got... Oh, uh, we know we've got tons of extra wood, stone, bones. We've got tons of extra leather. And again, keys right here. Uh, we can even put wishbones in here. You know what? I'm going to put the wishbones in with the keys for right now. And there we go. Look at that. How we consolidated all that stuff. Now, there's a reason why I have the portal right here. It's because I literally am in transporting stuff back and forth, back and forth. I'm going to do a bunch of running, so I'm going to go ahead and use my power of the ether. I guess that's how you say that. Probably not. I butcher every, I butcher all names, everybody. Uh, I don't try to act superior uh, to other people and correct them all the time and correct their grammar and all that stuff. Some people, they get a little thrill out of that. Uh, I don't do that. Uh, I just like, you know what? I try my best. If it's not perfect, oh well. Uh, roll on, everybody. Roll on, because uh, there's nothing like a person who corrects your grammar all the time is like hey bro step off step off grammar grammar person uh all right uh let's go ahead and uh get this going over here right there all right now what we're going to do is start to take all this stuff out too uh this is all uh consolidated here these are all empty let's take all these out and of course we'll pick up all the wood 
And how are we looking? Empty, 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 empty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that sweetness. Consolidating that loot. All right. Now I'm massively overburdened with some stone and wood. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just put that right there for right now. Because uh, I don't need to... See, if I'm going to go through the portal, I might as well be massively overburdened where I'm completely full of loot uh, than just that little bit of loot there. Uh, all right. Well, what else we got? Oh, this we could just take out of there, and then that one's done. Now, it's really easy to uh, work with your loot uh, if you are also taking out the chest because it's just visually makes it easy for you to remember uh, what you have uh, taken out, what you haven't. So I'm going to go ahead and just get massively overburdened with this random loot. And we're going to, I always consult, if you notice, I always consolidate the random loot usually first uh, and then build up the wood and the stone and stuff like that and then just take all the wood and stone at the same time. Uh, much better way of doing it, I find. Because it does take you time to come through the portal and all of that. Okay, what do we got? We got some leather and stuff like that. Probably leather would be the first thing I would try to get rid of uh, out of here. Can we consolidate it? Nope, that stuff's good. But, oh, look at this. More wolf pelts. Look, we got our 30 wolf pelts. Remember, we had two of them in there to start today. Now we've got 30. So very easy to find those now. Uh, ancient bark. Ah, oh, okay. We got, a, we got a thing for that. We'll put that ancient bark away. Uh, now our leather is in overflow. Our wood is in overflow. And we just need to remember that. Uh, as well, if we have some crafting items there. Uh, that we can consolidate here. And that's why I like a nice crafting box. You've got a bunch of random things that you know you might have uh, and needs to be put together into one plot, especially things like uh, iron nails and stuff like that. Now, again, remember, I will be taking uh, all of these particular items, the tin and all that stuff out of there. Uh, and to see, again, we have this in overflow. So when it's in overflow, I'm just going to uh, put it over here. Actually, I can stack that with that. Uh, I'm just going to put it over here uh, to be dealt with later. Oh, I hear some baddies out there. You hear them? Oh, they're out there. Now, again, if you want, if you don't want to see some people, they just love to fight every single mob. I, I'm busy. I'm sorting. I'm trying to facilitate greatness uh, for tomorrow. Uh, so I just sleep like that, and then it'll come around in the daytime. I'm fairly safe up here, unless an event goes off while I'm sleeping. That would not be good. Uh, right there. And there we go. So now we're day 309. Now, one of the things about this game is you're constantly, like, in fog or rain. Uh, it just feels like that all the time when you're playing the game. Uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say you really are, but it just feels like it, uh, that it happens a lot. Now, I am, like, God mode. Uh, on the server because I can go in and give myself everything if I wanted to, but I never played those type of modes. I don't play creative modes or uh, go into God mode and give myself tons of stuff. I feel like that really undermines uh, uh, what you're doing. Again, these are just temporary little trophy areas uh, just so I have a place to drop those out of the way. Uh, we got some uh, stuff there, a little bit of uh, wood there. Throw that, hopefully stack that a little bit in here on something else. There we go. Uh, and now we got some ammo, which is a finished good. Uh, that's something you can either make or you'll find. And so finished good right over here along with some armor. We've also got uh, some uh, gardening stuff, which I'm just putting temporarily in this box just to kind of consolidate it uh, together with the food stuff. But as you can see, foggy as can be. All right. And we've already cleared all the drop boxes here. Uh, and consolidated all of that. And now we're going to the other base and we're consolidating all of that. Uh, and eventually my job is to migrate all the loot and have it in a nice, easy to find place. Uh, and so people can find it uh, and build whatever they need to build. Uh, and so I'm working on the drop boxes. The drop boxes actually are going to be the toughest of everything else. Real easy just to grab, uh, you know, feathers uh, and whatnot. Actually, these are all done here, I think. Just gonna, oh, yeah, we got more cubes to go. Uh, a little bit of ooze there that can be moved. Gunk. Yeah, and then we have over more overflow over here uh, on the top of other stuff. Gear uh, and uh, other stuff like leather. We got, we got a lot of work to do, everybody. But again, I find the drop box is probably the toughest of all the stuff um, because it's random loot. It's not the same type of loot altogether. Uh, and so you're going to have that particular problem. But that's okay. We'll grab it. 
Nice, but big take. Now again, I've tried to utilize my food uh, that I'm using uh, as much as possible, as quick as possible, um, because otherwise uh, I'm gonna burn up all that nice food uh, and I wanna really maximize the use of it. So let's, uh, while we're teleporting, let's go ahead and do the battle. To battle! All right, battle time is upon us again. Let's go. I'm gonna walk some of this loot uh, where it goes while you guys watch that, because I think you probably got the gist of this, uh, of this looting and uh, sorting stuff. Again, if you do have any comments or questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I don't mind. I uh, just use my name; makes it nice and easy. My name is Kismet. Uh, feel free to throw them in there. It's gonna help out a lot. Nice job, everybody. Open the cap chest. Give you go. Oh, a bunch of epic scrolls there. Dragon Overlord, Reaper, The Last Splash, Shuby, all getting some love. 91 units, just nine more units. And we're going to go ahead and give you guys a thousand kiss caps. Let's see if we break uh, 100 units there. And congrats on that boss win. You guys are going to get tons of loot for that. Let's keep it going. Uh, let's see. We're going to go for the green chest here. I feel like we'll just go uh, right through the. No, up from below so we can get this gold here. And then across, get this baby, hopefully. Uh, we'll try to get as much as we can. Now, we're not going to go into battle mode today uh, because it is Friday. I do like to hang out with the family. I did cut out early to spend time with my kids as well. Uh, they did graduate yesterday. Uh, I do uh, congratulate them on graduating to the next grade. Uh, my oldest daughter is going to be a junior, and my uh, twins are moving up uh, to be in junior high now. So uh, pretty wild that I got kids that are not in elementary school anymore. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we got a bunch more trophies here, so let's consolidate which trophies we can. Uh, we've got this, which is food. We've got resin, our resin now, our resin, our eyes, all of this stuff here, resin, uh, eyes, and leather all in overflow now, meaning that our primary box is full. And we've got lots of coal here. Look at us consolidating all this coal together. That is sweet. Uh, this is a food item. So we're gonna run over here and we're gonna, gonna go ahead and consolidate our food and uh, items right there. Now this item right here is a trophy uh, from the flamey guys. And we probably don't have this in the first trophy box over here, but if we do, we'll try to put it in there. See, it doesn't go in there. So we'll go to the second trophy box and we'll put them in there. There we go. And I'll be organizing all those trophies eventually. But right now we're just trying to get it all from our other, bar, our other place. And then we can start tearing that place down and consolidate it uh, into a smaller one. Uh, whenever I move stuff, instead of recollecting all the loot again, uh, what we do is we migrate uh, our loot, right? So we use it for the next base uh, down the road. Uh, instead of uh, redoing the entire thing, recollecting it all. We'll grab that sec. We'll grab all this stuff here. Can't get any more there. And more over here. Back and forth. How are we doing on retweets? We're at four retweets. We need one more retweet to give you guys a thousand kiss caps. Go ahead and click that second link right there, everybody. Uh, go over there, hit that retweet button, hit that like button, hit the uh, follow button over there on Twitter. Uh, I do appreciate that big time. It does help out the stream. And of course, uh, the more kiss caps you have, the more chance you have of winning those epic giveaways. So it's uh, like me working together with my team in, in game. Uh, you guys work together uh, in the chat. Uh, all right, so we got some frost resist potions. We got some flint. That's an easy one. Uh, we can go ahead and put our flint right up here. Again, this is a little bit uh, less efficient than I prefer, but because we have such an overwhelming amount of loot to do it, uh, we have to take a little bit of hit on our efficiency because the, the stuff spread all over the place uh, in a bunch of different boxes. So uh, at some point, you might have to do this, which is what I'm doing right here, which is definitely uh, a lot less efficient. But the, this sets up efficiency later on. Now, if we got stuff in overflow, we got to just remember it in our head. We've got leather in overflow. We've got that in overflow, this in overflow, that in overflow, this in overflow. So we're getting lots of extra stuff 
in which we will make extra boxes for those. Those will be our loot library of excess resources uh, on top of that. Uh, bones also now in overflow. Uh, we got some potions there. We got some items. We got a wolf fang uh, right there, which we can just call a crafting item for right now. Uh, this right here, we're going to call a trophy. That's a trophy uh, and some items. So let's go ahead and first check and see if we can consolidate this into the first trophy one. Nope. Uh, and then we'll go trophy number two and look at that consolidate. Oh, we got 50 of those. Wow. Uh, consolidate those down. Then we have uh, finished goods, which would be our frost potions over here. Uh, we've also got some ammo. Let's put that in there and over here. See, nice when you have a place for this stuff, right? Where you can consolidate it. Oh, right again. There we go. Control left click. Uh, where so you can just consolidate that stuff down. Now, just so you know, I've been doing just sorting just sorting alone for two hours <laughs> uh, again i'm willing to put in the work everybody uh i'm not the type of person that says hey everybody go do all the work while i stand around and do nothing uh i've, I've already put two hours into this and probably uh you know 10 20 30 hours into it already uh, i can't remember we've been working on it for a while uh working toward it for sure uh, building up the base and then now there we go let's grab all this random loot out of here as well and now our drop boxes are done. And we can nicely take the drop boxes out like that. Pick up all this stone and wood. There we go. I'm trying not to accidentally cause a cave in here. You take out the wrong support at the wrong time. Uh, you will cause stuff to drop. Oh, no more room in my inventory. What a surprise. Uh, put that down there. Grab all of that. Now I go to the repair thing, uh, so that, uh, so that it's not blocking me because it was acting like it was going to put down, uh, stuff. Now we have actually a whole nother level up here where we got to go up here and make sure there's no excess loot right there. Uh, and uh, we'll need to consolidate all of that as well. Let's we'll see if we can consolidate with that anything we've got right now. Yeah, consolidate a little bit of that. We got to come back for that. There's a lot of boxes laying all over the place with random loot. And so we'll grab that loot. Through we go. It doesn't look too bad uh, so far in the amount of loot that we'll need to move uh, over to our other base. And in fact, if it's so small that we might just say, okay, we'll opt out uh, and just grab more or new loot. But uh, we'll go ahead and keep doing what we can do. Again, these are finished goods. So that's an easy one to start with. Uh, this is gear and armor. And I will actually create a whole stack of gear and armor, uh, tools and all of that stuff uh, for all this other random loot that we have. There we go. Easy peasy. And back over here. Uh, leather, any leather, bones we know is in overflow, resin we know is overflow. This is a trophy, and that's ooze. I could have put that ooze over there while I was there. Uh, coal we can do. All that there, there we go. Again, when stuff's in overflow, just keep stacking it off to the side. Deal with it later. Like that. Okay, now we've got wolf trophies and this. That's easy. We go up here to our trophies. Right up here, consolidate that. Yeah, trying to maximize the use of my food and water. And put that over there. Now we'll probably end up making separate boxes for all that uh, raw uh, food and stuff. We'll get to that in a bit. And there we go, clear it out again. Get back and forth, back and forth. Hours and hours and hours of doing this. Just like I took hours and hours and hours to cut out the base and hours and hours and hours to flatten the base and, and collect stone and all of those things. Again, if you are the leader, don't be afraid of rolling up your sleeves and helping out. Uh, you know, don't just delegate stuff. I'm not a big fan of just delegating everything out. I, I like to be there in the trenches, as they say, uh, and put in uh, as much effort or more than my crew as well. All right, this is good. Now, again, we're going to start taking out this stuff over here so we don't have to keep looking at it. Let's just roll over it. This one here has got something in it. There we go. Nothing there. Bunch of ooze down here. Wow, look at all that ooze. Oh, and all this gunk here, too. All right, these should all be empty now. Yeah, empty. <laughs> all right, nope. Not what I 
one do. All right, nice. Gotcha. All right, let's lug this back over here. Yeah, doing a lot of heavy lifting today. Consolidating everything down. Uh, put all the wood and stuff together. There we go. Now we've maxed that uh, box out. Come back for it. Just put all this stuff where it goes. Get it going on. Now, again, if you have a comment or question for me, my name is Kismet. You can highlight it using the... Uh, uh, your channel points, or you can just use my name in the chat, Kismet, K-I-S-M-E-T. You don't have to use the at symbol. Uh, you can go ahead and just use my name uh, and a highlight in red. No, you're talking directly to me. Okay, so we got some gunk here. Uh, I'm just going to put the gunk right here. Um, we've got cubes. Let's go over here. Let's see, did I put cubes in? Yes, we did. I just call them cubes, but they're really called uh, sterling cores. So I guess I can call them cores uh, instead, because this is called core wood. Uh, so I can just call them cores, just to be... Uh, there we go. Core. Maybe cores with an S. There we go. Cores. Uh, there we go. That might make it a little bit easier uh, to uh, find those. We've got this. We've got that. So a little bit of coal here. And I think these are going to be maxed out. So I don't think I can stack those in with that. But we can start a new stack for that. Uh, and a ton of ooze. Not sure I'm going to get this all in this thing. Nope. But that's okay. I brought some wood for once. And we'll create another separate box there. Temporarily. And put all that nice ooze. We've been using that for food all this time. Sitting in the box over there. Uh, all right. And back we go again. Uh, we got a little bit of wood on us. Let's not take that with us. And in we go. Back and forth and back and forth. This is my job. Everybody, usually on Fridays, I do a lot of this kind of stuff. Uh, where it's like managing the base and organizing stuff and collecting loot. Uh, and all of that uh, to uh, get everything ready for Saturday night as well. Let's just go with that. Put all this stuff in my overflow. Tell you, all that is in overflow right now, except for our coal. Coal, we've still got room for more coal. Wow, that thing's almost full, though. And back we go again. <laughs> again, uh, this is uh, very can be very tedious. Not everybody's into this. <laughs> Not everybody wants to sit here and do this for hours and hours, but I love doing it. I know that it it is a vital part uh, of working with your crew. Uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, very important for teamwork, big time. All right, now look at this. More overflow bones in here. Um, or overflow loot. Anything on the top here? Holy macro. Okay, lots and lots of stuff there. And we're going to do a lot of back and forth, back and forth action. Now, thank goodness for these portals, uh, because it would be very difficult to, you know, put all this stuff on a boat and have to boat it back and forth, uh, as well as uh, have to walk every single place where you want to go. Uh, that would be tough, uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, but again, we're just consolidating all of this stuff here. Those are all in overflow. Put those over there. And more gear here in our finished goods. Those are full. More gear over there. And coal on the way back. Now. Okie dokie, and back we go again. 
And so we're going to do this a lot, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But we are getting close, everybody. We are starting to now. Uh, we've uh, went ahead and eliminated all of the drop boxes. We're now eliminating uh, all of our storage boxes. So those have all been moved uh, and so on, little by little. Again, this uh, takes a long time, but definitely worth your time uh, to organize all of your stuff. Alright, those are done. Oh boy, look at that. Lots of leather. Now, having too much loot is an awesome thing to have a problem. That's a great problem to have. <laughs> and we have too much loot. I mean, what are we going to do? First world problems. Uh, it's great having uh, so much loot. Uh, Kevin, why don't you strip down and empty your inventory before moving stuff? Uh, because I hate uh, not having my thing because uh, events do spawn in the base. Uh, while I'm doing this, I've been uh, surprised several times uh, by events literally in the base where skeletons come at me or stuff comes at me. Uh, and typically that's why I don't like to take my stuff off because then I have to come back and reorganize it and do all of that. Uh, I don't want to do that. That's why. <laughs> I don't want to have to come back uh, and do that. I would rather just go back and forth, back and forth. Uh, so that is the answer to that question. And I've done it before. I've taken all my stuff out before uh, and done that. Uh, but I'm not doing it. I, I refuse to do it anymore. because I don't want to come back and reorganize all my loot. Uh, and that is the reason. But that's okay. I don't mind running back and forth and doing what needs to be done. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's uh, work out just fine in the long run anyway. Uh, and leather and all of that. Right over here. Some nice leather and more wood into there. All right. So sweet. So sweet. But I usually will do that when I am uh, organizing stuff, if I'm just in the base and just working there. But because we're in the plains, uh, you don't want to screw around. Because stuff, like you saw earlier, did spawn uh, in the base. You know that, Anon. You know that. That's why I'm not doing that. Uh, because I don't want to take all my stuff off and reorganize it later. I feel like it's worth uh, not uh, uh, wasting my time doing all of that. I would rather just do this because I'm going to be overburdened anyway, uh, running this stuff back and forth, back and forth. Now, it'd be cool if you could take the cart through the portal or you could make a cart sized portal. Uh, that would make this way easier because uh, then you could have a cart with all the loot on that uh, and not be overburdened. Uh, that would be awesome. Uh, make sure that you do have your part portals at a level, by the way, like we have it on the, you can see on the wood level there, where we can walk through the portal while overburdened. Sometimes we have our portals a little too high and you can't get in the portal because you can't jump uh, when you are overburdened. Uh, we got a lot of core wood over here as well. All right, that's looking good. Wow, okay, we're uh, full again. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more uh, chest here. And again, this is just temporary. Just kind of my little overflow spot. Uh, and that's it for that. And then try to get this in here before, before we run out of the ability to drop stuff off. All right, again, I'm just going to consolidate that stuff. It's really only about four different resources in there. You got eyes, you got leather. You got stone, you got wood, uh, and a little bit of other stuff. There we go. Back and forth, back and forth. Let's get into it. All right. And leather cleared. Cores are gone. Oh, wow, there actually is overflow stone here. Wow, look at all the stone sitting right here we could have been using. Ah, I didn't even know that was all in there. That's been sitting there for a while. Because if it's in the overflow stone, that means that we filled all three of these and I put it in the overflow stone over there and never went back and got it. Uh, so yeah, now we got tons of free stone there. Cool, that helped me build out some more stuff or my crew build out more stuff. Uh, here on our base. So see, sometimes when you're cleaning up stuff, you find stuff that you've been looking for uh, the whole time, right? So uh, it's also another benefit. You never know. You might find some goodies uh, like crazy tons of stone. Look at that. Holy moly. That is a lot of sweet stone. 
we could use for building our stone wall or uh, building out our base or uh, other fun stuff like that. For sure, for sure. How are we doing on retweets? We hit it. We hit five retweets. Nice job, everybody. That's a thousand kiss caps uh, for everybody uh, in the chat as well. And all right, I think we're looking good. We're just about done here. Yeah, and the, the teleporter, by the way, when she go through the teleporter, uh, like once or twice uh, uh, while you're online, I feel like the teleporter goes a little bit faster uh, because it's already calculated, especially if I'm just going between two separate spots. It goes pretty fast. It's not like that big a deal. Uh, oh, my thing is broken. Now you know why we left the benches so that if I need my hammer repaired. All right, and you're like, ah, oh, me, you're taking that out, bro. Who built that? I did. I built this part uh, where all the wood and uh, stone. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, I hit one in the background there. Now, again, you take out a support, bro. You better put it back in right away, because you don't know if that's a primary support or what. Uh, so I just accidentally took that support out. Uh, a little overclicking will get you for sure. Again, I'm going to let my crew come in here and uh, take their stuff out. Take the whole base down later, but I'm just going to take out the place, uh, the parts that are uh, have to do with sorting. Like so. All right. And take out all my signs and whatnot. I'm just going to go ahead and put this stuff right here. Again, build up enough to... Uh, Run over burden. We got a few of these torches. Uh, like that. Now, there is a box up here, which just has a bunch of random loot for some reason. I don't know why there's a random loot box up here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take it out now. I'm sure somebody was full and they had to put their stuff down or whatever reason. Or they were building up there. I'm sure there was a reason for it in the moment. And over here, let's go ahead and put a wooden stone in there. Go back to that. Okay, look at this. Uh, nice and cleared out. We've done a lot of great migration here. Now, speaking of my stuff, uh, there's something in my box right there. Let's go ahead and take that box out now. Uh, I don't know why I have a second box. I don't remember creating a second box, but definitely taking that out. And we'll collect all the materials there. Now, on this side, we might actually have some resin. I don't think so. I think we might have used all this up. Very carefully taking out all the signs. There actually is iron in there. All right. I'm, and some bunch of arrows in there for some reason. I don't know why there's arrows in there. But we'll take those out as well. Looking very nice. Okay. And we'll leave our upgrades for now in case someone needs to uh, do that. Also, we've got our spinning wheel. Uh, which I don't know if he's got his spinning wheels up and running on the other location yet. Uh, we're definitely going to need to work on that. And you can see I've got a bunch of, these are finished boxes, and i got a bunch of trophy boxes over here still to do. Uh, down here we have, oh, let's go ahead and turn that fire on. Uh, we have all of our food boxes. Looks like we still got to consolidate all of those. Uh, we have our fermenters and things like that. Our fishing box. Uh, food boxes, some bones up here, uh, up in there. Uh, and as you can see, we also have uh, our uh, farms and stuff down here. Uh, we're going to need to deconstruct all of this. Uh, that can come out. Uh, we also want to uh, grab all of our bees and all of that stuff out of here. Uh, let's see how we're looking here. Yeah, this has definitely got a bunch of stuff. This is random loot here. Let's grab random. I'm going to grab all the random loot. I'll come back for the specific loot later. This one's out. That one's empty. And again, you'll see me uh, grab stuff uh, so that I can eliminate that particular uh, that particular box. Uh, and that's a great way to, you know, kind of migrate your way so you know what you've done and what you still need to do uh, based on that. I'm going to try to run over here to this uh, cart. And drop off some of this heavy stuff real quick. Uh, whatever I've got on me that's weighing me down, probably this stuff right there. There we go. Uh, so that stuff, all this stuff again, is going to be have to take by boat uh, to that new area. So let's run back up here. 
and let's see and now we got finished goods we got a bit of wood and stuff there let's go ahead and see if there's any other random stuff just sitting around we'll take all these torches out eventually now we can just undercut the entire base and the whole entire thing will fall down uh we've got to do that down there all right we got still a lot of work to be done let's get to it grab a bunch of this and through we go again this is a this is a lot of work again uh uh, organizing it is probably the toughest part of doing it, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and run it through, get it going on. Uh, another nice thing about not being too overburdened, by the way, uh, is uh, not having your entire inventory full, is that at some point when I go ahead and offload this stuff, I'm no longer overburdened. So having about half your inventory full of loot also helps you uh, basically run around a bit faster uh, as well, kind of like a uh, limit, so you don't, uh, so you're not constantly overburdened the whole time, because you're not going to be able to do too much while you're overburdened. You're basically your stamina is going to run out, and you definitely have to get all the heavy stuff off of you uh, to just move. Uh, and again, bones and this. See, we know that stuff's in overflow, so we can go ahead and put that there. Some crafting stuff here, consolidate that together. Uh, let's see. We've got trophies we can go ahead and do. Usually trophies are like the easiest thing to micromanage. Uh, definitely. Uh, we got wishbones, which I'm putting with keys right now. Uh, and then finished goods over here, uh, which would be a ton of these arrows. Oh, okay. We got a lot of finished goods. All right, over there. Uh, and I got a lot of arrows on me, too. I just noticed I got a stack on me there. Yeah, we'll go shrink down a little bit those arrows off of me. I like to at least keep some arrows on me, though, because uh, you never know what's going to go down at any given moment. All right, back and forth, back and forth. Let's do it. Uh, so that's another reason, also, I only use half my inventory, uh, is so that I can come over here. Uh, I'm almost uh, out of stamina. I put down the heavy stuff, and now I can run around and sort the rest of the stuff. Uh, it does help a lot. For sure, for sure. And again, we'll grab all that stuff since we just happen to be right there. Run it through again. Back and forth, back and forth. We're wearing this, wearing this uh, portal out. Now, another thing I could do is just put a uh, cart there as well and just come through the portal, put everything onto the cart, uh, and then cart it back and forth. Um, but again... So you drop that off. Now you're not overburdened anymore. And then you can run around. Put your stuff away. Like that. Alright. Looking good. Looking good. Uh. This is a giant undertaking here too. Giant undertaking and moving such a, a massive, massive side base. Uh, no ammo left in there. All right, that makes it. Oh, wait, there's some loot up there at the top. I think I left that there from last time. Let's take that out. Ammo now done. I seriously doubt there's going to be any food in the finished food boxes. Oh, yeah. None in there and probably hasn't been in there for quite a long time. Uh, all right. Uh, out of there. Hit the R. There we go. We tons of tools in there. Tools on that one. Oh, a bunch of overflow stuff there. How are we looking at our armor? Oh, we're going to need way more boxes. Way more boxes. Now, a lot of this stuff is junk. Uh, is stuff that you can literally just... We can just leave behind uh, out in the middle of a forest somewhere or in the water. Uh, or I actually have a command that I can do in the terminal that I actually clear all that stuff out. Uh, which I plan to do after we move everything. We have everything into our appropriate boxes. Uh, then I'm going to uh, wipe the server of any random loot that's on the ground. Uh, just to give it a little more optimized. But I haven't really found that I've been having that much issue uh, with the game since they did uh, some of their updates, uh, which really does uh, help the server. Uh, so some of that stuff, we might just say, oh, this is junk, and get rid of it. Uh, Grizzy coming in. Thank you very much uh, for that follow. Thank you very much for becoming the latest Teamwork Tycoon here in the Kismet channel. Uh, show them lots of love in the chat, everybody. All right. I think we're getting there, everybody. We're getting there. Uh, we got that going. Let's go ahead and check our upper level here. I don't think there's anything up here. I think this is just kind of a walk level. Yeah. All right. That's nice. Uh, we definitely want to start working on our portals here in two. 
And one is definitely, these are connected to something. How can I tell? When I go like this, uh, they are uh, highlighting planes too. Silver dock. Yeah, all these need to be migrated. Migrated over. Uh huh. That fired up. Uh, let's see. And eventually we need to get all of our trophies and stands and stuff moved too. I feel like we're good on uh, most of that. We'll come back for the tools and stuff. Come back for our trophies. Uh, let's go ahead and do our wood stuff down here. Because this is the thing that's furthest away. Grab that wood. Grab all our garden stuff out of here. And there we go. So that's good. Get all that stuff out. Now, as the person that does the organization, uh, I highly recommend taking out boxes so people don't just keep putting stuff over there. Uh, and then you got to come back and do it again and again and again. As you're progressing uh, your base, remove previous drop boxes, remove previous uh, boxes where people are storing stuff uh, so that uh, they don't keep putting stuff in there. Now, I've had that problem in like in seven days to die where I've left original drop boxes that were just out in the middle of nowhere uh, and people still dropping stuff in there and then I have to go and get it and eventually I'm like, nope, I'm taking these boxes out so no one can throw anything in the boxes so they'll take the extra time to actually put them in the drop box. Uh, I know it seems logical that people would automatically just use the new lot, uh, drop boxes, um, but that's not always the case. Or maybe you haven't community, uh, communicated to them uh, or they haven't learned that there are new drop boxes yet. Uh, so good to know. Again, moving our gardening stuff here. Over to this side. Again, I'm just kind of randomly throwing this in here for right now. Any room in this one? Yeah, all right. We just consolidate that into there. Oh, look out. Bombs coming down. Uh, look out below. All ready for another battle as well. We'll get into that. Uh, let's see. Overflow stuff. That's overflow. Oh, not that. Uh, and this stuff will probably be stacked in here. Oh, wow. Nope. We got max stacks of that. All right. Now's a good time. Uh, before we get into that battle here is to take out all of this stuff and put all that into there. Okay, now we're going to go over here and we're going to work a bit on our primary stuff. Now, what's the thing people are going to be looking for the most? Probably iron. Uh, so I'm going to put that at the lower level. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the iron and I'm going to put it in there. That would be the next most thing. Probably dark iron. Uh, dark iron. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put all of our uh, dark iron, or what I, uh, it's actually called black metal. So I guess I should call it the, the proper thing. Black metal. I call it dark iron. Uh, and then, of course, uh, bronze, tin, and uh, uh, and copper. Now, we don't have a lot of that, so there's no real uh, uh, reason to create multiple boxes for that. Uh, but if I did have a lot, I would create multiple. Uh, bronze, uh, copper, tin. Something like that, uh, and then just consolidate those all into a single box until it gets full. And then if it gets full, then I will create separate boxes for it. But I feel like the thing we're going to have a lot of, iron and black metal, uh, at this particular one, because we are in the plains, which is the hardest area in the game currently. Uh, right there, so that's looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and run back, get some food. And then we'll go through the portal, and we'll do a battle while we're going through the portal here. Back and forth, back and forth. Having lots of fun. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and do this battle. To battle! All right, I'm going to boost you guys again. I'm uh, going to have lots of fast run. Let's fire it up. Uh, that's true, Grizzy. Yes, we are in the end part of the game. Uh, and you need those reinforced boxes. That is very, very true. Uh, that is very true. Uh, and again, thanks for appreciate uh, everybody coming in and hanging out in the stream. Watch out for any backseat gaming, though. Uh, don't tell me anything I don't want to know, uh, which is anything. Uh, if I do ask the chat and say, hey, chat, tell me such and such thing, uh, then you know I am uh, asking uh, for you to tell me. But uh, other than that, I'm usually just talking out loud and uh, just kind of commentating on what I'm doing. I'm telling the whys of what I'm doing uh, as I go along. Uh, I do like to remind people, watch out for those chat rules uh, from time to time. 
Uh, all right. And while you guys are watching that battle, I'm going to run down here and try to figure out what I'm going to do with all this food. Uh, let's do it. Uh, open the captain chest. Give you guys some love. This little side game we play called Stream Raiders. Played every 30 minutes for about a minute. Uh, we got snacks. We got EMZRT and Reaper getting some extra love there. And Beer Bear, MVP with a six assist there. Uh, awesome job. Let's go ahead and start up another battle. Get that going. Uh, it's a two skull, so bringing in the rogue again. Right there. Let's get it going. All right, so we've got a bunch of food over here. So we're going to go ahead and start migrating our food. And we are going to go mega style with our food here. Uh, and so now, once I take it out, it is out. It no longer is going to be utilized at this particular base. It's now going to be moved. Oh, my God, look at all that honey. Holy moly, look at all that stuff. Ooh, mama. Uh, let's just go ahead and work with the smaller stuff first. We'll come back to those big stacks of loot. Look at that. Barley flour. Uh, wow, wow, wow. My peeps have been crushing it. Oh, we got a bunch of this uh, frost resist uh, ingredients. I'm going to leave that right there. And this is really only for questing. Uh, so we will leave that uh, as is for now. Now let's go ahead and look at our drop boxes. Drop box is probably the easiest thing to clear out uh, over here. And we'll go ahead. Oh, that one's already empty. And that one's empty as well. So, all right. Again, what you want to do is uh, it's almost like a forcing function. Uh, you're forcing your peeps to no longer use the old boxes uh, and to uh, use the new box. Now, this is metal, so I'm not going to bother to take that out because uh, that's going to just drop that metal on the ground. Uh, we can't take the metal with us, uh, so we're going to leave it. Oh, we got some potions on there, so let's go. Let's go. Now, again, this is our base, uh, our current uh, mega base, which is our trade base, which is awesome. You can see I'm up on the higher side here, which is normally would be uh, where we'd have all of our portals over there. And then, of course, our crafting uh, and all of our materials. But we're moving it to our mega castle, uh, which we're working on, our mega castle and villages. Uh, oh, no worries, Grizzly. No worries. No worries, bro. Uh, I'm already on, there, on black metal, by the way. So and I already got black metal gear. My whole my whole crew have black metal gear. Uh, and our actual base is in the plains. So, uh, as you can see, because <laughs> we crazy. Uh, only crazy people build bases in the plains because they can still one-shot you. Even with black metal, uh, they can still one-shot you as well. As you see, I've started uh, an awesome dock I'm going to have down here. I'm going to build out an entire village uh, down here. I'm going to let you guys come in and also uh, build yourself a house if you want, right on the edge of the beautiful ocean here uh, with some beautiful views. Uh, and you can see this is our current mega base that we're working on. And what I'm doing as the uh, leader of the crew is facilitating greatness uh, in each of them. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to create another section over here on this side, which is going to go along with it, uh, which is going to be the raw foods. And these are going to be the finished foods, or I guess I can put the raw foods on this side. What do we got here? This is an empty chest. Uh, so I'm going to put the raw foods on this side. Now, using the iron for these boxes, uh, I typically don't. I typically don't. And the reason why is that iron could be better utilized for other things like iron supports and things like that when you're building your base. Uh, I much prefer to use it for that uh, or for gear, obviously, for my crew uh, than to use it for boxes because I can just make more wood boxes. And I, it's not like you don't have enough space, right? You got plenty of space. Uh, in fact, if I would need more, we'll just build a bigger base, right? Uh, in that case. But we've got plenty of room over here. So I'm feeling actually this side might be better. Uh, for some of our uh, raw materials. And so I'm just going to use the basic boxes uh, over here. And then also, if they want to come over here and revamp it and redo the food stuff, they're welcome to come over here and take these boxes out and reorganize it. But organizing is pretty much what I do. Again, I hate to clip through stuff, but I'm going to try to sneak as many of these in here as we can. There we go. That's pretty good. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and start with some signs. Now, what do we got on us here? We've got some carrots. Uh, what are, what's kind of the staple of the food that we make? Uh, I would probably say carrots and turnips uh, is a good staple of that. And normally, I would combine a lot of stuff together, especially in early bases. Uh, I would combine them together. But at some point, uh, you're going to definitely want to scale up. God, my fingers can type. Uh, carrots with an S. Carrots, there we go. Uh, you want to consolidate and uh, early, and then later on, uh, you can go ahead and scale it up where uh, everything is separate, which is what I'm going to do now. Now, by the way, you can put uh, signs on the ground in this game, which is awesome. Uh, turnips. 
turnips right there, uh, which we've got uh, right there. Just a little bit of that. But, of course, we do have uh, a large amount of it out there <laughs> that we can go grab uh, later on. I'm just organizing it. That's usually what my role is. Uh, what? Oh, nope. Banner. I'm trying to make a sign. Uh, oh, I need the coal. But since we've been organizing all of our stuff today, uh, we know right where the coal is, right? So nice and easy. Oh, look at all that coal in there. We've really, really been going to town on it uh, today. And what we're doing is just organizing. We're just putting stuff where it goes or, or defining where it goes uh, in here as well. Now, we've got to watch out because you can see that that's orange right there. Uh, when we go to build stuff, we don't want to cause the base to fall down, uh, which uh, has happened before uh, in other games, but we're going to try to avoid it here. Now, what's the next thing you would need? Now, again, I'm just trying to think in terms of uh, what would you need uh, early uh, and so on. What is like the progression of food that you would look for? Well, I would think the next thing you would be looking for would be meat. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put our meat in there. Now, I'm going to count raw fish as part of meat. I can also count entrails as part of meat right now because it's not like we have a full box full of those uh, right this moment, and I doubt we'd have any full box of those uh, at any given time because we we would not leave a bunch of stuff in there. We would use it up uh, for actual food. Uh, so we got that going. Now, what's the next thing here that you're going to have a lot of? Probably uh, yellow mushrooms. So we're going to say yellow mushrooms. We know we got a bunch of those. Yellow mushrooms. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put those in there. And for just for fun, since we have them on us, strawberries. Oops. Strawberries. God, sometimes I can't even, can't even make words anymore. Sleep apnea sucks, everybody. Just so you know. Uh, all right. And then necktails here. We're just going to put this necktail off to the side. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and create a box over here, which is going to be a temporary box uh, for uh, if I need to make more boxes. Uh, and so we'll put that stuff there. Uh, more signs. We'll put that there. We'll run back. Grab ourselves some more wood. And actually, I don't want to grab it out of there. I'll grab it out of the overflow uh, over here. Here. There we go. And then I kind of... Uh, it's like slowly working out your overflow, too. It's like utilizing your overflow items uh, while you're organizing your base and whatnot. Instead of using your primary uh, box where you end up refilling it anyway. I'll put some of that over there. There we go. Uh, and we'll come back to all of this. Now, up here, we also have uh, some food items. There's some meat right there. Uh, anything else? No, that's all ooze and stuff. Uh, so we'll take our meat and consolidate it down there as well. So this is uh, actually raw meat and also cooked meat in the same box. Now, why is that? That's because both of those are actually uh, will eventually become something else uh, as they uh, go over here and cook stuff out. And again, my crew has been doing the cooking, uh, so I've been letting them do that. Uh, they've also already done the gardening, so uh, they wanted to build a base. And I said, okay, while you're building a base, I'll go ahead and work on the gardening. Uh, again, it's kind of great to rotate through different things and try different things. Like you build bases, you work on gardens, you work on the crafting, you work on the smelting, you work on a lot of stuff. So you understand all of those different roles uh, there are to play uh, in there. Let me go ahead and put my flask down so I'm not running back and forth with that the whole time. There we go. And again, back we go. Show you another great trick here as well to save you some time uh, right in here so this is actually called n3 for uh, north 3 uh, and so uh, we've still got some stuff to move over here um, but we could take that portal and move it uh, down by where the rest of that stuff is uh, let's see if we got anything in here nope uh, so we'll grab that out of there uh, and probably something to do is to go in and start to remove uh, all of this stuff right here. Start to migrate this stuff uh, to the new base first so we can go ahead and move the portal. Uh, so good idea to go in here and say, you know what, screw it. Let's go ahead and move all this random tools and loot and stuff. Probably, oh, flint knife. Uh, apparently I haven't done the flint knife yet. Yes, it is possible to get this far into the game and actually not uh, do some basic stuff. 
Uh, definitely. Uh, especially when you're working with another team because the other person might have found it and made that thing and you hadn't made that thing yet. In most games, I suggest, just like we were playing uh, Subnautica yesterday uh, and, you know, Satisfactory, Astroneer, whatever game it is you're playing, uh, you make one of everything. Uh, because you never know because that thing might unlock something else. Uh, so good to uh, pl make every single thing so that you've unlocked all of the stuff. Uh, all right. And again, this is just our finished goods. We're going to organize this. I feel like a lot of this stuff we're actually probably just going to get rid of uh, as we go. But this is great for if you've got some new peeps coming in and, you know, uh, they don't know how to make any gear or anything. They can just go right to your gear uh, and grab stuff just to protect themselves. Put all that in there. And I got some wood on me. You know what? Let's put it over here because we're going to be working on this side. Over there. Now, eventually, we will have a bunch of iron excess and a bunch of other excess as well. Uh, but again, I always kind of think about uh, the time of my crew, right? How much time they're investing in collecting those particular materials and to best use those materials for the best use case, right? Uh, so instead of, you know, burning tons of iron on uh, boxes, uh, I feel like the iron requirement makes those boxes less uh, viable, less usable uh, in a larger group. Uh, then it's, I think I've made an iron helmet before, but uh, who knows? Uh, who knows? Apparently not. And this stuff's really tedious. This, uh, this, all this uh, armor and stuff is tedious. But again, our goal is to move everything out of this base and then tear this entire base down, uh, consolidate it down into a smaller, uh, more remote base, which is just going to be used for the trader. Uh, and then everything, of course, moved to our giant mega base over here. Back and forth, back and forth we go. Hmm. Hmm. More boxes. Going to need a lot more boxes. Let's grab a bunch of this and let's really go to town. Again, I do a lot of temporary stuff. Uh, just to consolidate it, and then I'll come back. And because this stuff here is going to take a minute, this is going to take a minute. You're like, well, kid, why don't you just make it so you can go ahead and put it away uh, when you run it over here? And that is a good, uh, good idea to just actually build out the whole system and then bring it over. Uh, but there's certain things that I don't build ahead of time, and that would be overflow uh, and then finished goods, uh, because I don't really know how much finished goods I am going to have and how much of that I'm actually going to keep. So it's really not worth my time to build the whole thing out right now. Uh, it's really move everything out of the way so I can uh, let my peeps do their thing, right? Uh, while I'm doing something else. Because I could always be building that out while they're tearing down this space, right? So you're basically uh, 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 trying not to slow other people down so they can get their stuff done. My big goal today is to migrate all of the loot out of here today uh, to our new base. And once we have it moved, then we can tear this base down, recover all of the wood and the stone uh, and materials that we were using to build this massive base uh, and use that for our new base uh, and any future bases that we need. Uh, and, of course, our village and all our other stuff that we're building out over there. And uh, you'd be surprised how much stuff you got laid around. There's a lot of stuff laying around all over the place, not just in our bases, but all in the open world as well. Uh, and again, this stuff's not worth uh, going in and fine tuning right now. I'll go through and actually sort that out and I'll have like multiple stuff. Uh, the higher end gear uh, I'll keep and then the lower end gear I'll just get rid of because people can just grab the stuff and make the gear. Right? They can keep the, they can basically get the raw materials. Uh, once I have all the bases consolidated and everything moved and we have all of our resources in boxes, I will then do the, the godlike command key, which will clear all the excess stuff uh, off the server. Uh, and then all of that excess stuff will be gone. And then we won't have to micromanage it. Now, I really feel like they need a delete key uh, in here. Uh, where Oh, I haven't done a battle axe either. Uh, so uh, you can go in and just like middle mouse button this baby, uh, hold it down, spins around and then it deletes, right? Uh, I feel like that should be good. Or you could put it back like in a forge or something, or uh, you can hold the key down and then it breaks it down into its basic materials. Uh, that would be super, super useful as well. 
uh, it'd be nice to recover some of those materials, even if it wasn't all of the materials, uh, a short, a small amount of, say, iron and stuff like that, which actually, if they did do that, you could work around it uh, by taking your iron and copper and tin and make a weapon. Then you could go through the portal with the weapon and then tear it down on the other end. Uh, and that's a fast way to move all your iron and uh, tin and all that stuff elsewhere. Uh, that's what I would do uh, for sure. Now, it's nighttime over here, everybody. So just in case an event happens in my base, I'm going to go ahead uh, and forward time. The larger the base, the uh, the more peeps you're going to need to defend it because it's going to get going on. How's your dock going? Uh, I stopped the dock right now. I'm uh, I always uh, switch priorities based on what I feel is the most important thing in the moment. Uh, right now, uh, the most important thing is me uh, clearing out our other base of loot so we can tear it down uh, tomorrow night, uh, Saturday at night, 9 p.m. You're gonna see us tearing that whole thing down uh, if I can get all this done right here. Uh, and then once I get that done, uh, I will then return back to the dock. I actually got the dock the way I like it. Uh, looking pretty good. I'm probably going to lower it a little bit around the dock. Uh, and then we're going to build out the other sections of the dock and, and close it in and all of that stuff uh, to make it nice and easy. Um, but uh, right now, consolidate, consolidate. All right. I think I got the bulk of this. Let's see if we got anything else here. Maybe a little bit left. Aha, a little bit left here. Let's grab that. And we'll go to this. Pull this out. All right, all right, looking good. And over here. Now, these are really tough boxes because uh, these are usually pretty densely uh, uh, stacked already uh, with trophies. Uh, so we're going to need to go to town on this. This this is for sure. We're going to do a lot of back and forth, back and forth on this. And again, I could clear part of my inventory, uh, which I mentioned earlier, uh, but I just rather not. I would rather not because uh, I don't want to have to re-put my stuff back on again and reorganize all my stuff. Uh, again, I'll just take the extra trips. It's okay. Uh, again, I just uh, going to be doing this for hours and hours anyway. Uh, nothing wrong with doing that. Now, these trophies up here, uh, I could try to consolidate them together. Uh, but I'm going to try to uh, uh, group them, right? So first thing we're going to do is see if we've got any that we can already kind of group uh, anything in here. All right, so there's a few of them we can group together. Now, how would I group trophies, right? That's a that's a good question. Uh, now, of course, the higher end trophies, like fullings and things like that, we could do it based on uh, level, right? So your lower end trophies, which are typically your deer trophies, right? Those are your lower end stuff, skeleton trophies. Uh, this is the actual gray uh, dwarf shaman uh, trophy, which is your lower end stuff. Neck trophy, that's a low level one. Uh, blob trophy, that's actually a little bit higher level. Uh, wolf trophies would be higher level. Uh, and then, of course, Locks Trophy, uh, higher level. Uh, and then, of course, Pigs, lower level. And again, so I'm just going to do it by level. Dragger Trophy, that's from the Swamps. Uh, and then, of course, Grey Dwarf Trophy. So just maybe by overall level. And then we'll take our Locks out. Uh, and then also, uh, we have our actual uh, Boss level uh, trophies as well. We also got a Leech Trophy we can put in there. Uh, and we can just do it by level. And just try to see if we can get away with that. Now, I seriously doubt... Uh, we're going to be able to do uh, uh, we're going to be able to do that in just a couple of boxes. We're going to definitely have a ton of boxes of trophies uh, in here. Uh, so we'll go all the way here and we're going to say a trophy three. Now trophies, uh, you do use them uh, for things at some point, uh, but I seriously doubt I'm going to leave them there. Uh, I'm only putting them there temporarily. Uh, while I'm thinking about what to do. Actually, I'm going to leave those in there. Uh, boss ones, we'll leave those. Uh, Sterling trophies, those are in the swamps. Uh, this is Drake trophies. So these are going to be the higher level trophies. So let's start at the end with our higher level trophies like Drakes and Desquitos and so on uh, in there. Now, wolves are in the, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, cold area, in the mountain area uh, that... Uh, uh, that's kind of high level. Uh, it's not as bad as the planes, but it, they, those wolves definitely can kill you. One of those wolves can kill you uh, even with max level gear. And then we'll go over here. Speaking of gear, drop that off. We got some sort of tower shield on me as well. Put that away. Uh, all right. Now we're making some strides. Let's go.
Cool, cool. Yeah, it's going good there, Knox. Going good. Uh, we'll get it going at some point. Uh, right now, we have, by the way, I found a ton of stone and a ton of wood here. Uh, so we're going to have plenty of uh, stuff like that going on. Now, look at this. This is cool. This is the Elder Trophy uh, in there. Like that. Now, if I had a lot of boss trophies, I would go and say, you know, boss trophies in one of the box. Uh, but look at this. Look at how many trophies we got here. Just an insane amount. And again, I'm just clicking them just to try to consolidate with what I've got. And back over here. And so what we're doing is we're using, we're working from opposing ends, right? So trophy five down there, higher level, uh, trophy one, lower level, right? And then let's go ahead and max out our max trophies there. Uh, just click any of this stuff. I'm just going to click all of it uh, to see if I can max it out. And that's going to max out real quick because we got a lot of those low level trophies. So trophy number two, also low level trophies. So go ahead and just put in all of our low level stuff. That's a higher level one. Skeleton, that's already there. Uh, these are higher level trophies. Okay, so uh, also Sterling, uh, I think was in that box. Yes, okay, that in there. Uh, wolf trophies, uh, where do we see them wolves? Huh. We put it up here in the higher level box. Oh, wrong thing, right here. Yep, we did, okay. Uh, and this right here is a furling totem, so that's a higher level item. Uh, Fairling, we'll put it with wolves because that's in there. This is going to stack with that. That's going to stack with this. These are boss. That's Drake Trophy, so we're stacking that. Uh, Blob Trophy, again, lower level item uh, over here. We've already maxed that one out uh, and so on. Now, another thing that we can do is say, hold on a second. Let's just put all the deer trophies in the first one, right? Because those are really going to be low level. So let's go ahead and take all this out temporarily, and we'll put all the deer stuff uh, in the first one, uh, just to try to get those consolidated down. How about some pigs? How about these ones? How about some skulls and that one? All right. And then uh, let's say uh, next would probably be low level. And so we say, you know what? Hold on. Let's uh, put next in there like that. Maybe put our boss trophies in there, right? So when we're looking for our boss trophies, they'll be in there. Maybe great shaman. And then trophy number two, uh, would be more like this and are a little bit tougher guys. Maybe our swamp level stuff uh, will be all in this particular one. Uh, and we'll take our seeds out. And there we go. So so this is more like swamp or this is even gray dwarf trophy there. But we got so many of the other trophies over there. Now, I'd love it if you could press a sort button and it would do this. Put the stuff that's the same by each other. Like that. That would be awesome. Please add the ability uh, to uh, be able to sort that. Now, this is just an annoying... These are just annoying because you're not really going to use those, but I'm going to put them down here uh, toward the end so I don't have to really worry about them being in my way as I'm sorting these lower-level trophies. And the same thing here in trophy number one. Uh, you'd want to put all the things that are similar together. And usually, I don't even worry about it. We're, usually, I put it in there. Trophies are used for various different things. For making items... Uh, they're also used for unlocking stuff, and they're used for certain bosses as well. Uh, so uh, that's what all those trophies do. They have uh, combined uh, usage. Now, I've probably got way too many trophies, uh, way more than we're probably ever going to use, but we will keep consolidating them anyway. Oh, look at this. We're going to have a whole box just of deer stuff. You watch. Just the deer stuff here. And over here, probably more deer stuff. Yep. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab just the deer items and the lower level items. And what else can we put back in here? There's some wood back in there. Uh, grab them pigs. And let's go ahead and put that stuff there. This up here. Next, uh, skulls back. All right. And so what we did is we just grabbed the lower level items that I need uh, that go along with the first row. Uh, of trophies. And did you notice I have five boxes right there? And five are actually five or six boxes. And you'll see me consolidated down. Uh, so it actually uh, will take a lot less boxes um, because I'm now combining the two separate boxes, the, the boxes I had here and the boxes from over there. And I'm combining the stacks together. 
uh, so it actually should take about the same or less space. We will see. These boxes are going to fill up fast. Uh, they, they always do. Uh, oh, we got a reload. We got a patch. Got to patch that, uh, that stuff. All right, so now I want to get this in here, but I'm going to need some space. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we've got anything in here we can maybe drop in there. Nope, we don't. Uh, we don't. All right, let's put some stuff in here. Let's put all these in here. This is actually brute right there. So, again, we can just say, okay, we're going to put all the gray dwarf stuff together into that box. And then over here, we'll take all the gray dwarf stuff out uh, and whatnot. And just look at this, everybody. That's a lot, a lot of those. Now, again, at this point, it makes me want to just get rid of those. Uh, you know what I mean? Because you're going to run out of room. And again, we'll move this now up forward and we'll put our pigs in here. Uh, like that, our, our uh, necks in there. Again, so they're kind of like second level items. And then maybe our trolls. Let's put our trolls in there. That'd be fun. And then over here, we're going to say, okay, this is going to be our higher level items. Uh, let's go ahead and do our skulls. Oh, all of our skulls don't fit in there. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and move to the next box. Now, again, look, we're already on trophy four already. Uh, move to the next box. Let's we'll go ahead and put all this in here. Maybe our higher level items. Maybe just our boss stuff. Uh, is going to be in the last one here, right? Just put it in the last highest level one. What would I move out of here? I would probably move Wolf out of there because Wolf is uh, uh, also goes along with Drake. And we'll move that over here. Uh, just to make that easier. Any more stuff? Uh, we got our curlings on us. Uh, sterlings. Uh, sterlings maybe. Maybe here. Yeah, let's go there. That's looking good. And back we go again. Get even more. Uh, so yeah, for crafting, uh, for uh, unlocking certain items in the game as well. Uh, definitely want to take on them bosses uh, and collect those trophies. Uh, you can also use them for decoration if you want. Uh, eventually, I'm sure we will decorate uh, all this stuff. Hey, look at that. Nicely consolidated down. And all of our trophies now done. That wasn't that bad. Okay, and again, we're going to go ahead and start down here. Uh, we've got some we can consolidate there, but it doesn't quite consolidate. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, stuff here. Uh, let's see, nothing in there that we've we got up here that we want to combine. Let's go over here and combine those together, but then that's going to fill that up. Uh, so now we've filled that up. So we're going to backtrack here. We're going to start putting this here. Oh boy, now we're getting full, right? The whole entire thing is now full. Can't consolidate any more in there. No more into here. And just as I uh, suspected, uh, completely full uh, of that. Now, we do have some higher level trophies here, which are the elites. Uh, Dragor elites, which are different than the regulars uh, and whatnot. Uh, probably would pull these out of here. Put that into there. Maybe sneak that in there as well. Uh, and then just put these maybe uh, in an overflow or something like that. And deal with them later. Here we go. All right, through again we go. Back and forth, back and forth. Okie dokie, trophies are done. Gear is done. This whole entire level can be taken down now. Uh, this whole entire side of the base is now uh, obsolete. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, take the, oh, I can't take that out. Mr. Require, oh, I gotta have the crafting station, uh, for it. Uh, oh, we gotta get that going on. Hold on. We got to, uh, come back and we gotta put the crafting station back down, which is our artisan table. We need wood and we need dragon tears. Let's go ahead and, uh, grab that. God, I took the workbench down before I took the items down. That's why those items are still there, everybody. Uh, they're there because uh, I took the workbench down. That was my bad. Okay. Some tears there. And let's actually act like we're making the item. Uh, more wood. All right. Grab some wood from over here. 
going on three hours of organizing stuff <laughs> as well as well uh again uh it'd be great if you could bring the uh, cart through the portal uh that would make that a lot easier uh, obviously you wouldn't uh, be able to bring it through it on stuff that wouldn't go through the portal but you get the idea okay so we need to make ourselves a table right there and then we can go ahead and break these down Okay, dokie. Now again, this is actually doesn't use anything. I just realized it doesn't use anything that I can't already portal. Uh, and we'll leave that there for now. Uh, let's go in and switch to this. Uh, upgrades. I'll leave the upgrades for now. Probably don't need this upper shelf. And I'm just trying to take out what I can. Stuff that I've worked on or stuff that needs to be uh, just kind of taken out for now uh, before we take the entire base down. And we're going to take the entire base down here. Hopefully tomorrow, uh, if I get my job done, then uh, we'll be able to take this down. All right. There we go. Let's get back to some food. Let's run down here. And the first thing I'm going to grab actually are these mushrooms because we already have a place to put these mushrooms. We're going to grab those. Let's grab these mushrooms and take this out. Take that out. All right, we'll come back to that in a minute. By the way, you might as well, might as well use this buff every time it comes up uh, when you're just running back and forth because uh, it does help you with your stamina while you're running back and forth. Uh, you get different buffs based on which uh, bosses you kill. Uh, as you go along, you get uh, different buffs uh, for different reasons. Uh, I don't want to spoil what they are, um, but then you can see this one just allows you to run faster. This is the first boss uh, items. I'm going mushrooms over here. It's always have a. It's always good to have a place for stuff to go to. Uh, so if you're collecting stuff, especially if you're, you're going to be the sorting person, uh, oh, it doesn't quite doesn't quite make it. So now we have some overflow of mushrooms, and I'm going to put those over here in this kind of little overflow box temporarily. And then back over here we go. right here and then see i'm consolidating that with those iron nails and putting that in there now again i would like for this to sort itself it would be awesome now actually we could do some black metal scrap while we're at it. there's no reason to keep the actual raw scrap itself uh i don't find uh basically you just go right over here go ahead and put oh, wrong thing right here feed those into there and we've got coal right here and we'll turn right around and while we're doing this fill that right up the coal right back in here. In fact, I'm going to put that right back in there. And then I'm just going to let that run. I'm just going to go ahead and make us a bunch of uh, black iron. And we'll let that roll uh, while we're putting the rest of this stuff away. Good to multitask. Get as many things going as you can. Man, look at this. We've got three rows of overflow. Uh, anything else? Oh, I can hold on. I think I can consolidate that onto that one. I still try to consolidate it if I can uh, into a box that's already got that particular loot. But after a while, uh, you know, I'll just say, oh, well, whatever's got an open space, that's where that will go for now. Now, again, this is really helpful if you've got your crew as well. Uh, but I'm not really sure where I want to put everything uh, when I first started. So it's not easy to say, hey, everybody, grab everything and bring it over. Uh, but normally that's what I would do. I would say, OK, everybody, hold on. We're going to move everything now. Uh, and that's how we got to this base. We moved everything from previous bases and everybody grabbed a bit of stuff and they moved it over here. Uh, but again, as you go along, uh, you definitely want to uh, remove the previous areas. Like this and like this. And that tells you, hey, you've already cleared that out. And this is barley. Berries down here. Uh, this and this one can be taken out. Oh, nope, that's not quite enough. Uh, this is... Where did our barley go? Right here, barley flour. There it is. Let's take the barley flour. Where did I see that? Oh, it's on me. Take that off. There we go. Uh, now I'm going to pick up that coal. And let's leave the wood and the coal. Grab those little bit more mushrooms. We'll come back for that stuff. Barley, we'll come back for that and the berries. Okay. 
Back we go. All right. Oh, and the battle's ready to go. Uh, I can see that I had to reset it there. All right, let's do this battle. To battle! All right, had to reset there to do an update. Let's go. Battle time. Uh, let's fire it up while I go ahead and put away some of your shoots. Okey-dokey. Uh, let's go ahead and give you guys some love. Bam! Tons of rewards going out to Snacks, Rotisserie G, Dragon Overlord, John Boy, EMCRT. Keeps eating those same names. You guys are lucky, lucky. Uh, Reaper coming in MVP that round with five kills. Way to crush it. Uh, all right, let's get to this gold. Oh, my gosh, we're going to hit Tier 41 here in a moment. Uh, let's keep it fired up. How are we doing on time? Plenty of time. Lots of time. Oh, my goodness, everybody. Now, look out. There are way too many units here. Uh, for you to put your rogues up close. Put them way in the back, and you may have a chance of sneaking by. Uh, I would say top right here. I would say right here. Now, my job is to take a beating so you guys can get the win. So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, uh, Teamwork Tycoon right here, uh, my Wasteland Tycoon uh, version of me, uh, right there, my tank. Uh, so feel free to gather around me, everybody. Gather around this area. I'm going to haste all of you uh, up into here, and we're going to try to drag all the aggro to us so all the peeps who put down their rogues way in the back, uh, back here, uh, can try to run by. Now, no guarantee. There's a lot of units. Most likely, you're going to die uh, if you get into these units down here in the corner. So uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, great question in the chat says not how do I battle what you do is you go ahead and follow that link right there in the chat uh, You can get uh, download stream Raiders uh, for free uh, You can download the app if you want to play it on your uh, mobile device Android or iOS uh, Or you can uh, go ahead and uh, play it in a web browser on your desktop uh, PC or a laptop uh, You can do it either way you can actually watch the stream while you're doing it at the same time uh, You're looking for me your captain kismet uh, so you go in and you search uh, after you uh, either do it in the browser or you do it in the app. You go ahead and search for your captain and type in my name, K-I-S-M-E-T. Then you go ahead and find the battle board and you'll be able to start putting down units. Remember, you can put down one every five minutes. So put down as many as you can. Uh, remember that your units do come back up again. So if you put down an archer, it'll take about 10 minutes for your archer to come back down. But then again, in five minutes, you can put a warrior down. And then in another five minutes, guess what? You can put another archer down and so on. And then you can unlock uh, uncommon item, uh, uncommon uh, units, rare uh, units as well. And then, of course, legendary uh, eventually uh, down the road. Now, as you can see, I've added another uh, layer over the top of my boxes here. And I'm going to go ahead and put more boxes along here uh, after I pick up some more wood, which is uh, why I put a bunch of wood here. But wow, really, I used up all the wood already. I just used up all that wood. Now I gotta run back, grab some more. Oh, look at it doing its job over here. Boom! Bunch of black metal. And we'll put it over here. We got stacks and stacks of black metal, as you can see. Uh, but we're gonna need some wood. Oh, let's get in from the overflow. There's some wood there. We just need regular wood because we're just making regular boxes. And let's grab a bunch. All right. I might notice that sometimes that you're like, Kidman, I'm usually overburdened all the time, man. With all that loot on you, why are you not overburdened? Well, I also have the uh, belt uh, right here. Uh, the I'm just going to call it Yord. Uh, and so basically it allows me to uh, have additional uh, strength so I can carry more items. You actually get it from the trader, which is where I'm at right now. Uh, or uh, where I just was uh, at the trader uh, for that. So we're going to go ahead and put in uh, our... About that... Uh, we're going to put our honey up right over here, like this, and we're going to put in more boxes while we're at it. And like 
that. All right. And it's becoming nighttime again. I don't want to have some event spawn on me and then wipe out our entire base. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, take a little nap. There we go. All right. Nice. Got that rocking and rolling. Uh, now, I might move Valenheim, by the way, uh, Valenheim uh, on Friday uh, to night streams as well. So it might be on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, just a heads up uh, for all you peeps who want to come play uh, so that peeps can come and play <laughs> who, uh, you know, have a day job and whatnot. Uh, I will be doing some more night streams uh, now that it is uh, uh, my kids are out of school for right now. That will help a bunch. Okay, what about coal is what I was looking for me some coal so I can make me some signs uh, this looks like it's done so let's go ahead picking up coal feed some stuff in there feed a bunch of stuff in there get that fired all the way up grab some more coal let that do its thing while we're over here organizing uh, this is gonna be honey so let's go ahead and put a sign on all of these as well Oh, this is nice. This is very, very nice. I like it sideways like this better than I like it long ways. Uh, just easier to find the thing you're looking for. Uh, these, uh, This is honey. So let's go ahead and name it honey. Right there. Uh, what are we going to put in here? I guess we could do a separate. Maybe we'll put the raw food over here and then put the uh, raw garden stuff over here. I think that's going to be an idea. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just go ahead and tuck those together just a little extra. We have a lot of room here. To sneak in. A lot of organization. All right, that's looking good. More signs. Uh, we're going to need more wood. That wood goes fast, everybody. Goes very, very fast when you're making lots of uh, stuff. But that's okay. We got plenty of uh, overflow wood over here uh, for sure. Let's grab just a ton of it here. And we'll see if we can carry it back. My uh, my uh, stamina is really low. That's okay. We'll see if we can get it going. Again, I need to put a, car put a cart up here. It would be awesome because then I could just cart it back and forth. But if you get to a point, so, you know, I can't move. I'm stuck. I can't move. I can't do anything. I can't even build. Uh, I can't even, if I wanted to build, like, say, a box, uh, I can't build because I don't have any stamina. Uh, but what you can do is just take it and just throw it down on the ground. It'll be fine for a minute. Like that. There you go. Then you can go ahead and build yourself a chest temporarily. Pick all those back up. Or you can put it in piles as well. Uh, it's really up to you. Yeah, but we'll go ahead and put that away. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and do our signs. I could go in and create a row over the top, but if I feel like I don't need it, I'm not going to add it. Uh, like right here, these are dandelions, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to call them dandies. Dandies. Just for fun. <laughs> for dandies. For dandelions. Uh, that'll, make my, that'll make my crew laugh when they see that. Uh, those, are always, those are always fun stuff to add a little bit extra fun to stuff, everybody. Uh, for sure, for sure. And let's put this in here, and let's put our coal in there, because we're going to need that for more signs and stuff uh, here in a minute. Let me get my, get my running back up. Oh, we got our red mushrooms as well. Let's go ahead and... I forgot I grabbed some of those. We put our red mushrooms right above our yellow mushrooms. There we go. Red mushrooms. Perfect. Right there, right above. All right, nice. Liking that so far? Uh, let's see. We've got to put this iron away while we're running over to the portal to get more food and more loot. Um, let's see. Black metal. Right there. Now, see, this is the drawback of having a gigantic base is it takes a gigantic amount of time to move all of your stuff. Uh, but again, a lot of the stuff is built in conjunction with other peeps, not just me. Uh, but I don't mind. This is, I love doing this. I love doing sorting. I love, because uh, I know 
this is one of the toughest things of what we're doing right now is making that transition from one base to another. Uh, we can go ahead and take out our fishing stuff here. You can see I haven't done any fishing. Uh, I've been leaving that to my crew. Take that out. Uh, again, we'll leave those for right now and keep working on our stuff over here. Little by little. We will dismantle our food production over here. Lots of berries over here. Now, having that in a single box is a pretty good idea. Uh, having that all just as berries. Uh, I might do that. We'll see what happens. Depends on how many berries you got, right? If you got a lot of berries, then you want to put them into separate boxes. But if you only have just a bit, and less than a single box, then you don't need to put them in separate boxes unless you're trying to help people find a specific type of berry, right? Like if they're trying to find just strawberries and you're going in and out of four different boxes trying to find those berries, uh, then that would be really annoying. But if you only have one group of berries in the first place, then it'd be easy. Go in the berries box and you get whatever berries you need out of that. Uh, so I kind of feel like that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and call this berries because we don't have uh, more than enough uh, for this particular box and we'll go ahead and put those in there again i'm a big stickler about having my stuff the same stuff together like that uh and then we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and put say barley over here uh barley right there and we've got that consolidated as well uh now there, i saw there was some fishing stuff over here uh, where did we put that fishing stuff? I thought I saw it somewhere in one of these boxes. Let's see. We're going to call this finished food there. I hate boxes without labels because then you're just going in and out of those boxes trying to figure out what the heck is in there. Uh, we're going to call this finished food. So if you wanted in my my base for the first time, you're like, I've never been in here before. Uh, you could very easily find what you were looking for. The first thing you're going to be looking for is armor and weapons and stuff like that. Uh, and then, of course, food. Uh, so now you know where the finished food is. Now, these are strawberries and berries and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and put that in our berries over here. Now, again, they can come back and reorganize this however they want. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and organize it. Now, again, look at that. Now we're at a point where we have too much of something. Like in this case, we're going to have too many cloud berries, I would imagine, uh, is going to be the stuff. Uh, so we're going to say cloud berries because we happen to be in the area where the cloud berries are. Uh, and thus, you're going to end up with crazy tons of cloud berries. In fact, you can probably see some, yeah, right right from where I'm at. Uh, you can see up here on the edge. And we're leaving there on purpose in case we need to use grab them, uh, whatnot. They're actually integrated as part of our base. Uh, and then in here, we have some, uh, I know I've seen it somewhere, Oh, there it is, our fishing items right there. All right, put that in there. Looking good. All right, now over here, we got our carrots and turnips. We're going to take them out of there. Because these are definitely going to fill up. Uh, all of these boxes are definitely going to fill up. Plus, if you're looking just for turnips, you'll have it right there. Good to go. Uh, let's put another sign on this last one. Oh, because we need uh, coal. Luckily, we left some over here to make that nice and easy. And what do we got here? This is, oh, this is actually barley. There's a lot of barley there. So let's go ahead and take this barley out of here. We'll fill this barley up with this. And then we have some extra. I do uh, know that down below here, uh, he's got a bunch of uh, other boxes for barley as well. So I'm just going to go over here and put some of this overflow barley right there. And we can use our back stairs here. Really like these stairs. Those are nice, nice stairs. Uh, the nice thing about these particular stairs is they're very vertical, uh, as opposed to the other ones, which are much more like wedge stairs. They take a lot longer to get up to that area. Uh, those ones are really awkward to go up, though. It'd be better if it was a ramp, uh, as opposed to actually being stairs. I'd love it if they added ramps to the game too. Uh, that would make it a lot easier to navigate, especially if you're trying to make a ramp for your. Uh, uh, we call it your wheelbarrow thing. Cart. Uh, for your cart going up and down. Okay. Uh, so we got that going. We got our dandies there. 
Now, over here, I actually already dropped off a bunch of stuff, uh, including ooze. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and grab all the ooze, and we're going to consolidate that. Uh, actually, let's put it here in this corner. Uh, ooze. There we go. And we're going to put all of our ooze into there. out of there now we know where the dandies go dandies go right here easy uh what do we got over here uh tree uh let's see i'd probably be doing seeds carrot seeds now actually carrot seeds would be down there in those boxes that are by there barley seeds carrot seeds seeds down there so that's where our seeds would go uh so probably just tree seeds tree seeds right now and if i need to have individual tree seeds then i will uh, but oh well, those are carrot seeds there um, but we're good and again i wish it would sort i would imagine they're going to add a sort at some point because this that sucks <laughs> that sucks big time now we also have some thistle uh, which is actually used in, in food preparation over here. So, I don't know. We'll go ahead and throw that in there for now. Thistle. Uh, in there. And we also have some additional cloud berries. Right here. Very nice. And our carrot seeds we'll actually put down by where you actually seed it. There. This way you can just grab it, run it back and forth. And you can see I have a lot of seeds and a lot of carrots uh, right there. Kind of feel like running a uh, line right down the center. Uh, right down the center there, uh, just so you have two sides. And then I'll make a carrot seeds and carrots, right? Uh, carrot seeds and carrots. And that's why I made it so large is so that we can do both at the same time. Uh, and you can see they've been working very hard on doing that, uh, adding it in and taking it out. But I do feel like, you know, just put it down the center and you'd be probably better off. Uh, and then, of course, we have some other areas over here for other things that we're making uh, and uh, uh, creating. Uh, we also need a pole for the cultivator because somebody has the cultivator. Uh, and I don't now know where the cultivator is. Yeah, probably have them have the cultivator on them right now. Oh, no, they put it here in the box. OK, uh, you can actually uh, uh, I don't know why that weapon's in there. Uh, Alan put that in there. Uh, but uh, um uh, Anon came up with a great idea is you can actually hang stuff uh, there. So we'll definitely hang the cultivator and actually maybe multiple cultivators uh, in there just so uh, multiple people could help with that because that farm is pretty, uh, pretty gigantic. Okay, back to it. More food. Uh, let's keep moving it. Get it going on. You can use the roof as a ramp. I have tried that before. It does work. You are correct. You can do that. Uh, it's awkward, but you can do it. Uh, I would rather just have like a ramp ramp as opposed to using a roof as a ramp. That's what I'm talking about. But I know what you're talking about. I have done that and tried it. Uh, okay. Now, did we get everything out of down here? I think we did. Yeah, we got all these boxes out of here. Oh, I see a box over there. Aha! Stuff hiding over here in the corner. And my job is to get all boxes out. Uh, and this is a kind of a cool extension that uh, uh, Anon was adding uh, to the base. All this will get torn down. Uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, I guess I can move all the bees here, but uh, I'll leave them for now. We'll come back and we'll work on that later. Really, my, my primary goal is just to get uh, all the general loot uh, moved. Uh, more barley here. Boom, boom, check that out. And this random loot that I threw in there. Questing food and frost ingredients down here.
We're getting there. Definitely worth the time and effort to get in there and get it done. Let's do it. Uh, bring it in that, uh, bring it in that jump scare, are ya? Is that jump scare? What is that? Let me see. I bet you it's a jump scare, everybody. I'm gonna look. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the one where I went around the corner and that darn uh, dog got me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, you can't laugh at yourself. Who can you laugh at, everybody? Uh, very funny. Uh, good one there, uh, Raz. All right, so these are frost uh, items. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and basically just replicate what we had over there uh, so that they can work on frost materials and stuff like that. Now, I would put this in a big box uh, for sure. Uh, and so we'll say uh, frost, frost, or, or you can even just call it potions. Uh, frost potions, uh, frost potions, we'll just call it that. And again, they come back and rename it, whatever they want to do. Uh, so we'll throw some stuff in there like that. Uh, we also have some, uh, random loot in there. I always find random loot in boxes for some reason. Like someone threw it in there temporarily and then never did anything with it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, quest only potions. Right there. Now, I don't know if I really want to use a full reinforced chest just for quest items. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe at some point we'll fill that whole box up. That'd be awesome. Uh, more uh, barley. We can try to sleep. Nope, can't fit it in there. We've got pine cones. We know where that goes now. Right over here in our uh, tree seats. Uh, as well, we've got a little bit of wood and uh, coal on us. Let's just put that here at the inbox. Down here we go. And put this away in this overflow barley box. Now, whenever you're in the plains, it's a dangerous thing to be hanging out in the plains uh, at low health. Because uh, really, even if something hits me and I block it, it'll still kill me in a single shot. Uh, so dangerous, dangerous to be at low health in this area. All right, I think we're getting to the end of our uh, giant move that we got going. Like how my hands came up. Oh yeah, to block myself. Uh, I it totally got me. That was a that was a really good one. That was one of a, probably one of my uh, biggest jump scares there. Uh, because it's funny because uh, I got scared earlier by the same thing, but by the lady scared me, and then the dog really got me. I I totally forgotten. Uh, and the funny thing is, I'd already played through uh, that portion of uh, Subnautica Below Zero, uh, and totally had forgotten that that dog uh, did that. Uh, you'd think I would have remembered, because uh, it probably jump-scared me just as much the first time. Uh, for sure, for sure. All right, drop boxes out. Uh, farm boxes moved. Uh, all right, potions time. Let's go ahead and move our... That's the other box we should probably do, potions and quest items. Uh, and now these are these are ready to go. Now, these are going to take iron, so we're definitely not going to be... Uh, not going to be uh, bringing that iron. I think we'll take out our... Our other boxes here, too. We haven't put these back in yet. Our uh, items here. Oh, not enough room. Actually, I'd go this way. Go this way would probably be faster. Probably. All right. Put that in with our other metals. And since we're right here by the portal, oh, there's a key up there, too. Grab that key. Uh, now, I'm actually going to leave this portal here. I could have moved it closer down there. Uh, but the reason why I'm going to leave the portal here is so that I can come back and move the portals in a minute, too. I'm going to be moving those uh, over to the new area. All right. Very nice. Uh, we've got our potions over here. So yeah, potions and quest items sounds like a good one. But we're not wasting this entire big old box. Uh, potion or not? Uh, already got frost potions. Hold on, that's frost potions. This is raw materials. No, no, no. This should be finished, finished potions. Uh, because these should be finished goods. Uh, I just thought of. These should all be finished goods in here. 
And all this raw stuff should go elsewhere. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and just use one of these over here. Let's see. And I'm actually going to take these ones out. Because uh, I feel like what we're going to do is stack these higher level ones uh, up above here. Uh, and so we'll use the big one for barley, though. This way we'll have a lot of barley there. Uh, but those should be finished goods. Our raw goods being over here. I don't want to block the uh, uh, the walkway there. And so what I feel like I'm going to do is go ahead uh, and build out uh, maybe a little pole here. Try to separate these two. Like so. And we'll build another level. Alright, man, this is really shaping up now. Shaping up. Get up here and try to eyeball this. I'm a little too close. Ah, nope. Don't like it. Okie dokie. We're going to need some stairs. Yeah, let's say about there. Just so we can get up just a little bit. Uh, so we can do it here from the front. Going to need more wood. Let's say that. Ever so slightly to the left. Wood back. Now, normally, I don't like to put stuff at the ground level. Uh, this is just asking for a troll to come behind and hit it and knock all that stuff out of there. Uh, but I think it should be fine here on the second level. We'll see how it goes. And we'll put our signs in. These ones are a little forward. A little forward there as well. Uh, nope, and that's a little right too. Get that out of the way. Uh, frost potion. Potion items. Yeah, let's go with that. Frost potion items. All right there, and again, put this in here. Uh, now, really, we have individual boxes for all this stuff. Uh, instead of putting frost, own, uh, frost uh, potion items, uh, we could just go ahead and put these things in here and just call this eyes uh, and just put the eyes in there. And then we can just go ahead, because at this point, you know, we could just go ahead and make separate boxes. I, I typically don't like to uh, make a lot of random boxes, uh, but we can also say like neck tails here. Tails right there. And we already have a box for thistle. We can put that in there. And so on, instead of uh, having it be separate, we've got more barley there. Uh, some uh, finished items. Over here. Another hammer there. Let's go ahead and sleep. Over time. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Lots of fun stuff we can do. Catch up on chat while we were waiting for the load there. Uh, all right. What else we got? We can go ahead and put some of this back down like this. Now, we're going to need some resin for uh, frost potions. Maybe. Uh, so, again, no worries if... Oh, I forgot to put in the rest of my signs. I'm going to need that wood back for my signs. Uh, and let's do that. Oh, 
Okie dokie. Uh, so let's just go ahead and I'm going to put that put resin over here too. So yeah, let's put resin over here. We'll have a second box for resin so you don't have to run all the way over there for resin. Kind of feel like we need that over there. We're going to put this in our dandies. You know where that goes. Uh, and let's go grab a bunch of this overflow resin that's in some of these boxes over here. I don't know which ones they're in. Uh, so let's just do a quick little check. Oh, we can grab these eyes out of here too. So there'd be a second use for them. Uh, as well. We need bones and food. Maybe. Maybe more eyes there. Uh, again, any extra resin hanging out. Oof. Look at all those eyes. They're just everywhere. Let's just run the eyes. Again, so we need eyes for crafting, but also uh, for our frost potions. And since uh, we have plenty, uh, we might as well uh, use this as kind of like a secondary overflow box, but also as a primary box. And there we go. So we've uh, filled that up. So we have plenty over here and plenty over there in both spots. Again, that's my job uh, to facilitate uh, the ease of use uh, on both sides. And there we go. Put all that back. And what else we've got here? Getting any extra resin? I thought we had some extra resin. Somewhere. Don't see any. Oh, there's some. Resin there. We'll do that battle here in just a moment. One more double check of all the boxes. There we go. And run this resin over here so they don't have to run over there. Now, a good idea, too, is if you are uh, using a lot of resin on this side is to uh, split the two boxes uh, where that has half the resin, this has half the resin, uh, and whatnot. But you can definitely see that is way better than what we had before. Uh, you can find the particular thing that you are looking for much easier uh, than we had it. All right, that's nice. I like everything about that. Uh, looking good. Again, more barley for us to run down here. A lot of extra barley. And I'm just going to throw it in this bottom one. Oh, where'd the barley go? Whoa, barley disappeared. Or did I take the barley out? Okay. I could have sworn I already had some barley in there. I don't know. Maybe I accidentally took it out. Maybe that was the barley that was in there. It happens. Uh, instead of me putting it in, I took it out. Totally potentially could have happened. Uh, all right, there we go. And we'll run back some more of these eyes while we go ahead and do this battle. Let's go. To battle! All righty. Happens when I run and click stuff at the same time. I start clicking the wrong stuff. Oh, wishbones out of there. And we'll put wishbones into the trade box for right now. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and do this battle, everybody. Man, we've been getting crazy tons of battles in. Let me go ahead and supercharge you guys to run super fast for a long time. Let's go. 14.5 seconds. Yeah, you're going to have a quarter of the battle where you're just going to be booking it. Let's go. Let's cut through there. Look at these peeps in the back with their rogues in the back. Smart idea. Let's see if they can make it through. Hopefully they don't run ahead of us. Oh, no. Oh, well, the rogue, uh, flying rogue got themselves a chest there. That was uh, Del Train. Got a couple chests. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a tough one to get your rogues by. That's way too many units. There we go. Last Splash got himself trashed. There we go. We still got a rogue left. Running down there at the bottom one there. Good job. Good job. Got that. Pretty sweet. Uh-oh. Uh oh, we got a lone person. Kazine Zero is the only one left up here in the corner. Keep holding it down. Uh, good job keeping them distracted there. Uh, they're going to come for us here. Let's see if we wipe out these dragons. Oh, they're not taking too much damage. Boom, one of them down. Taken out by Mac Brewer. Oh, throwing those fireballs. All right. And let's see, Avalyn getting some uh, chest there. 
Verdaz. We got uh, John Taylor getting some chest as well. Uh, all right, nice job. We lost a lot of units there. In fact, we had 100 units. I almost forgot. Almost forgot there. A thousand kids cast for you guys uh, for uh, hitting 100 units. Uh, nice job. And we're just finishing up uh, doing a lot of organization. Uh, organizing our primary base in Valenheim. Uh, there we go. All right. Oh, look at that. Epic love for Subi and Last Flash and Reaper getting some love. Uh, and KT Lou Hu uh, coming in with 27 kills, putting up the big numbers. MVP. Now let's go ahead and start another one. Let's fire it up. All right. Three Skull calling out the rogue this time to lend you guys a hand. There we go. Let's do it. All right. So back in here, I've cleared out my inventory again. Back and forth, but we're getting it done, everybody. We're getting the tough stuff done. Uh, this is actually tougher than fighting mobs and collecting loot and sailing around and doing all that. This is the tough part. You got to have some serious resilience. You got to have some serious uh, ability to uh, do these type of things uh, that take a lot, a lot of time. Uh, but again, uh, I feel like we're definitely making it better than we had it before. All of that is out of there. All the drop boxes are out of here. Uh, all of this stuff is out of here. Uh, now I'm going to leave all of this. I'm going to let my crew tear this down uh, on Saturday as well as all of our upper area here. We're just going to probably cut the supports out from under it and watch it fall down. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to take up all the stone and all the stuff out here. Uh, you can't actually take this uh, this stone out of here and just uh, replace it with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, sand. Uh, basically just by doing this like that right so we'll clear all that out we'll uh tear down all of this we're gonna have a complete tear down of the base um, but we do need to move our uh, uh our beehives uh and i'm gonna go ahead and take a look kind of take a cue from what he's got here i really like the the way that is uh because you can jump up here and you can just go ahead and grab all the honey from here the bees are happy yay bees yay happy bees So we'll first pick all this up. And right now it's empty. Empty. We'll try to grab whatever we missed there. All right. Grab all that. All right. Those are all empty. Uh, I've got a bit of honey on me there. Uh, and what we can do is we can go in and we're going to take one out like this. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us uh, the uh, queen bee right here. Uh, and again, we are, uh, we're, this is a four by five, it looks like, four by five uh, thing here. Let's get that honey. Uh, a four by five. So I'm not going to take them all out so they can just keep working. Uh, we have plenty of honey. Honey is not something we have a shortage of, that is for sure. Um, but I'm going to use the same kind of matrix. I might make it a five by five because I see this is a four by five here. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, it's a four by four. So again, we'll just make it that much bigger. We'll make it a five by five. Uh, and we can also build... Up over the top uh, and make a dual level right one up above one down below uh, in fact I wonder if you put this up above and then click it uh, will it fall to the way down below so you don't have to jump up on top of it but you'd have it up above your head so maybe we'll go ahead and improve upon it by putting it up high uh, and then having it when you click on it does it fall uh, to where it is uh, but I'll probably just use the same uh, design that's there already and again, my crew did an amazing job on this base, but don't be too attached to your base, everybody. Always try to be pushing forward uh, in everything that you do, do. Oh, all right. Uh, and again, we have our bees, we have all that stuff. Now, uh, we need to decide where we're going to put our bees. Now, uh, probably want to have it out here. Now, I like the fact that he built out uh, the rest of this and built out the end part here, which I think just uh, accents the base perfectly uh, by being way out here like this. Uh, pretty awesome. Love it. Uh, but this also would be a great place to have a little bee area out here as well, uh, maybe on this side or whatnot. Uh, so it's at the level of the... Uh, of the thing there. Uh, so I'm a little tempted to go in here and build that out. 
Uh, but I'd probably leave that to my crew uh, to build that little area there, maybe a little beekeeper area. Uh, that's up at the second area, so you can just run over here and grab any honey that you want. Be nice and convenient uh, to our actual thing here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the bees uh, and just kind of build a kind of a basic thing down here uh, and let them come in and make it more extravagant. Uh, though I could go in here and spend a lot of time doing that. Uh, normally on Fridays, I'm really just organizing stuff. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and start uh, by just uh, grabbing our bees with our bee thingy right here. Uh, and just kind of putting it back here uh, in this back corner. Now, we could just grab the bees themselves, by the way, and put the bees in a box and, and go with that. Uh, but I'm going to put that back there uh, as kind of a uh, placeholder. Uh, and then tomorrow, I'll tell my crew, hey, we want to build out a little bee thing. Who wants to build out a little beehive thing uh, that can complement this, right, that works with this, but uh, is kind of its own separate thing. Uh, off to the side of the base right over here. Be great to put it up right against this edge. Maybe even square it off. Uh, maybe round it, whatever they feel like they want to do. But I'm just going to put that there as a reminder. Uh, and then the rest of the bees, I'm going to uh, just take out uh, the actual thing. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get it going on. Let's go. Exactly, Reaper. Let's go. Let's get it going on today. We're going to have lots of fun. Uh, we got plenty of time here in the stream, everybody. We're going to do a lot more battles. We're going to get stuff going on. Now, remember, you can not actually do battles down here uh, with stream avatars as well. Uh, stream avatars are also now in battle mode. So when you are in battle mode and you're watching the stream while we're running battles, you can also do battles in stream avatars and, you know, drop bombs on them and do all sorts of uh, silly stuff uh, that we, uh, we let you guys do. Uh, using those redemption, by the way. You can use the uh, thing. One of the things I hate about these doors is that when they're the wrong way, well, I can open inward like that. Much easier. Okay. And again, my job, moving all the resources out of here uh, to the new base. I'm going to make sure I get all these bees. Uh, so that was three. One, two, three. Ah, out of stamina. Leave any behind. Okie dokie. Nice. I'm going to let them tear all that down. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. They're going to come in here and just like clear cut all this out of here. <laughs> We're going to watch it fall down. Now, uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to uh, take a little bit of this down. Uh, I'm going to be taking this part down. Uh, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the supports. And because what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild that part of the base. Now, over time, it should say, oh, wait, this is not structurally sound. And what it does, it decays, right? It decays to red and it keeps checking it from time to time. Uh, and it'll keep decaying to a point in which it'll just start falling down. And you just want to leave it, come back to it in a minute, uh, and then we'll fill back in the uh, outer part. Uh, same thing here. We want to go ahead and eventually refill back in uh, our uh, fence line uh, and remove our grand staircase here uh, and all of that. Now, probably another idea I should do is probably move... This, yeah, I should probably move this out of here now. So let's go ahead and move this just a bit over this way. And just aim it like that. Just to move it out of the ground staircase there, because I'm going to be taking uh, that out and just putting that uh, back in. I did build the lower part, uh, and then my crew, of course, built the upper parts. Now, I'm go ahead and take all this out now, too. Oh, can't carry that much. Carry it now. All right. And again, migrating uh, our workbenches now. There we go. Oh, not enough room. Getting a little, getting a little feisty there, bro. 
Uh, now, the funny irony of what I just did was uh, I took the bench out, and now the thing I need, uh, my, uh, my uh, thing there, my uh, hammer, uh, I cannot use because it uh, is now broken. Uh, I always find that to be funny. Now, I'm sure there's another bench around here somewhere. Uh, lower level, maybe. Let's go check. Right over here. Yep, right there. All right. We got a nice covered bench down here uh, that we can utilize. All this stuff's coming in. Re reutilize all that wood. And again, remove all of our upper crafting area. That's been removed. Uh, take this out. Very nice. And I can take out all the torches and stuff, but we'll leave all of that. Uh, now, you want to migrate this stuff. You don't want to just take it out uh, in here because if someone comes to this base and they need uh, that particular thing, uh, then you're going to be in trouble. Uh, I'm going to move this a little closer to the portal. Right over there. Uh, and let's go ahead and put down some of the heavy stuff, uh, which is all of this. Uh, wood and stuff. Let's go ahead and grab our metals. Put the wood down. And let's put this one back. And run down our stairs. I like stairs to be nice and straight, so you don't have to do that up, down, all the thing. I, I hate that. I like one just grand staircase so you can run up and down or up and down. And the reason why I like it like that is because I do a lot of running back and forth. Uh, so, you know, if you're not the person running back and forth, it's no big deal to you because you only go up there every now and again. But if you're the person running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth all the time, uh, it is, it does get irritating quickly. Uh, all right, more, uh, of this. We'll bring this down. Down this into our cart. Now we do have a bench right here as well, but it doesn't have a roof for it. You can see. Uh, and we'll need we'll need to build a little bit of an area down there for our forge and for uh, and for all of that. And so let's grab some wood and some stone. Uh, I'm gonna need this stuff here. We still need to move our uh, portals as well. We are making it uh, making a move on this like a bandit. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Do I want that to stick out a little bit more? I think I do. I think I do want that to stick out. Uh, all right. And uh, let's put these back in again. That was my bad. Didn't mean to take those out. Right there. And we can't run it too close to this because it is blocked. Uh, I feel like maybe I'll push this out one more. Just so we have a little bit more room on this side. Uh, let's go ahead and push this out one more. Uh, I'm going to have to flatten that. fall down. I always feel like I might die when that stuff falls. I I've never been crushed by it, but that doesn't mean you can't be crushed by it. Uh, let's go ahead and put some of this wood away. Too much wood on me right there. Uh, but we're going to need some of it, so we'll have it nearby. And we'll pick up this other wood. Extend this side a little extra. And then pick up all this wood. Reutilize it. There we go. It's getting foggy. I can't see a dang thing. Take a bit of this out. Ah, gonna run out of stamina again. Ah, always with the food and the stamina, everybody. Always. All right, we're gonna take a stop for this for a second because I see my food's running out. 
Mark our way up to the portal. It'll be like this was never there, everybody. Eventually, we'll tear the whole thing down. Uh, it'll be like it's never there. Uh, I'm just trying to fill in the areas, move all the resources, take out all the benches and stuff like that, but still leave the ability for us to build here uh, at that other location, right? Or repair your weapons and stuff like that. Um, but we definitely want to go over here and get some food before we run out. Uh, I think we are full on fine wood. We are. We're full on all that stuff, uh, or at least a good portion of it. Let's go ahead and throw it over here in the overflow. Uh, we might have to come back and grab some, so we'll leave a little bit uh, on us there. Let's go ahead and put our bees with the honey, and that'll make it easy to find tomorrow. Uh, honey right here. There we go. That'll make that nice and easy. It's getting to be dark time. Let's go ahead and forward time. Uh, we're on day like 300 and something. Uh, I forget what day we're on right now. Thanks for the lurker love, Paul. Oh, some stretching. Oh, stretch. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Get a nice stretch in. Uh, there we go. Okie dokie. We got that doing. By the way, we don't need this thing here. Take that out. Because uh, we have these up above. I forgot we had these uh, hanging things up above there uh, for the fire bonus. Uh, food is what we're doing. Finished food. All right, here. And I'm specifically not carrying the food around just so it doesn't take up those extra slots. Uh, just so I can, uh, run back and forth and whatnot. Uh, all right, we got that done. We're trying to, uh, finish in our, uh, Come on, OBS, you can do it. Put a one in the chat where you can see and hear me there. I went a little bit of a screenshot because I'm overloading OBS, as I'm always doing. I'm always making it beg for mercy. Uh, so I was saying uh, that uh, we're going to go down here and try to finish back in our uh, base here. I'm gonna take out all of this uh, and try to put back in some uh, workbenches and all of that stuff that we can utilize uh, here in our base. Uh, where's our things? Here we go. Now, right here, because, uh, most likely we're going to leave these, uh, uh, leave the ramp here. Uh, probably take the doors out. Um, but it's already pre-built. It's already a ramp there. So you're going to run down. We're going to leave the dock as well. Um, but uh, we definitely want to uh, go in and uh, uh, close off this end part. Uh, pick up all this extra wood that's just laying around. Uh, that I took out earlier. And then we're just going to go ahead and put in our big doors here. We're going to need more wood though. More wood. For sure. Grab some out of here. And I like to use the big doors. Because they're awesome. Like that. Uh, and then uh, we'll go ahead and... Let's see. I don't think we have an entrance exit this side. No, but I feel like we should. all that out. Let's go ahead and put one right here. Not allow peeps get in and out on this side. And I don't like to have too many entrances and exits to a base uh, for sure. Uh, and there's a steep cliff here. Um, but uh, maybe we'll leave one line uh, one line of uh, stuff here. I'm going to take our Again, I'm not going to take the whole base down. Just certain sections that I'm working on uh, so that I can uh, kind of facilitate uh, what we're going to be doing there. Uh, 
tomorrow. So I can just say, okay, everybody, I've already kind of set it up uh, where uh, what I want to keep, the areas I want to keep here uh, versus uh, the areas that can be taken down. Uh, so I'm going to leave one stairwell here and remove the other stuff uh, that I built. And, oh, and this stairwell is offset. So we'll put the stairwell, put the stairwell behind the gate, like this, and then this will be the exit. We'll just have a single exit on this side, and then we'll go ahead and just create a little pocket there in case mobs get behind there. You could run out uh, and take out the mobs. Uh, as well because they're going to get in between the base and that it's going to be real close and so they're going to start hitting on the side of that base potentially uh, so let's just go ahead and do something like that and then go back in this why are these the wrong way those are the wrong way i'm i'm a stickler about uh when you're doing mega building i'm a stickler about uh wall direction and whether the walls match, whether the those crossboards are on the outside or the inside. Uh, yeah, for sure. All right, and there we go. That's looking good. Get all this wood back. And we'll probably just take out the rest of this end part. There we go. All that down. I built those stairs, by the way. <laughs> so, okay, if I take it down. Uh, all right. And I uh, probably want to have a little storage. Uh, probably not on that side, though. That's probably the most vulnerable side of all the sides. Uh, again, where you want to have your resources is uh, a place where you don't feel they're as vulnerable uh, to attack. Uh, I kind of feel like we could shear all that off, make that much more vertical. Uh, so I would imagine this side would probably be the least, the least dangerous side. Where are we going to put the portal, though? Probably put the portal on this side anyway. Yeah, probably put the portal over here. Let's take this out. Uh, probably put the portal right here. Because uh, this is going to aim you right toward the vendor. Because if you come into this base in the future, you're not going to come in here to go to all of this. Because this won't be here. Uh, you're going to be going to the vendor uh, for whatever reason. Uh, so maybe they'll do an update and they'll add more stuff to the vendor because the vendor don't got diddly squat after you get the kind of first basic stuff. Um, but let's just go ahead and put all that right there for right now uh, and kind of think about how we want to uh, do this in the long run. Again, we'll grab all that loot. Uh, and we're going to leave that. We'll take this out. Uh, again... This may be something like that. I had some resin I would put it in there, but just basically a single a single line. Because this line here is going to be just for running up to the upper level. Uh, so we're going to just line it uh, like it's done right here. Going to line the edge of that. Hmm, how's the other side? The other side's really nicely aligned to that. There we go, snap that in there. Again, you don't need a grand staircase to nowhere, because that's where this is going to go. It's literally just going to go to this upper level, in which this base will no longer be there. Uh, so it's not really, not really that functional of a uh, primary stairway. It's going to be just a single stairway. You want to come up to this level. Maybe there's some mobs or something up here you want to do, or loot you want to grab. Uh, but the primary base is this. Uh, all right, so that's looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and put in some nice stairwells here. Like this, and we'll take this out. 
kind of inset that a little bit. Uh, and then get up on the ramparts here and pew pew stuff if you need to. Bam! Take that, sucker. Keep it down out there. Because it's trying to work. Uh, all right, we got that going. And then over here, same thing. We'll go ahead and make it easy to get up on the ramparts there. Uh, we've got this going here. Let's take out this and this. Again, easy to get up on the ramparts in case things start going down. Uh, let's not block our uh, doorway here. Uh, again, up we go. And let's go ahead and fill back in some ramparts here. Oh, let's adjust the direction. And we're going to need to work, move the workbench temporarily. Wood on me. Oh, really? Wow. Used up all that wood. All right. Used up all that wood in there. And let's grab some of this from over here. Get that door closed. Uh, and we're going to take out the workbench. And we're going to move the workbench temporarily over here so we can make stuff. And then again with the ramparts here. I uh, kind of feel like maybe we'll do a corner rampart. Actually, we'll leave that there. Find the doorway. A little corner stairwell like that. So you get up here and you go either way. That's uh, going to make that easy. And same thing over here. Some more areas to stand on. And I feel like a sideways stair there. Something maybe like this. And but not enough for it's going to be blocking your exit so you can run underneath there uh, and get to the exit or you can run this way uh, just don't get the exit without it being in the way and and if something drops in between there you can get up here and shoot him in the face like so all right looking good i think that's it we got our uh, trade base reduced looking sharp and let's make sure we grab all this excess wood all right, my team's gonna have a great old time tearing all that down. They're gonna have some fun, 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 fun. All right, now let's go ahead and think about our workbenches uh, and how we're gonna do that. Uh, if you need some workbenches and whatnot, uh, I kind of feel like definitely this corner over here feels like the right spot to use. Come on, get that cart. Uh, let's get this cart with a lot of heavy iron and move it off to the side. Over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stuck. Hard cart. Got off the rails. It got off the rails. Stop jumping. Back it up. Get up there. Oh, well. Good enough. Got all day to fool with those carts. Uh, they get stuck down in the thing there, and I can't build there. Uh, so the thing to do is either to take the cart and walk it back, uh, which I'll do in a minute when I take this bench out, uh, or uh, I'll just take all the stuff out of it uh, and then destroy the bench, remake the, uh, or destroy the cart, remake the cart, put your stuff back in the cart. Uh, a lot of different options you'll have there. Now, what this is going to need over here is a little bit of an area here for it to uh, do some crafting. Uh, and so we want to definitely put down a bench uh, and leave a bench here, maybe with some upgrades as well. Uh, let's go ahead and see which upgrades we can do based on uh, what we have left here. Uh, let's see. I think we put the flint away somewhere from that other upgrade. Maybe we put it in here in the cart. We not have flint apparently we did not okay we had some sort of upgrade what upgrade did we have uh no tint we have bronze and frying wood okay we can do that upgrade uh bronze right here and oh, take our bronze out for a second because we gotta get the fine wood first come over here uh, 
Fine wood. And so, you know, we we'll use what we got. Now we can always come over here and make more and whatnot before we leave. Uh, before we take all this stuff out of here. Um, but what's the other thing? Uh, oh, we need the forge. We don't have a forge there yet. Put that back in there. Uh, let's put our forge down. Uh, what do we need for our forge? Copper and coal. Uh, I don't see any coal in there, so no reason for me to start unless I have the coal. There's the coal. Grab all the stuff out of here now. Run that back over here. Uh, again, for our thing, copper and stone. Stone and copper. Okay, looking sharp. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and put in again our upgrades. Uh, bronze and fine wood or other thing there. Bronze. Over here. We don't need all the bronze. Let's see a little bit. Uh, stone back, fine wood here. Uh, dang it, what do we need? Oh, not enough fine wood. Did I take all, did I use up all the fine wood? Apparently I did. Or I took it back to the other base. Hmm. Hmm. I think I did. Oh, well. Oh, well. What other things can we do here? Let's see. Uh, obsidian, we don't have that. Iron, we have. Uh, that's for our stone cutter. I should move our stone cutters. Bronze, so we could do anvils. Do an anvil for our... Uh, thing here. Let's put it way underneath here. Uh, like that. What else we got? I'm just utilizing whatever we got over here as opposed to trying to make stuff. That's 20, uh, 20 for that. Do we have 20? Yeah, so maybe we'll just, instead of bringing this back to our primary base, we'll just leave some upgrades over here. Uh, I gotta give it a little bit more space. And we got oh we gotta put a, a roof over it too. What else we got from the stuff we have here? Copper and fine wood. Uh, don't have enough fine wood for sure. I go grab some fine wood, but how how often are your peeps really gonna come over here uh, and need to uh, do a lot of heavy repair and stuff? Uh, I feel like that's actually probably even a waste uh, of all that iron there. I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna opt out. I'm gonna opt out of upgrades. That's it. I'm opting out. I would rather use that in our new base. Let's hop out upgrades there. Put that back in there. Uh, and then let's just build over the top of it. Let's go. And we'll do that battle here in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and try to get that in there. And let's center these a little better. Uh, bench. And let's say yeah, right there. And a forge. Right there. sure they are working before you walk away uh there we go now because they don't have any upgrades they're not going to uh, repair everything that you've got uh but at least they are covered and you also have uh the ability to repair if you are here at the thing but again if you need full repair you can always go back to our primary base so there's really no reason for me to do a bunch of upgrades as i thought right there uh, but we can still get up here on the ramparts uh very nicely uh, as well. Speaking of 
Benches that we don't longer need. We can go ahead and take out all of this stuff over here. Uh, all right. We can also go in here and take out our stone bench. And all of these various things down here. Pick up all this heavy stuff. Maybe I should have put a door right here. A little temporary door. Again, consolidating all of the heavy stuff together. Like that. All the stuff that's going to need to be boated. And then uh, boxes. Of random materials. Right in here. Okie dokie. Clean up all this other stuff. Pull up in there. Leave that for now. Pick up all these fermenters. Okay. That's looking good. Get random loot. Consolidated in there. Uh, let's see. Anything else that needs to be cleared over here? Grab that key. Um, leave the benches so you can tear it down. Um, we're going to need to keep the stone bench so we can tear this down now that I think about it. Uh, we're definitely going to need the stone bench. Otherwise, you can't tear the stuff down. We we'll definitely need to put that stone bench back. Um, let's go ahead and do that. We need some wood. Uh, oh, not fermenter. Stone bench. Uh, stone. Okay. Yeah, we got to leave the we got to leave the stone bench. Uh, otherwise, they can't tear down stone if you don't have a stone bench nearby. Then we'll move the stone bench in into the interior uh, over here as well. Go ahead and close back in our gate here. I just kind of feel like maybe I will put a gate in there. A little gate right there for when we're working. What not. Uh, because we're going to be tearing that down, so we're going to be grabbing all the resources and bringing them uh, over here uh, tomorrow. I feel like I've done the bulk of the work. Got the big chunks of stuff done. Hey, Mr. Troll out there. How you doing, bro? How you doing? How would you like an arrow in the face? Would you like that? I bet you wouldn't. Can't even see him. It's too glowy. This bow is way too glowy. Can't even see him. He ran away. He'll be back. Uh, all right. Any other loot that's on the ground that I need to pick up? Right over here. Here you go, Mr. Troll. He wandered off. Wandered off big time. Uh, let's get to this battle here. Okay. All right. Gonna sleep in my bed while we do a battle. To battle! All right. Battle time. Let's blow it up. Uh, oh, 100 units, another 1,000 kiss caps for all of you guys for crushing those units. If we get to 200 units, I'll give you 2,000. Let's blow it up. Oh, stretching. Get a good stretch in. Man, am I taking a break yet? How long have we been going? Four and a half hours with no break. <laughs> That's what happens, everybody, when you get in to the thing. Uh, have you beat the fifth boss yet? Uh, no, I have not, half fat. Uh, thus, why it says on my Twitter, uh, still in the search for the fifth boss. So, yeah, no posting anything about the fifth boss. Uh, you can't post it, uh, post it as a spoiler, by the way, uh, when which it won't show anybody. 
Uh, if you do mark it as a spoiler uh, before you uh, post it, uh, you could post it that way. But I suggest just to wait until we've done the fifth boss. Because I've been mainly working on the base. We've been migrating our base to the plane space uh, to our uh, mega castle. So I've been focused mainly on that. It's been taking a while because this is a big undertaking. Uh, this is quite the gigantic base. All right. Open that capture chest. Give you guys some love. Subi, LOC, and EMZRT all getting some love. Uh, and uh, Beer Bear MVP there. Uh, let's see. We're trying to go for this green one right here. Let's go this one. And this would be a great one to use my rogue on again. Uh, where is it up? Upper right-hand corner. All right. We'll go ahead and just try to see if I can sneak my rogue through there. How about right here? Then maybe he'll run up and go that way instead of going this way right through the middle. Probably less path of least resistance this way. Maybe he can sneak through there. Probably going to die. Uh, maybe he'll run up and get that one too. Who knows? We're certainly going to see what happens here in a moment. You can't kill the second boss, said Low Jammer. Well, here's a great thing, uh, Low Jammer. If you are having a problem uh, with certain bosses, uh, once we kill the fifth boss. Now, right now, if you want to join us, uh, we do ask people to use a new character and they only use it on our server. But after we find the fifth boss and we kill the fifth boss, uh, then... Got to sneeze first. Uh, then we're going to allow people to come in. If you need help, we're going to help people with the bosses. Uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to help out the community as a whole. So you can bring your character in. Uh, we'll run over there. We'll uh, help you with whatever boss you need. Uh, and so on. Uh, so we're also going to leave our dock down there. I love that dock. Alan did that dock. He did an amazing job. We're going to leave that down there. Uh, like that. And eventually we're going to come over here tomorrow. And we're going to tear down the rest of this. Now my job was to... Uh, basically come over here and clear all of the loot and materials uh, out of this particular area. And I've kind of uh, gotten the bulk of the materials. Of course, obviously, there's going to be a lot of wood and stone and all that stuff for after we take it down. Um, but I feel like we've got that accomplished. I feel like we've really crushed that uh, big time. Now, I need to go around and look for any hidden chests. Because sometimes there's a bunch of hidden chests just laying around somewhere. Uh, in which I have to grab a bunch of loot and run it out of here. There's a bunch of wood we still got to run out of here. Uh, there. Oh, we got an upgrade here. Stop it. Pressing the wrong buttons. All right, we got some upgrades here. Uh, oh, we got to put our crafting station back down again for a minute. There we go. And we'll leave that. We'll actually leave that. Uh, oh, that's uh, that's actually the forge. Uh, we're gonna need some of that copper back. Um, we need to leave some of these benches here, uh, to help us, uh, out of my way, sorry, I just jumped out, uh, so that we can, uh, take that stuff back out again. So we're definitely going to need another forge up there. Uh, let's get our, uh, forge there right here. We need copper, coal, and stone, uh, copper, not, we don't need that much stone, just a little bit of stone here. Uh, and uh, a bit of copper. We need six copper. Uh, we have two, so oh, we only need four more. There we go. We can move those around as needed. We got our upgrade there. Uh, signs out. Okay, dokie. Now time for portals. N2. Uh, does that actually go anywhere? I don't know. Uh, but uh, I can't remember where it goes. Now a lot of portals, what we'll do is we'll like temporary call them something. Uh, like, uh, you know, N or D or whatever, uh, just to make it easy to do the name. But the problem is in the long run, uh, you're like, okay, uh, how do I rename it again to make it mean something now, right? To actually be the name of the thing that you want it to be called. 
Like in this case, the name of this base needs to be called Trader now, right? But the name of this base is actually called N3. Uh, so uh, we'll need to go down, uh, put the portal down, and change the name of the base on both sides. Now, if I were to go change the base now, uh, change the name of the base, then I wouldn't be able to just instantly transport way the heck up here, which is where our base is now, uh, our main base. Uh, now it'd be quite the far way to, to uh, sail, though I'm the one that went up there in the first place, so I can get there. I know I can if I want to, uh, but uh, uh, would be kind of a, a, a good run uh, to do that. Now, uh, if you notice that also I'm leaving all of these materials down here, uh, the iron and the uh, copper and all of that stuff here in this bench uh, or in this item. And the reason why is because this cannot go through the portal. That has to stay uh, or be moved by boat eventually. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a lot of this stuff. We already got both of them. Yeah, both of them empty. We'll just leave those chests there. I'll burn that up while I've got it. Not going to help me while I'm overburdened, nope. And I can get right to here, but I can't jump. So uh, I'm going to have to choose to throw some stuff down, which is pretty easy. You just throw the heaviest stuff down. In this case, it's the wood, it's the stone. All right, good to go. I just go up here again, utilize this box. Get some of that heavy stuff back. And run back, pick it back up again. There we go. Uh, and I think that was it. Yeah. I want to do a fire here, too. Big, gigantic uh, uh, bonfire. Maybe we'll put the portal on this side. Yeah, kind of feeling the portal on this side and maybe a bonfire uh, over here. Uh, let's see. What do we need again for a bonfire? I don't remember all the stuff here, but there's no way. Uh, ancient bark, fine wood, core wood. All right, we can get all of that. Uh, we'll get that from our main base and bring it back over here. Um, but let's go ahead and move our main portal. Uh, here in just a second. Let's grab all the stuff first. And through the portal we go. I would like to admit they made a headlamp upgradable, like uh, how it's uh, uh, how it is two different uh, radiuses of beams, like 90 to 180 with 270. Yeah, torch takes a, uh, the torch takes a hand, but uh, has a much bigger lighting effect while crip crawling. True, true, true. I feel like the uh, the uh, the circlet uh, is enough for when you're crip crawling. Uh, it's definitely enough light uh, for your peeps to see all those little bits of stuff that you might miss uh, if you didn't have a light. Uh, I don't use torches anymore uh, at all. I've used them in a long time uh, and quite a while. I, I will usually have it on uh, for when I am running with my crew. Man, we are we are out of room here. We better make another chest before we run out of stamina. Little dog. There we go. All the heavy stuff down first. There we go. Uh, the rest of the stuff actually has a home. We can go ahead and put our crafting stuff up here put our keys right over here i got a whole box of keys there uh, and then i know stone is in overflow so let's see if we can find a little spot to throw our stone actually we get our stuff out of there there we go uh we know this resin would work pretty great on this other side way over here resin right there and you can see we got a little tiny base going here. Just a, just a little baby one. <laughs> just a little tiny, uh, tiny little base. <laughs> At least tiny for us anyway. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, we got that going. Uh, let's go ahead and put this coal away. So we have that extra slot back in there. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and go into bonfire mode. I probably needed some of that stuff I put away, but oh well. Uh, nope, not that. Uh, bonfire, uh, fine wood, core wood, ancient bark, and cores. Well, we know where cores are right here. We'll grab a little bit of that. Uh, fine wood. We have some in the overflow there, but I'm just going to grab, oh, not all that. Uh, grab a little bit of that as well. 
Again, I, I can just check how, what I need by just bringing it back up again like I'm going to make it. Uh, core wood. Again, just grab a little bit of that. And I've already forgotten the other thing. Uh, ancient bark. Up here. And a little bit of half of that action. That's way more than we need. Uh, and there we go. All right. We're ready for some bonfire. Now, why am I going to do the bonfire? Well, the bonfire doesn't go out in the rain. Uh, so the bonfires are much better uh, than your regular fires. I find if you're just going to do uh, that and not build, uh, you know, a thing over the top uh, and so on, kind of like we have here, uh, we have these, of course, ventilation, uh, where it ventilates our uh, fires that were right here. But uh, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to make a nice big bonfire. So if somebody's over here uh, and they need to use the bonfire, they'll be good to go. I'll try to stick it over here somewhere. If it lets us stick it here in this corner would be awesome. Yes. Perfect. Perfection. Nice. All right. That's cool. Uh, so again, see it didn't go out in the rain. Now, if you are wet, you can go uh, and get into a little bit of a shelter. Uh, I kind of feel like maybe you want to build a little bit of a shelter here that you can stand under. Maybe you could stand under here. Uh, and then sit down. Let's see what happens. I'm still wet if I stand under there. Uh, even though I shouldn't be getting wet. Okay, see, when my wetness goes down, that's when you know you're under something uh, that is protecting you. So, maybe we do something like this. Add a little, little roof action. And we stand under the roof action. And there we go. See the wetness went down? And then I can actually sit here, uh, have the wetness go down, and then also get my rested bonus even in the middle of the rain. Uh, just like that. Just something as simple as just making a little bit of a roof uh, and sitting under that roof. Uh, and I can sit here and do this, but it's only comfort one. I can actually go back to my primary base and, and get the max comfort. But you get the idea. So that's just a little bit of an area so people can sit in case it is raining. Uh, and what we're doing is we're migrating our trade base, our big mega trade base, uh, which you can see here, uh, which is in its final stages of deconstruction. Uh, and that's what I'm doing right now, just taking the uh, kind of final elements uh, out of the base. And then I'm going to have my team come in uh, tomorrow uh, and undercut all of that and let it fall down. Uh, we're going to grab all the things. Now, I'm going to grab all these kind of, you know, fixtures and things like that uh, while I'm at it. And we can grab this out of here as well and we're going to go ahead and we're moving our portal okay this one's called n3 all right anything left in here nope i can go too and eventually we'll change that name obviously to trader and i feel like you know what we'll put our portal on this side it's nice and close to the trader. And actually, I'll put it like at an angle. Something like that. So when you come in, you can just hang a left. Uh, this is going to throw a lot of people off because uh, they're going to be expecting to uh, teleport up there into the base. Uh, and boom. Make sure you wait and make sure it's working. Make sure it makes that noise uh, so you know it is working. Uh, and so on. So that is now moved. Now, we've actually got some other portals up here. And I'm just going to write their names down. Uh, and then recreate them uh, right here. So we've got N2. Uh, let's write all these down so I don't have to do them one at a time. Uh, N2. Uh, you have been cataloged. And what do we got here? N1. What a surprise there, huh? What a surprise. Surprise, surprise. Uh, there we go. We'll pick up all that loot. And then over here, we've got F6. Again, this is what happens when you're just doing real simple names. You've got all these random things. You don't know where they're going or what they're doing. Uh, I don't remember where all those going. Some of these I remember. Uh, like this is NB1. This is North Base 1. Uh, that, I know where it's going. Take all that off. Oh, God. Now I'm overburdened. Overburdened with uh, probably... Uh, too much wood here. Can we go ahead and put this down? Yes, we can. All right. We'll go ahead and put down our fine wood right there. And we'll run some of this down into here. 
Now we're putting all of our materials that we've used previously, all of our iron and bronze and all of this stuff uh, into there to be dealt with later. Uh, and then this stuff's gonna go through the portal. So let's go ahead and put that in there, right there. Up this way. I'm keeping that other door closed on purpose so I can remind myself which door I'm going through. Uh, like so. And these used to have portals here. And of course, this was a big uh, crafting area and all of that. Uh, we're just uh, uh, clearing all this out. And this one's called Planes 2. Pick all that up. This is Silver Dock. Uh, all lowercase. Silver Dock. Okay, and this is old mine. Very important to uh, make sure you got your cases correct. Your upper and lower case. And this is swamp two. I got to get my uh, tool out first. All right, there we go. All right, that's nice. No more portals, no more other items. I think that's the last of it right there, everybody. The last of it. I think we might have this ready to rock. I might kill myself on this fall right here. Oh, that was some skill. I'm overburdened and I had to slide. Uh, oh, and uh, I ran out. Uh, just enough to get there to throw that stuff where I'm going. Well, let's just throw two of them. There we go. Uh, definitely need to go back for some food here. Uh, let's stock it all in dish one. And in dish one. Like dish. Uh, all right. Now we're ready to go through the portal. Let's get way too much stuff on us go over here let's get this stuff and through the portal we go uh they are not marked on your map they are they are marked on the map um but uh i don't remember exactly where they went uh and what they did why i used them in that moment uh for every single one uh but i uh we're gonna go in and obviously rename them all uh which we've done for a lot of our uh portals already um, but as we move all of these, we will uh, obviously redo them as we go. All right, another box. Now, this stuff right here, the, all these boxes right here are pretty much full. Uh, and they're what we call overflow boxes, where we have way too much of any given item. Like in this case, fine wood, uh, gray wo uh, stuff, uh, gray dwarf eyes, uh, core wood. All of that, way too much of all of that. Uh, let's go back over here. Uh, let's go ahead and put this ancient bark away. We'll put our cores away. Uh, we have a bunch of chains. Oh, too many cores. Now we're in cores overflow. Uh, let's go ahead and put this into crafting. This into crafting. That's a trophy. Put this in our overflow box. And this goes over here. I forget where we put it. Is it box three or box four? Box four. Let's all take that back together. Uh, all right. So let's get some more food while we're at it. Now, as you can see, we got a little bit of a base going on here. You know, it's, you know, tiny little baby base, as you can see, <laughs> with three levels of portals, by the way. Uh, these are three levels of portal rooms uh, that we're working on. Uh, and you can see over here, this is our uh, main uh, crafting area, uh, our uh, food uh, area. And I've been kind of organizing it all today. I've been pulling all of the resources from our previous uh, mega base uh, to this one here, our giant castle. Uh, that we're working on and of course i'm organizing where all the food goes all the raw food and stuff uh where the finished stuff goes over here uh and whatnot make it real easy for my people to find the stuff when they're looking for it right uh which does help a lot Oops. i hate it when i do that i hate it when i'm rolled over something but i click something else it happens uh it happens i'll have to go down and get that wood i don't want to jump down or i will die and let's go ahead and use up some of this food and put that in there for us to use that later. And we still have two more areas to work on, our overflow uh, and our uh, 
uh, and our finished goods. But we are finishing up. Val Hoarders. Well, you got to think that uh, it's not just me in here. Uh, I'm playing with a whole bunch of other peeps. Uh, not today. They're all off working or doing whatever they need to do. Um, but uh, all of this loot that we use uh, is used in conjunction to up to 10 people on the server uh, sometimes. And so you're going to need a crazy ton of loot for that many people, especially food. You're going to need a high amount of food uh, as well. Now, this is our base. We outgrew this base. Uh, I know, right? You'd think that would be more than enough, especially for one person. That would be more than enough. Uh, but uh, for uh, up to 10 people, that is not enough, uh, especially when it comes to food uh, and stuff. Plus, also, this is in the Dark Forest, and we're moving to the Plains, which is, of course, the hardest area currently in the game. Uh, and that's what I'm doing right now. You can see that we've kind of emptied out the base here. That's what I've been doing all day uh, for the last five hours now. Yeah, almost five hours. I have been doing nothing but moving all of the gear that was here uh, over to the new base. Uh, as well. Uh, I don't call it hoarding. I call it super looting, but it's pretty much like hoarding. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much like that, but it's really more like organizing uh, than hoarding, uh, I think. But hey, you know what? Uh, uh, one man's hoard is another man's, uh, you know, treasure, I guess. Something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we've got any more portals that we need to take care of. We'll leave the workbenches for deconstruction later. Uh, I think everything's looking good. I think we're done. Wow, that, that uh, did take a while, right? That was some serious work today. We, uh, we got a lot done, though. Uh, now my peeps are going to be super uh, psyched to uh, tear down the old base and uh, get started on the new one. Uh, I feel like we should definitely put a platform there uh, eventually. Eh, we'll just leave it like that for now. Uh, put a platform there. Always keep your doors closed, though. You want to come into your base, and all of a sudden there's somebody up in your face in your base. Uh, and then we're also going to need to get uh, and run that. Now, we do want to do a bit of scouting. I think these are all empty now. Yeah, we want to do a bit of scouting of our canal that we're going to try to build. Again, these things can only be uh, shipped. So uh, we are way down here, right there. And what we want to do is we want to take these materials and we want to migrate them around and up. And over through here, up through there, all the way over here to where our current base is, right up here. Uh, that's going to take a minute, uh, so we will do that another day. Uh, probably I'll do that uh, maybe tonight, uh, I mean uh, Saturday night. While everybody's tearing down the base, uh, I'll get that stuff in there. Uh, but I want to do some testing of our canal here. Uh, I do need to put these portals back up again before I forget the names of them all. Uh, and I'm going to let uh, Alan organize the, uh, the portals uh, in our little portal area over here. Actually, we should get all the stuff for our portals first. Uh, let's go ahead and act like we're going to make a portal. A bunch of fine wood, sterling cores, and dwarf stuff. All right, let's go ahead and get, uh, let's get the excess stuff first. Let's get these cores out of here. Uh, let's get that excess fine wood and all of that. That'll allow us to get to start some, some of the portals without being overburdened. Uh, so what portals do I want to have on the top level? Uh, probably the things I'm going to go to the most. Now, this probably would be uh, AO number one, uh, which would be eventually the trader base. Um, but how often am I going to go to the trader base? Probably not that much. So that actually probably be on the lowest level. Uh, and the stuff we would go to the most would be on the top. Uh, and I would say this is going to be our probably our various bases eventually over here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just put some of these down. And, uh, oh, needs more fine wood. Oh, more fine wood. Where the, how do you get out of here? How do you get out of this thing? See, all the, all the directions look the same. Uh, that's one of the problems with this particular thing. There we go. All right. Drop boxes. Uh, really need to uh, denote it somehow uh, by having something point this way. I don't know. I'm maybe put like a little ward there. Have them looking in the direction you want to go. What's up, bro? I bring tidings. The ward emits a strong aura that prevents other Vikings from building things. It also locks all doors with its influence. Thank you, Hugan. That's my buddy. That's my Phoenix buddy. Uh, owner Kismet, activate permitted. Activated. Now I own it, just me. 
I'm going to deactivate it because I want my crew to be able to open and close the doors as well. Uh, but I'm just going to put it there so that when I see it, it's pointing in the direction to get the heck out of there. <laughs> do a little upgrade there. Uh, do a little upgrade. I can find my way out of there. Now, of course, if I was in another game like uh, Satisfactory or Seven Days Die or something like that, what I would do is I'd actually paint the floor. Uh, I'd paint the floor yellow uh, in the direction that would be an exit uh, or red or whatever color I feel like painting. Uh, in that direction, uh, just so I would know my way out of there. Okay, so we got this one, which has no name, uh, but is acting like it is uh, something. Uh, oh, and one, and two, and then we're going to call this F6. There we go. And let's go to the next here again. I'm just going to temporarily put these here. Uh, I will leave it to Alan to organize these. Though I do have a bit of uh, of a sense of what I want on the highest level. Uh, and that is going to probably be all of our other bases that we would go to. North, south, east, west base would be up on the top. Because those are things you'd be coming in and out of a lot. Uh, things you probably wouldn't be going to is the bosses. The bosses probably on the second level. And then really unused stuff at the bottom like trader and other random points that we might have put. A great example would be... Uh, just something we put out here, like maybe uh, we put out here for a copper node or something like that, like the Dark Forest. Uh, that would not be something I would put in there. But uh, NB1 or North Base 1, we're going to put a base there, but it's just a tiny little area. This one I would probably put at the lower level because it's not going to be used as much. So high traffic stuff on the top, lower traffic stuff at the bottom, and you know medium stuff in the middle. I would imagine the middle one's not going to be getting used that much. I would probably use the top one the most often. Uh, but you get the general idea. Uh, so we need some more cores. So let's go grab some more cores out of here. I think that's what I needed, right? Need more cores? Yep. Need more cores. And again, I'm just going to start left. And I'm just going to keep going this way. And then... Rest them. Oh, more fine wood. Now, see, I can find my way a little bit better because I'm looking for that guy. I'm looking for that guy and which way his face, uh, which way he's facing. I can only do so much, everybody, in real life and in game. I can only do so much. I've only got so many minutes in the day. So you want to, uh, you know, delegate some of the stuff uh, that uh, you can't do yourself. Uh, or you, uh, you know, want to let other people do because they want to have some fun too. Uh, which one have we already done? I can't even remember. Let's go back and look. Let's say uh, N1, N2. Oh, did we not do N2? I didn't hit it. N2. There we go. N1, N2, F6. Glad I went and looked. NB1. North Base 1. I'm just putting them in here so I don't forget. NB1. Uh, planes 2. Silver Dock, uh, Old Mine, there, and more Dwarf thingies, I know I've got those laying around somewhere. Silver Dock, Old Mine, uh, one more, Swamp 2. Oh, lowercase. Swamp 2. All right, and then they're all lit up, which means that they actually are going to those particular things. And so they are connected with a portal on the other end. Uh, let's make sure the names did take. NB1, Plains 2, Silver Dock, Old Mine, Swamp 2. And we're going to fix all these names, too. Uh, these names are terrible. NB1, F6. Okay. Well, the way you fix those, by the way, is you get someone on the other side, and then you name it on this side, they name it on that side, and bam, you've now fixed the name. Uh, that works fantastic. Unless it's close by, uh, then you can go ahead and name it, and then just run over there and change it. Some of this stuff ain't nearby, but <laughs> some of this stuff is very, very far away. Uh, again, we're also going to be helping peeps uh, do their uh, bosses eventually. 
Um, but we got to kill the first, uh, the fifth boss first. Uh, and we haven't found him yet. Don't tell me anything about him. Don't come in and tell me anything. Uh, part of the fun is, of course, discovering that stuff as you go along. Uh, we've not run into the fifth boss yet, but once we get this base finished, uh, we've got ourselves squared away. Uh, we are going to uh, work on our village down here. We're working on our dock. Uh, and then we're going to do the great search for the fifth boss. Uh, find that fifth boss and wipe that fifth boss out. We've already done the first four bosses already. That's right. And we kind of stopped looking for the boss. And we've been mainly uh, working on our primary base here uh, in the plains. Uh, and I feel like we're good. I think we're good on all of that. We got our stuff. Let's give it one more look through. Uh, and then we'll be like, GG, that was five hours of moving stuff so that tonight my peeps can just tear that base down uh, and we can uh, focus on uh, maybe looking for that fifth boss or working on our canal. Uh, maybe something like that. All right, one more run here. And again, I've went in. We'll do that battle here in just a moment. I have went in, added a camp, uh, a bonfire. I've added a little place where you can stand, be out of the rain. Uh, added a little a bunch of ramparts here. That stuff's going to need to be torn down over there. This whole backside can be torn down. Uh, we can make a nice sheer cliff there as well. Uh, and again, this is our uh, other base, uh, which we call the trader base here in the dark forest. Not bad, not bad. We made a big old ramp to bring up our cart when we brought stuff back uh, on the boat. Uh, and you can see it. we've got our gardens here. Uh, and up here we have our uh, cooking and living quarters. Which turned out amazing. Uh, they did an awesome job. But again, don't get too stuck uh, on your previous bases. Uh, keep trying to push yourself forward uh, as you go through. I always think of every base as a temporary, uh, as a temporary base until we get into what I call mega building, which is what we're doing right now. Uh, and look at this. Beautifully built out, by the way. Beautifully built out by Alan and Anon. Uh, they both work together uh, to build this out, uh, as well as Soul has worked on a bunch of stuff like. Uh, docks and things like that. Uh, I did the little start part. <laughs> I did that part and I did the organization part. Now, normally I like to build the entire base, the entire base. Uh, but again, I feel like this game really lends yourself to other people building pieces and parts of the base. Uh, you know, kind of based on, okay, we're going to build a base here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to build it around the trader. Uh, we're going to have these different pieces and parts. Uh, and then I just let them go and be creative with whatever they, what part they want to work on. Uh, I find that is a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and do a battle. To battle! All right, let's run ourselves at maximum speed here. Let's try to get as many peeps in there as we can. Because uh, we're going to run up there and try to get these things taken out really fast. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got that one converted on our side. Got that down. Got that one down. Oh, it's an all-out battle everywhere. A battle on every corner of the map. One more thing to take out right up there. Oh, another one on that side, too. Uh, we'll get those, and then we'll be doing it. Now, we do this every 30 minutes or so, everybody. It's called uh, Stream Raiders. Very, very fun. Uh, we do it for about a minute. Uh, for about a minute, everybody goes ahead and gets tons of loot like this. Let's see. Open the caption chats. Give you guys some love. EMZRT, LOC, Blue Chronos, all getting some love. Ooh, 50 gold for Blue Chronos. And Blackheart uh, bringing in that MVP uh, boss mode with 11 kills. Fantastic job. Look at Paul. Paul's smart. He's doing the jump down there. Uh, Estimation jump in the chat, everybody. Try to get that loot. Yeah, you got to give it about halfway there, uh, Paul. Wait till it gets right about here. And then, bam, then you jump. You're like a jump loop right there. You got it. Good job. Why are you on jump loop there? Oh, because you're on jump around. Oh, I see. That's very smart. Uh, very, very smart. It's like he's jumping endlessly. Look at that. I don't know. Maybe he's just pressing. Because there's a panel as well that you can access down below. Uh, so you can just press jump on there without having to type it in the chat. Uh, I think that's what he was doing. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, hopefully, you got lots of loot from that. Uh, let's see. All right, we got that uh, done. <coughs> Where are we going? We're going to high side here. Another battle there. How are we looking on our battles? We are looking good. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do on this one? More rogue action. 
Man, we're just going to keep spamming this rogue until we get him at max level. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, wait, we got some gold. Let's go uh, see if we got some scrolls. Oops. Uh, let's go. What the, how the heck did I do that? I just clicked on mine. Oh, view event badges. I got a couple. I got a smidge. I got a smidge of event badge. I didn't even know you could do that. Uh, let's hit home. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the store. Let's go ahead and go to the scrolls. And let's see what we got. Uh, oh, these are still on cool. Oh, eight more minutes. Well, cool. Let's grab the one we can get. And this this one. And then we'll wait eight minutes. We'll come back. Cool. We'll come back to that. Uh, if I remember. Probably won't. Uh, let's get back to it. All righty, I, I think we're GG, everybody. That was a lot of work, but totally worth the time and effort. Wow, well, look out. Uh, totally worth the time and effort, and that is it for our trade base. It has been migrated uh, to a much smaller base. We'll leave the interior part here, uh, which is this part around the trader. So if you do want to come to the trader, uh, well, peeps won't be right on top of you, uh, though trolls may come up and uh, get right up in your face. kind of feel like I want to take this down and then put uh, put in some stairs right there again so you can run up from this side say a troll's coming at you you can get up here and I'm thinking later when all of this stuff is gone uh, if there's a big old troll right here you'd want to get up here and get him before he got over here right uh, so that's why I have these ramparts uh, so you don't necessarily have to run out of the base. Now, of course, troll is pretty easy for us now uh, with our dark iron gear. So we can run out there and, and zap it all. But I always downscale a base when I go and I move to a new base. Uh, because that's how we do. Now, again, I'm not going to tear this down. I'll leave this to my crew Saturday night. Definitely be here uh, Saturday night and get that going on. So mission number one for today down. Let's go into mission Number two, why am I going up there? I don't need to go up there. There's nothing up there for me to go up there for. I was going to run up there and go to the portal, but the portal ain't up there anymore. The portal is right here. <laughs> Through the portal I go. Uh, let's go. Okay, so that base, hands off. Nothing else I need to do there. That's now going to be all for my crew uh, to have a really fun time. Nothing funner than building a base, but then also fun to take it back down uh, and collect all the materials uh, as well. Uh, and then also be softening uh, that edge. You'll see me come back with my... Uh, uh, with my flattener or my uh, ho, ho, my hoe thing, uh, my garden hoe, and I'll flatten that uh, ridge edge so it's more at an angle. Uh, so it'd be a bit easier to fight mobs off if they were coming down that edge or whatnot uh, later on. Uh, we'll leave our primary portal right there uh, in our main base uh, that goes to the trade. Now, eventually, that one's going to get moved. It'll get moved uh, up into the uh, uh, up into the area, and then we'll rename it trade uh, trade base. But that's it for this. Now, where I want to go, everybody, is I actually want to go right about here. Now, I, the closest base that I have to here uh, is these two bases up here. Uh, I don't know why I have... Why do I have... The, oh, I messed that up. I don't know why I have that X'd out. Uh, there we go. So, tree farm. There we go. Uh, so, we have a base up here north, and then we have a base called tree farm. Uh, and they're close to the second... Or first boss. This first boss... Uh, and so we've got to get from way over there, uh, way down to here. Now, it's actually not that far, so probably tree farm is the closest. We get down here, and we're going to try to see if, because we have some uh, meadows here, maybe we can cut into the meadows and create a canal from one side of the island to the other. So we're going to work on that here in just a moment. Uh, but before we do that, since I have been streaming for five hours and haven't taken a break, which is not good, uh, I usually try to take a break every two to three hours. Uh, always a good idea, whether you're playing games or you're at work or whatever you're doing, uh, good idea to take a break. So I'm going to take a break and I'm going to let you guys enjoy some uh, uh, AFK highlights uh, from my stream. All some of the best moments picked by you guys, of course, uh, who do uh, go and uh, do clips on my stream. Uh, so I'm going to do that and I shall be back in just a moment. Be right back. Famous last words, everybody. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, but yeah, that it would be a great idea. I'd love to have Fallout Shelter uh, be in that style. Uh, now let's go ahead and get back to it here, everybody. Uh, we're working away on our primary base. Uh, we're going to need some more food over here. Uh, let's go ahead and fire some up. Now we're going to grab some food out of here. Uh, I'm not going to grab all of it. I'm just going to grab just a little half a stack of this stuff. Uh, and put that up in there. 
like that. And then let's go ahead and get to work. Did I not eat it? I did not. I did not eat the other one. There we go. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and uh, get to work. Now, I'm not going to use this portal because uh, and actually eventually I will stop using that portal at all because I won't need to go to the trader for any reason. Uh, but we need to find our portal uh, that is going to take us to our tree farm and our north base, uh, which I believe is at the bottom, uh, which would be a great one to move up to the top now. Uh, our north bases and stuff. But we'll, I'll talk to my crew about that uh, next time. Uh, so we got Swamp. We got Bowmass, which is a boss. Maybe we'll leave our bosses at the lower level. Uh, north Tree Farm, right here. But we got them labeled. Them, uh, we got them labeled on the map, and we've got them labeled uh, as part of the portal, right? When you roll over the portal, it'll say what the name of it is. But also, we put a sign down so we can find our way uh, from A to Z. Oh. Ah, a cultivator in there. So a cultivator right there. Uh, now, right over here, this is our tree farm uh, for a reason. I don't think we have any trees going right now. Uh, we do got our pig farm going in here, and we have no pigs. Where did all of our pigs go? Good question. Good question. Uh, we have no pigs left. Uh, well, we're going to have to tame some more and get that figured out. Now, over here is where you uh, turn in your boss stuff. Uh, and as you can see, we have four out of five bosses done. We've turned them in. Uh, we've got this one last boss that we haven't run into yet uh, to find. Now, again, do not tell me anything about the boss. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just ping right there, and I can look and see in which direction uh, that is going to be. And so we're just going to keep running this way uh, until we find that spot that I need. And now this is a lower level area. This is the meadows and the uh, uh, and the forest. Uh, I am massively OP for this area right now. Look at this little stuff we got going here. When I see stuff like that, it makes me want to take it down and get all the resources. <laughs> but I'll just leave it there. Uh, it's good enough. Again, we'll keep pinging that area. Bam. Got to keep us going in the right direction. Uh, even at nighttime, this is not that much of a danger. Uh, at my level and at my uh, stuff. Right now, I've got 203 health, which is way more than you need. But it does help me when it comes to stamina. Uh, you can see my stamina bar, very, very large. I could be using stamina potions and stuff like that, but it also causes you to heal slower. So we're just going to go ahead and use as much stamina as we can. Have it through. Running in this direction. Ping that. It's a long winding road. Get where I'm going. I am. Almost there. Now, we could try to uh, curve it through here. What? What do you want? What do you want? Get away from me. You're a little stuff. Are they ambushing me or am I ambushing them? See, that's the question you got to ask yourself. Uh, all right, so here we go. We've already got a low area. And it's already got a... Oh, look, it's already got the start of a canal here. Ah, all right. I'm, oh, man, this is the spot right here. Oh, wow. I actually I actually already picked it. I just picked it randomly on the map. I, was, I hadn't even gone here uh, to scout it out yet. We're scouting it out for the first time right now. Get up here on this rock. Uh, so, yeah, this is actually not bad. Uh, we've also got some water going off that way. Uh, so maybe that will be further in to get us started. Uh, but my goal is to cut a canal all the way through... Uh, this whole entire area. I know that's a lot of area. Uh, but uh, if we try to go uh, where the meadows are, it might be lower. Uh, we might be able to make it. Or we might have to cut it. Whoa! What do you want? Wait till I get my sword out. And then you're really going to be in trouble. Uh, I'm talking. Oh, there's a dragon. Or Drake in this case.
pump. Gotta get my arrows down again. Oh, I hit him all the way over there. Nice. He'll be back. Uh, so, uh, I don't know why he's attacking me. Over oh, because uh, are we buy mountains? What the, heck are the mountains are way over here. What the heck? Uh, usually when you buy the mountains, sometimes those drakes show up. But usually they fly off, and then before you know it, they'll come back and try to sneak up on you. Uh, but I'm not doing that. I'm not getting distracted by them mobs. I'm going to go ahead and check this. Look at this. This is already, this is already going. There's already a deal here. Look at this. It's already winding through here. Where does it end? Right here. Mm, then we're going to start getting some mountains. But Oh, look at that. It's already halfway through. It's already got the canal started halfway through. Uh, and the plains are this way. So if I could cut through this mountain here, and it doesn't go up any further, I think we can get that done. Oh, yeah. That's going to take some work, though. Oh, yeah. We could... Look at this. This is already cutting in over here. To right here. Okay, all we'd have to do is lower that a little bit. What? I'm busy. Punch you to death. Get my punching done. Um, yeah, this is already pre-existing. So all we'd have to do is just lower this a bit. Uh, that's pretty easy. Uh, let's mark that. Uh, let's mark this. Nope, not with that. Uh, let's mark it with this. We'll say exit point. Um, and we could just follow that in, uh, to here. Uh, let's actually do something else right there. Uh, I'll say this. Uh, this would be, um, canal path. Canal path. And then we'll probably move this over a little bit. All right, I'm liking that. I'm liking it so far. Kids are buzzing me. Hold on a second. Okie dokie. Uh, I think that's I think that's a doable right there, everybody. Uh, that's for sure, because this already goes uh, right to the water, right here. Again, if we already have something that's pre-existing, that's just less work for us to do. going off into that direction. Might be able to tie it into this point. And just go straight up. But see, this is actually... Uh, uh, this is going to the side. So this I could just come straight through. Try to cut that through or cut wide this way. And just cut around there so that's at a lower area. We're going to need a portal. That's what I should have done. I should have brought a portal, everybody. All right. We know what we need to do. Uh, we got to run back. Right there. Boom. Tree farm. Okay. Bring a portal next time. <laughs> Kismet. Duh. I should have thought of that. That was my bad. Uh, I should have thought of bringing a portal uh, so that I could have uh, put a portal down and just instantly gone back to my base. That would have been smart. But we'll have to make another couple runs here. Uh, a run back to get our... Uh, put my stuff away. Uh, a run back to get our portal stuff. Uh, and we'll probably put a portal on each end uh, as well. And I'll probably start the canal. Uh, and just try to see if I can at least get kind of the rough idea of where I want the canal to go. Uh, and if I run out of time, then uh, I will continue it on. Uh, continue it on next time. But I think we'll have enough time. We'll probably go until about 4 o'clock, so we got another couple of hours. I think we can get a good portion of this canal started, uh, if not even completed. Depends on how it goes. 
Again, notice I don't I don't fight every single mob. Waste my time. I don't fight every single mob. That's okay. I just run past them. I'm out of here. I got other things to do. Sometimes you don't think about things you don't think about. Like bringing a portal. Ooh, raspberries. I break for raspberries. Or strawberries or whatever these are. Whatever they are, I go ahead and grab them for my crew. For later. Oh, there's our tree farm. Right there. Eventually, we're going to move that to our base. Uh, we're going to consolidate all of these things together. Tree farms, uh, animals, all that stuff uh, into one central base. We might have to leave the pigs over here if we can't figure a way to get the pigs over to where we're at. We'll see how it goes. Uh, hey, Blue Kronos. Yeah, it's going good, man. Going good. Working on a bunch of stuff, obviously. Uh, I've got the... Uh, uh, here we go. The drop up. This way. Uh, I'm working on a ton of stuff, obviously. Uh, organizing and doing stuff. Dude, Dropbox. I don't want to put it at the bottom Dropbox. I hate these drop bo Dropboxes at the bottom. I really don't like them there. I really, really don't like them. Uh, I'm going to put them up here in the top Dropboxes. And I think what I'm going to do is put this portal up here at the top, too. Uh, so I don't have to keep running the bottom every time. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, get our portal stuff. Maybe a couple portals. Uh, and let's go ahead and put some of them down. So I just wanted to first see if it was possible. It does look like it's possible. It does look like uh, it doesn't have a, a huge mountain area in the way. We can always traverse around the higher areas as well. But it's already got half of it done in uh, in one direction and then about a quarter of the other direction. So all I got to do is span that in between part. Uh, so we'll try to get that going on. Uh, so we're going to need some cores, some fine wood, and uh, all of that. I'm trying to press the right buttons. Okay, cores. We'll get a full stack of cores. All right. And then eyes. Full stack of that. Uh, and then a bunch of fine wood. Let's get a full stack. In fact, let's get two stacks of that. Let's go. Let's go. Now, how many can we do? 20. Uh, four. We do four portals, roughly. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's get up here to the top. Uh, I'm going to go right on this one. And then I'm going to say right here. And right there. And we're going to say canal. Now. Uh, canal 1. Let's just do canal 1, canal 2. Canal 2. Okay, canal one being the entrance. Uh, how about we just call it entrance and exit? Canal entrance. Uh, inch. And <clears throat> lowercase. EMT for entrance. Uh, canal exit. On there. What can that one do? Oh, there we go. Entrance. Canal entrance. Canal exit. That seems like a good idea. All lowercase so we don't screw up the uh, casing. Where's our little guy? He's right here facing this way. Awesome. Uh, and we can make more portals while we're there. Again, let's double check. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've got more than enough. More than enough. Six things. We're going to need to make two more. All right. I think we're good. Ten, twenty. Yes, more. More than enough. All right. Let's go. Oh, wrong portal. <laughs> Too much of a habit, everybody. Too much of a habit. That's the wrong portal. Wrong portal. That's going back to our base. Our old base. Uh, that's what happens when you do stuff as a habit. How are we doing? We're at eight retweets. We need two more retweets, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the chat. Go ahead and follow that link. Uh, the second link right there. Hit that follow button while you're there. Uh, hit that like button, the retweet button. Uh, we get to 10 retweets. We're going to give you guys 1,000 kiss caps right here in the chat. Uh, for future giveaways and all of that. Uh, all right, that is not the portal that I want. In fact, I'm going to move the portal that I want uh, where I want it to be. Let's do it. All right, again, where'd that tree farm go? Right here. All right, tree farm with a capital T in tree farm.
running in circles. Uh, tree farm. Bam. Uh, all right. And then we're going to need some labels. Oh, I think this is one word. Tree farm. All right, one word. Capital T, tree farm, like that. There we go. All right, this is like in the way, though. That's a little too close. Let's move it off to the side here. It's not in the way of coming in and out of there. Uh, tree farm. And again, we just name it whatever we want there, but this has got to be a very specific name. Uh, all right, tree farm. And we need some more, probably, coal. And a little bit of wood. Coal here. Wood from our overflow. Again, we'll come back and work on our overflow, work on our uh, finished goods. But right now, we'll label this. Too hard to see. All right. Nice. Looks good. Liking everything about it. Okay. Now, we don't want to carry too much stuff with us. Uh, let's put some of this stuff back. Um... Just going to be cutting the canal for right now. Uh, I do want to bring up of this. I could probably put this tin back. Go ahead and max these out. Take a max stack of everything just in case we decide we want to do more portals uh, as we need. Max that out. Put that back. Uh, all right, looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, forward the nighttime too because I feel like nighttime's coming on. Uh, let's forward that if we're going to be out there wailing on it. Set that back. Oh, I can't sleep at this time. It is actually daytime. I can't sleep yet. And while we're up, nope, not that portal. Almost did it again, man. So it's so second nature now. I've been in and out of there a thousand times now. Tree farm. There we go. Battle time. To battle. All right. Let's give you guys a boost. Go. Let's get it done. Get you guys some money. What do we got? 108 units. All right, bam. 1,000 kids, guys. We get to 200 units. I'm going to give you 2,000 each and every time. We're going to try to get this going on. Oh, we got two of them, on, three of them on our side. Look at that. We got that one, the one up there, and then there's also one right underneath me here uh, that we got. Oh, that's, that's probably one of the best ones we've done. Got three of them uh, helping us out. See, we actually ended up with more units than we started with. We started with 108. We're at 109 right now. Uh, how did that happen? That's because we converted some of their units onto our side. Uh, awesome. Uh, over the captain's chest. And come on. Let's go. Give you guys some love. Uh, whoa, look at all these rewards. All right, 20 gold going to Reaper. Tilly, we've got a Barbarian Scroll going to Subi and LOC. And 15 gold going to Kronos. Uh, Wrecking to me uh, coming in. Uh, wrecks me. Uh, is coming in uh, MVP with uh, eight kills there. Nice job. Oh, here it is, everybody. Bring in those epics. Bring in those legendaries. We're going to step it up. Oh, my goodness. Look how many mobs are out. There's probably 200 uh, peeps here. Oh, now the decision is, should I do the healing or should I do the tanking? I'm going to guess healing. Uh, mm, ooh, to go low side or high side? I'm going to say high side on this one, everybody. We're going to go high side left. Uh, right here, 
We're going to try to block out right here. Let's try to block out this whole top part. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use some of my epic planning skills by just basically putting a big block right there and say, go there. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, so we're going to try to block out the whole top part. Now, I'm going to put your tanks around the outside because they're going to attack from all sides. Of course, you can put it wherever you want. Uh, it's up to you. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I am over here at our uh, tree farm. And we're going to go ahead once again. And of course, it's raining just to make it extra difficult for me to get where I'm going. Uh, and we're going to run back. Grab them while you're there. Might as well. Got plenty of inventory space. Oh, yay. The rain stopped. Oh, hello, Mr. Troll. I'd stop and kill you, but I'm busy. I got other things to do, bro. Have a nice day. You can fight with other stuff. I'm busy. I am busy. You follow me, I'm going to kill you. Don't do that. Oh, there's a Drake over here, too. Don't, don't follow me. Oh, see, that guy was smart. Get out of here, boar. I've screwed her out. I'm busy. Oh, it's a perfect day to do this, too. Look how nice and beautiful it is. Oh, gosh. Come on. We got to scout quick before the fog rolls in or something messed up like that. Now, that's going that way. I feel like this one over here that we did was over here to the side, went in much further, right here. Uh, so, let me move this marker uh, over here. Now, entrance. Let's say right there. What's up, Drakey Drake? I hear you. Huh? You don't know who you're messing with, bro. You don't know who you're messing with. All right, let's keep going. Uh, so, yeah, there's a canal there. I feel like this is our best option for canal right here. Uh, we could cut this open here. We could cut this across over to here uh, and use this as the canal. Uh, we're going to need to move this out. Uh, so this is easy here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the start of the canal right here. Nope, wrong thing. There we go. Uh, start of the thing. Let's put our uh, thing down before we forget. Uh, and let's say canal entrance. Uh, oh, I got to do a workbench first. Uh, no, I didn't bring any wood, but that's okay. Uh, I did bring something even easier called an axe. I'm at it. Might as well clear it out. Oh, 
Okay. Gonna need a workbench. Okay, put a crafting bench right there. And our portal. Right there. All right, canal entrance. Oh, wait, we think we put an R in it. All right, canal entrance in the lockdown. Okie dokie. And then we're going to follow this. Yes, this was the correct one. And it's okay if it meanders a bit. We can always straighten it a little bit if we want to. Um, but it is uh, already doing a lot of the work for us. And I like it when it does a lot of the work. What's up, bro? You want to bring it here? Probably not your best idea. Uh, all right. And now we're to here. So this is when the mountains start. Now the water level is here. You can only cut it down so far. Uh, so we could cut to the right. But again, this one, it gets mountainous here. Oh, hello. Grab those while we're at it. Now, is, are we able to do it there? I kind of feel like we might want to go that way. Because uh, it looks like less of a up direction this way. Yeah, this way. And then maybe out. All right, best way to tell, get out your pickaxe and start to do some whammy. Uh, right over here. Now, probably a good place here uh, for the uh, second portal. Uh, so let's see if we got enough for another bench. Nope, we don't. Uh, so let's go ahead and just cut down another tree. Or actually, one already cut down. How easy. There we go. And, oh, still not enough. Any other cut down benches? Or cut down a piece of wood right over here. We'll have to clear, we'll have to clear it from the uh, channel anyway, so I might as well clear it while I'm at it. I'm doing two things at the same time. Uh, all right, bench over here. Oh, what? I'm busy! Get out of my face! Ah, and here comes Mr. Troll. All right, fine. Thanks for taking that tree down. Oh, God. The tree was actually more dangerous than the troll. Uh, the tree can come down and kill you for sure. Uh, that scared me more than the troll did. I thought it was coming down after me. Okie dokie. Oh, there's one of those things in the way, too. i got to watch out for that. God, loot everywhere. Loot everywhere. Okie dokies. No room in inventory. There's a no surprise. Uh, all right, let's start with a little bit of flattening. Kind of like a little bit of shortening, but flattening. Let's see how we're looking. All right, all right, come on, get the stamina up. I feel like I might want to bring a bonfire, too. Yeah, it definitely feels like we should just go straight across this way. That's literally going straight toward the water, too. Look, I'm actually aiming toward the water and right toward that exit point uh, that I wanted to do. This is one of the best ways to kind of illustrate where, what you want to do in this game. Is literally just to go along and flatten everything. Uh, like this. Those raspberries, why I'm at it. Uh, is to flatten stuff. Uh, to illustrate to you or your peeps. This is what you're thinking. Oh my god. I couldn't ask for anything more perfect. Look at that. It literally ran right to the canal. Now, I probably just cut it straight, uh, but it literally just ran already there. 
So awesome. Let's cut this back. I'm making that look easy, everybody. Uh, but because I have real high level weapons and armor and I have a bunch of food, that makes that easy. Uh, don't take that for granted when you first start playing the game because you can't die a lot in this game. Okay, so I feel like maybe, maybe we get that done. Can we cut down this big giant tree? We might have to go around this tree. Some of these things you can't cut down. Let's see. Oh, that's an oak tree. I don't think I've ever even seen an oak tree. Got rid of the stump. Oh, it didn't. Well, let's hit all three of them at the same time. Stamina is the most annoying thing in this game. It's really annoying. Gotta get my uh, rested buff going, too. Why don't we get oak seeds? Uh, I would imagine so. Pine cone. Uh, beach seeds. Bunch of wood. Uh, let's go ahead and just make a chest. First, we'll make a bench. Put the, put the bench down. There we go. Uh, let's make some chests here. We're getting way too overburdened with stuff. Uh, throw all this around. Oh, not my food. Throw all this other random loot in there. Uh, not my fine wood and not my regular wood. We're gonna start making some oak trees. That'd be awesome. Up oh, some more dandies. Yeah, just pine cone. Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome to be able to do oak? Uh, oak tree there. That was a big, gigantic oak tree. Oak tree as well. Uh, very, very nice. All right, put all that random stuff away. Put my food back up there. Uh, we don't need that much fine wood. Okay, so this is our plan with the. Uh, Case in point, you can take out giant oak trees. We did learn that as well. Uh, let's cut this out. Oh. What am I doing? I'm standing. I'm standing down. Down angle from that is not a good idea. That. Ah. Oh, almost came back, got me. Thank goodness for that stump. Yeah, I don't know. Might be too high. Gonna be a close one, no matter what. That lip might be too high right there. That's pretty high up. Again, don't tell me. Part of the fun's figuring it out. Don't come in and say, kid me, you can do this, that, and the other thing. Don't do it. It's called backseat gaming. Don't do it. Uh, all right, so let's get our little whammy. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna flatten first. Flatten, flatten. Oh God, every second with these guys. Get out of here. Work in here. Okay, that's about as much as we can do. Okay. Uh, seven out, and then six. Okay, now it's time to drop down to whammy. Ah, I'm actually swimming there. Okay, well, that's good. If you're swimming, then you're good. Uh, but we still haven't hit the top part of that. What? What? I hear peeps. Uh, now, what we can do, by the way, uh, is you can go ahead and flatten this up a little bit so you're not in the water. Uh, and then just keep going. Now, I obviously want it to go down in the water eventually. Uh, but for right now, while I'm cutting it out, 
Uh, I can't use my tool when I'm swimming. Now, if I walk forward, what's going to happen is it's going to start to ramp upwards. And I don't want to do that. I want to keep uh, hitting it toward the bottom. Like this, so it stays down at the water level. What? What do you want? I'm busy. No solicitors. Because I'm out and about at nighttime, it spawns mobs nearby me. And so I have to deal with their irritations. Oh no. Nope, there it is. Yep, there it is right there, everybody. Again, that's why you test this stuff. That's as far down as I can go. So that canal cannot go this way. Uh, and I can see we're at the peak of uh, where it is. So we got to find another way. That will not work. Again, let's go look and see how high this is compared. So close, too. Look at that. That was... that. Oh, actually, that's a little bit lower. That's a little bit lower. What? You want a little sucker? Get out of here. Uh, it's still a little bit lower than the highest point. Uh, so we've got to find a lower point than that to try to make it past here. Be around that way. A bit lower down here. Through here, maybe. Copper right here, or uh, stone in the way. Yeah, we got to we got to have it lower than where that is. So this is the highest point we can have, right here. So we get a sense of where that's at. Look over here. We might have to divert. actually a spot right there dang that goes all the way in there though that goes all the way in there um we might have to go this way we could get through here i think we can get through there just fine Ah, oh, that's going to be a tough one. That's a heartbreaker, everybody. Literally just that close. That close we could have made that through there. Uh, but that canal is not going to work. Yeah, don't be afraid to just say, okay, that's not going to work. Thank <laughs> you. 
Irritations of running around in the forest at nighttime. What the heck? Oh, that was a one star. I'm just making this look easy because I got good gear, everybody. Don't be, don't be uh, uh, fooled. Do not be fooled. Maybe right here. Again, that kind of looks like what I already have. This definitely looks steeper. Definitely looks steeper. to fight every single mob. I feel like going this way is going to get more mountainous. Get grouped up, peeps. Wipe you all out at the same time. Well, just kind of flatten out this way. We could cut it out this way. And it flattens out. Where am I at? Where the heck am I? Oh, right there. Uh, it does flatten out, but I'm not even looking in the right direction. It's got to go back this way, in which the mountain rises up again. That is a bummer. Bummer Rooney. Um, let's go do this. Hold on. Let's just go ahead. Flatten this out a little bit. pop back through. We're getting too overburdened with stuff. Uh, let's pop back through. Think this through. Think this through. We definitely got to get it going. Uh, when do I get the headlight recipe? You don't. Uh, you got to go buy it from the trader. You got to buy it from the trader. Uh, da, 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 da. Drop that off. Drop it off into the drop boxes. Yay, drop boxes. Okay, into there you go. Uh, let's keep a little bit of this, though. Uh, drop all that other stuff off. Well, maybe keep some wood on us, too. All right, that out. And then canal exit. We're getting it going on, everybody. We're trying to fire it up. Uh, we're trying to uh, find a way to do a canal. Now, I was hoping that would work the first try, but rarely does anything in your life ever work the first try, I tell you. Uh, everything, rarely do things go as planned, but look at that. Just so close. Uh, but you can see it's still, uh, going up a bit there anyway. Uh, so even if we did do that, we would still have trouble going through there. Cause you can only, you can only, uh, hit downward, uh, so much. Uh, you can only cut it so much, uh, before it stops letting you cut it. And that's about it. How do you know? Well, you know, by when you go to cut it like this, you get six, right? Uh, which is my thing. And I try to cut down and you can see. I can no longer cut down anymore, and thus uh, I can't bring the boat through here because that's what I'm going to need. Now, what I could do uh, is I could bring the boat uh, a portion of the way and then walk it to the other side and then, uh, you know, go from that side. Uh, I could do that as well, but it would be awesome to find a way uh, to make a canal uh, where we wouldn't have to do that. And again, it's about the level. So that's about as high level as we can go. 
Uh, looks like, uh, let's call that, actually, let's go look. So the level I'm at right here, and I'm going to need to be right about here. Uh, it needs to be a certain uh, height. Did I not brought, oh, I need workbench. Uh, workbench first. Around here somewhere. Workbench in there. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we need the height to be about this deep, maybe a little bit deeper, uh, but we're going to use uh, walls as our as our measuring. So there's two. Three. Four. And I'd probably call it four. I say it can't be four higher than you standing in water. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that's the water distortion. I'm like, that didn't even look like it's sitting in there right. But yeah, that's a wall distortion. But uh, yeah, so four high is about how high we can make it. So uh, we can start cutting in any direction and then use that as a marker uh, to see if we can make it or not. Now, I feel like we could probably cut back toward the meadows here because uh, we have some meadows area, but maybe we could cut across here uh, to the meadows uh, and get that going. And daytime's coming out, so that might help us a little bit. Uh, so we might have a band in going this way. Because, uh, again, we need to be lower than where we're at. So we're probably right about this level. Uh, we need to do. Come here, you. Uh, so about this level. All the way across. Let's run out here to the meadows. And see if we have enough to get through. Oh, stamina, stamina, stamina. Every single second in this game, stamina! Irritating. I don't know. This looks pretty low side here. Maybe. Again, we're trying to cut our way from one side of the island to the other. Uh, this stone can be taken out. This high side right here is going to be a trouble. This looks pretty far up. No, this is way far up. See, it kind of gives just false, it puts you in that false sense of security that that's going to actually be uh, possible. That's definitely not possible. Right here, we got a low side. A low side through here. Let's tag it. Maybe low side through there and create a canal that way. This is the lowest point that I can see. Maybe through here. I think it's lower on this side than it is on that side. Out of my way, bushes. Maybe. Maybe. All about the maybe. Which way? This way. Maybe through here. That looks that looks just as high as that other spot in comparison. This is already down here, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. All right. Uh, crafting bench. Get the general idea right about here oh that that is a maybe this way maybe through here oh there's already a bench here someone or someone's already been here <laughs> right through there all right let's try that this side is lower this side's lower. Good throw, bro. Sucking up my stamina. Stop it. I don't 
now. That looks pretty, pretty high up to me. Part of the fun is figuring it out, everybody. Don't tell me. Don't tell me if it's possible or not. I like to figure it out. All right, let's do another battle. To battle! All right, you guys have not gotten anywhere close to me, so that means that's going to be really hard for me to heal you, so I hope we can do this. Uh, we'll find out. Let's go. Uh, let's see if we've made a mistake. Oh, I'm going to instantly die. I'm dead. 200 mobs versus our 111. Well, you never know. You might pull it off. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this one's going to be tough. It's an all-out battle. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't work together. But, uh, again, we're uh, turning the tide right now. Uh, I think we might be able to do it. Hopefully you guys group up, heal each other. Keep on a-going. Try to fight your way. It's even right now. 25 to 25. Looking good. Luckily, Twisted Cyberchick, Jethron, a Conspicuous com uh, Compiler, and Curry come in with some epics. Uh, those epics have been helping a lot. Uh, turning the tides at 18 to 14. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a super close one. Uh, this could come down to just a couple units. Uh, let's see. There's a couple awesome people using their epics. Oh, and I think we got it. I believe in you guys. Go, go, go. You got this. That was a close one. Oh, man. People spread all out all over the place. Uh, but, oh, well, we do what we can. All right. Open the captain's chest. Uh, grant you guys some words. Uh, that was lucky, man. That was just because those guys used their epics. Uh, the last splash. Rotisserie G getting 50 gold. Uh, Subi and Reaper uh, getting a musketeer. And Paul coming in getting a buster scrolls there. Uh, and ha, ha, ha. Coming in MVP. 33 kills. Way to crush it. Uh, nice job, everybody. Uh, let's keep rolling on. Now you guys are going to get some loyalty tokens from that. Uh, hopefully you get something nice. I hope you get something nice from that uh, as well. Uh, I feel like we'll go high side. Uh, and then uh, maybe some mystery action. We have enough time? Enough time. We got enough time. Uh, we're going to go for a while. Let's go high side. All right. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the rogue and try to get that rogue to run in there. I'm going to put him down here. See if he runs around and down. Or down around there. Either way, try to take these things out. Uh, come and join me, everybody. Again, every time we go over 100 uh, uh, units, we're going to try to keep on crushing it. Now I'm trying to figure out if this canal is possible. Uh, I feel like this just might be too high. Again, I'm trying to find a low side to breach one side to another. Uh, scouting it out a bit. Again, if I can get it to this plains, I think I can get it the rest of the way. Uh, and the lowest spot I think I found is right here. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and try to keep on the low side as best we can. But I don't know. That seems pretty close. So let's go ahead and give it a go. Uh, again, the best way to try stuff or best way to know is to give it a go. A little too far there. Watch where I'm going, too. I'm going that way.
Now we're looking. We're not even close. We're not even close. We got a long way to go. Darn rock. Okay, we're looking good so far. Get up there, bro. Ah. Oh, wow, that's cutting perfect. Nah, nah, not like it was. We got a long way up to go. Take this rock out. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. That seems pretty high up. Keep on rocking. I'm going to go ahead and just do a ramp. The way you do a ramp is you just keep walking forward. You hit once, walk forward. Hit once, walk forward. Just make sure I'm going in the right direction. It's hard to see the further down you go. Uh, if you are going the right direction. Oh, yep. Yeah, I got I to divert right there. Got to go this way. Got to divert sideways there. Again, you can only dig down so far. So uh, as you're doing this, uh, you're going to run into that height limit. And so that's what we're checking right now, is if we could get the water through here uh, with enough water uh, to bring a ship through here. Gonna ramp again. I can see if I'm going the right direction. Yeah, right there. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Let me get up here. Mm, mm. Ah, that seems way too high. Seems way too high there, peeps. But again, we will we will try anyway. We'll know. We'll get to a point where we can't we can't chop uh, at this lower level anymore. Just trying to make a canal for our boat through here. I think we I think we hit it. There. Yep. I think that's it. I think that's it right there. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Uber so, uh, Soldat coming in. That's three months of sub love, getting that brand new uh, sub badge as well. Uh, bringing in the Kidman Love Train. Uh, thanks for coming in, showing that love. Appreciate it. Show some love in the chat, everybody. Uh, we're going to go back over here. Huh? And try to get out of this water because the water is so annoyingly obnoxious. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's run back over this way, or we could run the other way, either way. Uh, and let's go ahead and repair our stuff by running back through our portal. Uh, there we go. How you doing today, uh, Uber, uh, Soldat? Uh, hope you're having a great day. I appreciate you coming in, bringing in the love. 
uh, we are testing our ability to make a canal through here. And it looks like right at that point where I was, uh, that the uh, uh, that the canal was coming to an end uh, because we were going to rise up so far that we would not have enough water. But again, definitely worth uh, going in and uh, testing it all. We'll do all of that, repair all that stuff, and run back uh, into the canal exit and keep it going on. We'll go until we can't go no more. Again, trying to find the lowest area uh, that I can uh, cut that through. Actually, I should probably just move the portal. Let's just move the portal, everybody. Got to get my rested bonus. Should have went back for my rested bonus. Can I exit? All right, let's go back through one more time. Let's get our uh, rested bonus and all of that stuff going on uh, so we don't have to sit here and suffer. Uh, suffer with this terrible uh, regen. Uh, the stamina is the thing that's going to frustrate you the most uh, about uh, about the game. At least I find that incredibly frustrating because you're trying to mill, doing something, you're trying to build or whatever, and you keep running out of stamina, running out of stamina all the time. Uh, but that's part of the mechanics, so you can't just, you know, uh, endlessly fight and all of that stuff. Um, but let's get over here uh, at our main area over here. Fight our up some fire. Uh, it's just shit right here. Uh, in Comfort 14. Let that fire up. Get our rested bonus here in just a second. Oh, and there we go. 21 minutes of rested bonus. Thank you much uh, for the follow as well. Uh, H. Uh, H. Kaiser. Uh, thank you very much for coming in, showing some love. Uh, let's drop off this loot. What side did we put it on? I can't even remember. I can't remember what side we'd put the loot on. I think at the end we put it. There we are. All right. See if we can stack any of this stuff into there. Nope. All right. Then all of this into there so we're not lugging that stuff around. And back to the canal exit again. So we were working on our giant mega base, which you kind of saw a little snippet of right there. Uh, our giant castle, as well as I'm trying to build a canal. Uh, it's not looking good so far, but we could always build a canal that goes uh, a certain distance and then just carry that over the hump that's in between those two distances and then uh, go the rest of the way. Uh, that does work as well. Um, but uh, it would be nice if you could just take your boat straight through uh, without having to uh, worry about it. Well, I'm going to keep on going, hoping this is going to work out. I feel like I'm just getting to the point now where it's starting to rise upwards. Uh, and I can't dig down too much more. Nope, right there. That's where that spot is. Going this way. Getting close to the workbench. Oh, there's one behind me. 
He's up above me. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, we gotta turn this way. Let's actually go back and straighten this. This should go this way. Awkward to do it at an angle. You know, it's flat to what you're trying to do, and then that's awesome. But when it's at an angle. Okay, I'm making that look easy, everybody. Making that look easy. Where's our workbench? Right there. We're trying to go this way. Let's just go ahead and make a ramp. And here comes the rain. It's either rainy or it's foggy. Again, we could just bridge that area by using a cart. Uh, put it on a cart, bridge that area, and then boat it on the other side without the boat all the way around the outside. Um, but does it make it faster, right? So if I go in here and I cut this canal in, and we go to here, and then you use the thing to move it over here, and then we have another ca canal that we cut all the way back, uh, and then you go there, is that faster than getting on your boat uh, and going around uh, that way uh, or going around the other way, which is definitely be longer that way? Um, but is that going to be faster? Bring it here, canal it across, go across. I feel like it would. What do you guys think in the chat? You think it'd be faster to uh, run the iron here, then uh, run it across, and then, of course, sail it up uh, to where we are up here? I kind of feel like at least uh, you could uh, boat it uh, most of the way. Uh, or what you could do is, uh, you know, not even do the canal at all. Uh, if you're going to do that, uh, you could just as easily just cut out uh, what I just did, uh, cut out a path uh, where you could just cart it over there, right? You could cart it the whole way instead of uh, bringing the whole entire boat the whole time. You can just widen this uh, path out like this, uh, or even this is enough to run the cart. Uh, and you can just run the cart up here, and then you're on the planes. Planes pretty easy with the cart. Uh, and so basically you could just... Uh, Sell yourself right to there, put it on the cart, and just run that cart the whole rest of the way. Uh, which you could bring the rest of this back up again, up out of the water, as best you can. Can't see a dang thing because the darn, because the darn water coming down. But again, we could bring this back up again a little bit. Wait for the stamina to come back up, though. So, yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be tough to get a boat through there anyway. Huh. You guys are so annoying. Annoying. Uh, all right. We out. We out. I think that's what I should do. I think I should just bring the boat over, put it in a cart, run the cart uh, over the hill, uh, and over to the other side. I should just basically build a walkway. Uh, instead of cutting out a canal like I did, I should just build a walkway where I can just take the ramp through there uh, and just bring or bring the uh, just flatten the area where I could just bring the uh, cart all the way to the other side. 
Uh, I feel like that is going to be better in the long run. It would have been awesome to make a canal, though. Uh, but I don't think we have an area that, because it goes up on that hillside there, I, I don't think there's any area on that hillside that's going to be low enough uh, for me to have water through there. Uh, and I could search for it and keep searching for it. There might be a spot. We could go search for it for a few hours. Uh, but I feel like uh, it's not going to be worth it uh, in the long run if you sit there and do that for five hours uh, and then make a canal that you're going to use like one time. Because <laughs> we'd only use it like one time. So we would go in and uh, uh, bring the materials from here uh, and bring it to here and bring it over there. That's all we're really doing. So if I went here to the plains and I just flattened it uh, from one spot to the other, it would be just as easy as making a canal through there. Uh, I just flattened it, tried to ramp it out uh, so that I could run the cart through there. Cut a path, cut out all the trees, uh, and just make a path uh, through there. And I don't need to make it out of stone or anything like that. I can just make it out of dirt. Uh, that's going to be much smarter uh, and much easier. And then I could just path it either through there or just try to go up over these mountains and then path it through there. Uh, I feel like that's going to be uh, the smarter of the two options. Um, but again, we're going to keep on trying. Again, thank you very much for the follow. Who was that? That was Brill uh, Bry Lid. I think that is Bry Lid. Thank you very much for coming in, uh, dropping that uh, love on the stream by hitting that follow button, and become the latest teamwork tycoon here in the Kismet channel. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate everybody chilling out in the channel. We're having a good day today. We got a lot done today, man. We really were rocking, moving all of our resources over here to our giant mega base. As you can see, uh, yeah, we've been doing some work. Uh, again, this is not just me, everybody. This is a whole bunch of peeps, all my team working together, uh, as you can see. Uh, and I just rested there just to forward the day. Uh, and then I'm going to go back here. Uh, and I feel like we'll go to the entrance this time. Uh, let's go to the entrance. And let's see if we can uh, divert this a better way. And just bring the stuff over here, cart it over to the other side, uh, and go with that. So let's go right here. And again, it's either raining, or it's foggy, or it's dark, dark time. Uh, very rarely do you have a nice, beautiful day, uh, I find. Very rare. Very, oh, look, I'm actually in the plains, but it's hilly here. Uh, or the meadows, actually, is what they're called. Uh, but it's hilly here. So that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me when it's hilly. Uh, man, I can just go over one hill instead of going over ten hills. Oh, maybe actually still smarter over here. Oh, there's some thistle. Some more of our food here. Grab that thistle. Uh, so, yeah, maybe better over here. Okay, so here. And then say we want to do land right here. Right where this portal is. Uh, I want to bring our ship in. Bring the ship in, part it, park it right there. Okay, we park it there. Then from here to there is where I want to go. So straight this way. Uh, so. Try to bring that across. I wouldn't have been smart enough to bring some stone. Nope. Uh, let's just get some. Let's get some. I dropped it back off over there. I just got a bunch of stone from doing that. We'll just go to this rock. Okay, and then we'll use our stone to bring this up a little bit, and then flatten out the sides. All right, screw that canal. Screw it. Hey, yo, bro, you see me working here? Get off my lawn. There we go. All right, uh, let's go ahead and bring this up a little bit more. Uh, I'm kind of feeling up here. Stand up as high as we can to try to bring all this up, too. All right, I feel like it's good enough. You land right here, you put it on your cart. This part up just a little bit. This part up. Up. Just to get it out of the water. We're going right for this. All right, let's just do it. Great.
I don't really need the wood. I'm just moving the moving the trees out of the way. You got something better to do, bro? Go do it. Okay, and then I'm going to try to create a nice little ramp out of the uh, thing here. These furs are nice because you don't have to cut, they don't turn into tree trunks. be annoying uh, all right and so we land up the side of the mountain we go oh man that worked out well oh man there's a uh, there's a thing that way all right then we hang a right that's that's so much easier everybody than uh, doing a canal uh, just flatten yourself a path uh, forget that canal uh, again this would be the hardest thing getting it up this side right here um, but you know, I think I could get that. I think I could get it up there. Uh, it's better than going straight up. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, let's cut this tree out of here. Press the right buttons. Yikes! Whoa, almost got me. Just, I didn't see there was two pines there. Almost came back at me. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, hey, Kismet, how can you possibly be on day like 300 plus and only have like about, uh, how many? How much was that? I think it was like 13 or something. Uh, something really scary. Uh, 19. How can you possibly only have 19 uh, wood cutting? Uh, that's because I don't typically do a lot of wood cutting, obviously. Uh, usually my crew is doing that. So uh, I, I got to get it going on. Now, at some point, I will be just, you know, cutting the heck out of these trees. Uh, and there is actually a buff for it as well uh, that I can get. But. Oh, you lucked out. Lucked out with that dodge. But yeah, that's why you're wondering why my skills are so low. <laughs> that's why. Uh, my crew is uh, amazing. Okay, so yeah, we'll flatten this out even more. Uh, like dish. Try to improve that angle a little bit. And yeah, a little better flattening here. Bring that up a little bit. Oh yeah, perfect right there. That's nice. Maybe a little bit right here so we don't have to run into this. I'm liking everything about this. Try to avoid some of this stuff so I don't have to redo the wheel here. Uh, I have to cut everything down. I think it's way easier just to make a path uh, than it is to cut a canal through. Way easier. I'm carrying too much? That should be on my tombstone. Carrying too much. He was carrying too much. Uh, workbench. Come on, workbench. Too much stuff. Let's put all of our put all of our portal stuff in there. We don't need that right now. Okay. So let's clear some of this stuff here. Yeah, pressing the wrong buttons like crazy. It's gonna definitely be a bit uneven. 
you there. Can't see a dang thing because there's stupid fog in my way. I'm just doing a lot of pre-work today, by the way, everybody. Uh, I'm doing a lot of pre-work that pays off tomorrow. Uh, sometimes that's the way it is both in-game and in real life. Uh, you do a lot of work yesterday, that helps you today. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm just clearing, a, clearing away... There we go. Okie dokie. What are we going toward here? Oh, we're going toward our thing here. We're going to have to hang a left. Hang a left. Stump already. All right, fine, fine. Stamina. We'll just go right over the top of you. That battle here in just a moment. I think this little area through here. Now you don't have to be that extravagant, by the way, uh, with the lower side. Uh, just this part here, where you're coming up over the mountain, uh, is going to be the most annoying because you're going to have trees in the way and mobs are going to be on you and all of that. Uh, that's gonna get really super annoying. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is just make enough, make enough of a road just to kind of bridge that gap uh, right there. And then we're just going immediately for the closest bit of water, which I would say right there. And maybe we'll move it over just a little bit. Like that. What, Mr. Troll? Can't you see a grown man making a making a road here? I'm out. Get wrecked! Don't bring it if you don't got it. That's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, another battle. To battle! All right, let's boosty boost all of our little rogies. Go rogues! Just get it done!
All right. So I can focus there. Uh, open cap chest. Bam. Uh, let's see. Last flash. Subi, LOC, and Reaper getting some love. Reaper MVP with a 15 kills. One step closer to that boss win. Let's go. Nice job, everybody. Again, how are we looking? Three skull. More rogue action. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We can use a rogue in here for sure. Uh, I'm thinking over here around the corner. Uh, no, this one right here. Right there. Run down there and grab that sucker. Uh, all right, let's do it. All right. Now, I don't have to make a path through here. But that's not going to stop me from doing so anyway. Because, uh, man, look at this. That's what I was doing while you guys were watching that battle. Making me a nice little flat road. Uh, that's going to take me right over here. Like a so. Cut a little bit into the mountain edge here, just to make it easier to flatten this. Ugh. Stamina. All right, just sit down. Take a take a break, bro. Ah, oh, and I lost my I lost my rested thing. Uh, I should have brought my portal. Oh well, deal with it later. Uh, I'm just gonna try to go along the edges. Uh, right here. Uh, just to stay kind of uh, at the ground level. And that's going to allow me to get there a bit faster so I'm not going up and down and all over the place uh, and so on. But again, you don't have to do this with your cart uh, in the meadows part. This is this is like the easiest zone uh, to be in. But I'm just going to... I'm basically just reminding myself which way I'm going, right? Where I'm going to, how am I going to get there uh, to bring all this stuff here. And I think, I think we might not have... We might have enough time. We might have enough time uh, in this stream... Uh, to get on the boat, come over here, put it on a cart, and then cart it over here, and then sail it to our primary base. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. That, that might take a while, but again, I could use my buff. That could help me. Right now would be the time to go, though. Right now is a beautiful day. Uh, that is the time to uh, bail on out of there. Uh, I'm going to say right here is going to be where I'm going to put my dock. There's a nice little uh, area there. So I'm going to try to reverse back this way. Try to flatten this mountain edge out a little bit. Yeah, right through there. Come on. Oh, stamina is so painful. Okay, we got this, everybody. We got up. Oh, look at that. Ah, hold on, we got to fix that. That we got to fix. I mean, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Soften that edge a little bit. There we go. All right, Mr. Stone. I know you're gonna be in my way when I come down here. I'm just gonna take it out now. Uh, there we go. And then this stone is probably where I'll stop the cart right there. Uh, we need to build a boat right there. So we need to put a portal there. We need to put, we already got a portal on the other side. We got to get our exit portal, bring our exit portal over here. Uh, and then we got a bit of a thing here. This road's a little iffy, but it's good enough. pigs on me while I'm doing my uh, run. Get those out of the way. I think that's going to work. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> we'll certainly find out. Uh, that is for sure. Ah, see, where's this going from right here? Yeah, see, that looks like it's going up that way when I should be going this way. Use this one. I've already flattened out. 
And this right here, I'm just gonna say, no, 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 kismet, do not go that way. Oh, I'm out of stone. I'm out of stone. Uh, what else can I use? I'll just say, ah, fingers, come on, work with me. Uh, I'll put a workbench there. It says, no, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Go this way. This thing out of the way. Bam. All right, that definitely looks like a path. Okay, let's get this loot here in a second. Uh, oh, we got to get that other loot, too. Which loot I got on me? Not that much. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Let's get this portal first. Get all my portal loot back. Some loot I left way down here. I hate leaving loot around. If I can just grab it real quick, I'll just grab it. Not what just stopped. Ah, reloading again on Stream Raiders. A lot of patches coming through. Uh, what did I do with it? Uh, what? Oh, it's up the hill. It was up the hill. Oh, God. Again, I was going to try to dig a canal through here uh, where we could... There it is. Uh, where we could uh, basically uh, drive our boat through here. But after, you know, testing it out, trying a few things out, uh, I can tell you that uh, it's it just take longer uh, to do that canal uh, exit. Uh, it just take longer to do that uh, than it would be to just run it across the land area. Uh, so let's grab any of the loot we can here, and we're out. That's why it's always good to have a, 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 a portal with you, and then you just have a temporary portal. Uh, like, you can even just call your name, Kismet. Uh, right? And then you always have that portal as your portal. Uh, and so when you go to use it, you tear down the portal every time afterwards. And then as you're running around, boom, put the portal down, teleport back, uh, with your loot. I wish I'd learned that way earlier in this game. Uh, that would have been awesome. Oh, Dropbox. Went right past him. Drop boxes. Droppy drop. I'm getting my food back. Uh, droppy drop. All that sweet, sweet loot into there. Oh, I'm going to stack a little bit of that in there. Over here, more drop box action. Okay, let's forward time because it's getting to be dark. Man, we're just clicking away on these days. Now, supposedly, just like in Seven Days to Die, it gets harder and harder and harder uh, the more days you go in. Uh, we're day 300 plus. <laughs> uh, a lot more since I've been forwarding. Normally, we don't forward it, by the way. Normally, we just we play through the nighttime uh, as well. Uh, but I'm forwarding it just so I can see what the heck I'm doing. And you guys can see what I'm doing as well uh, as I'm working. Because uh, nothing like watching someone in pitch black can't see what they're doing. That's also why I have my little uh, circlet on uh, so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. Going right. Uh, canal exit. Let's grab the rest of this loot. And then we're going to set up our uh, set up our entrance and exit. We're going to build a boat on the far side. Really? Get out of there. Uh, and so on. Oh. Pick those up. Take out the canal. I mean the uh, portal. Take out the workbench. And we out. Okay, let's readjust this. That's not... Oh, wrong buttons. I'm going to press the right button at some point. Uh, this is... Canal Run Portal. All right. Or no, let's, let's call it the proper thing. Let's call this Canal Exit. Exit. There we go. Now, it's, there's not actually going to be a canal. Uh, as uh, we've tried a, a few times uh, to try to put a canal there... Uh, I'm sure if I took my whole team and we surveyed the whole area and we found the lowest point, we could try to work it uh, and whatnot. But again, the amount of time it would take to do that uh, is not worth a single run. But it was cool to check uh, and try. 
uh, and do it. I feel like we could just make a single run uh, with our boat. Uh, and then, uh, just, uh, flatten it back out, uh, and just run it to here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and make a nice little flat area here at the end, like so. Let me flatten this out big time, because we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a nice little spot here, uh, for our crafting bench. Yeah, right there. And then our portal. Now, why do I build the crafting bench on that side and the portal on this side? Well, the reason why I do that is if they're going to attack something, hopefully they attack the, the, the bench before they attack the portal. Because uh, you definitely don't want... Oh, no. Uh, canal uh, exit. Uh, you definitely don't want uh, them attacking your portal and knocking your portal out. And then you got to uh, work your way back there manually. Uh, now, I could run my way all the way back again. But all I can do, I can just go in here like this, which is way easier. They're running all the way back there. In fact, it would take less time for me to go into the portal and wait for it to load than it would be for me to run all the way back uh, to the other side. And so now I can go in here and I could have went back in the other portal and ended up on the other side. Um, but the smart thing for me to do is start to work on my uh, transit. And so I'm going to work on some transit items. And I'm going to start with of course, our cart. And we're going to need 10 bronze nails and 20 wood. That's pretty easy. And a workbench. Uh, so we, of course, were smart enough to organize all of our stuff so that if we need some bronze nails, GG, they're right there. And, of course, we have tons of overflow wood over here uh, and other items that we can use. Uh, this all needs to still be done and our finished stuff needs to be done. Uh, but right now, I'm worrying about moving our uh, biggest stuff, which is our... Uh, uh, our thing, stuff, and thing. <laughs> our uh, uh, heavier stuff, which is our iron, uh, copper, all of that stuff. I want to go ahead and get it from uh, our current base uh, to our new base. And I'm going to go ahead and drive that boat right up here. Uh, then I'm going to put the cart right here, and we're going to try to run it across. Now, let's see if I can get this to be a little bit flatter here. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's okay. Uh, what I'll do is I'll run the boat up, uh, and then I'll put it into a uh, into some boxes. Uh, and then from those boxes, I'll go ahead and I'll put it in this cart right there. Okay? And so we're going to need the ability to uh, run our boat right here next to this uh, and put it on a, uh, uh, put it on a uh, thing. Brain, come on. Why is, why is my brain not working? It's got sleep apnea sucks. That's why. Uh, put it on a dock or put it on something. So we're going to go ahead and raise this up a bit, though. Don't ever trust that the water is going to be this low because it's not. Uh, it is so not going to be that low. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start with that. Or actually, no. Let's start with uh, let's start with a nice tall pole. Let's say one of these. That's even better. Uh, and basically, we're just going to build ourselves out. Uh, a bit of a dock. Oh, I'm too far away from my workbench. Maybe another one over here. Ah, there's always some dude bothering me. Not bothering me, bro. Busy. Working over here. The better men of my crew. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and stick this right about here. Alright, I kind of feel like... Oops. I kind of feel like that might be okay. Again, we're going to try to uh, run it out here a bit. Again, using that center pole. Nice jump, dude. Try a little bit further. There we go. Uh, nope, that's going to... It might be a little too shallow. A little too shallow there. Let's push out a little bit more. Sometimes, you know, you try stuff, you see if it works. If it doesn't work, it's okay. Yeah, right along this edge here. This is a little natural dock edge here. All right, let's try that. Bring it up. I like to do a double post. The uh, reason why I do a double post is in case I need to rise it up uh, in a minute. Let's go ahead and put it up nice and high again. Because the what happens is the water swells and it goes up and down. Uh, uh, so we got to watch out for that swell. Uh, oh, and look at that as the water does it right when I say it. Uh, there we go. It's almost like on command. And the whole point is that we can reach 
this uh, while in the boat. Actually, let's go ahead and do a little of this. Oh, we, oh, that's a. St I'm on a rock. I can't. I can't adjust it. But as I see, as the swell comes in, it's going to make it where I can't build. It's going to pull me a little bit further into the water, and then it's going to be deep enough where I can't actually use my tool here. All right. So let's just say a little bit higher like that, because with my luck, uh, what's going to happen is. Uh, uh, there's going to be a, like a storm or something going on uh, when I'm bringing that in. Now, just in case uh, I can get it from a lower area, I will also uh, bring it down uh, to a lower area like this. Uh, and, of course, I run out of wood. That also is going to happen. Let's go get some more. Meow. God, running out of time. Well, maybe we won't have enough time to do this, but at least we'll set it up. We'll set it up maybe for Saturday night. Uh, how much longer we got on this battle? Uh, oh, I can't. I don't know because uh, it timed out. Hold on, let me get back in there. 13 minutes. Yeah, we're probably going to run out of time. Uh, but we're going to try real hard. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. Get that wood. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. Wrong wood. Where'd it go? Right here. Bam, bam. Let's go. Pump that food. Boom, boom, boom. Get that food going. Running out of food, too. Uh, let's pump it. Pump it, pump it. Again, what I'm trying to do is just build a temporary dock uh, where I can uh, offload the uh, stuff. And then I got to go to the other side uh, and make an area so I can load uh, the thing, right? Oh, I went to the wrong one. Speaking of, the other side. I went to the wrong one. That was the exit. I try to go to the entrance. Entrance here. Okie dokie. Now we got some more wood. We can go ahead and bring this down a bit. Multiple levels. Let's go ahead and put a nice little support there in case something horribly goes wrong. There we go. And now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so I think we could roll up. Oh, that rock's going to be in the way. Uh, maybe through there. It might be not shallow enough. And try to get it right here. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can extend it out a bit more. Hmm. Hmm. I think that might be good enough. You're standing in the boat. You could probably hit right here. But let's just go ahead and try it and see what happens. So we're going to go ahead and put our chest right by the side. Same thing up here. Chest by the outside. Uh, oh, no workbench there. Back up just a little bit. Chest by the side. So I'm standing in the boat. I take all the stuff. I'm looking at the chest. I put them in the chest. I get off the boat. That's the whole premise of that. Uh, and again, it's going to be real close there. Uh, it probably is shallow enough. Let's go for a swim. See. Oh, yeah. No, that's definitely deep enough. Oh, yeah. If I drive it just right, I don't ram into that rock right there and crash and die, uh, I'll be just fine. Look at that. That's plenty. That's plenty. Definitely. That's absolutely uh, deep enough there for even the biggest ship. Get up there, bro. All right. Uh, that is a GG. And then we gotta we gotta walk it from over there to over here. So let's see if we can go ahead, uh, flatten this out a little bit, bring this up, and walk that from location to location. Of course, the uh, the water's gonna swell uh, right there. You're gonna see it. Uh, the tide's gonna come in and out, uh, but at least it'll be a little bit flatter. We'll need to walk it from there, lug it over here, put it into this cart. Now I have the cart up a little bit uh, so that if it does if the water does swell. Uh, it doesn't do that. Now, by the way, if you notice, this water over here does not swell. Uh, it does not go up and down because uh, that's uh, that's river water uh, versus ocean water. Uh, yeah, there is a bit of a difference. Okay, so we got that done. Uh, what else we wanted to do? We were doing something. I can't remember. Something that I needed bronze nails for. 
Uh, derp, derp, derp. I, oh, I, I do in the cart. All right. So I did the cart with the bronze nails. And we need to go ahead and sail our way here. Drop that stuff off. Then we need to go to the other side. Why am I going that way? Portal. Uh, then we need to go to the other side and we need to have a ship ready on the other side uh, so we can do the same thing. So we can just uh, bring the cart over, grab the materials, put it into the ship, and then sail the ship uh, where we want it to go. Uh, and that would be the exit over here. We're going to get this, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for coming out and, and hanging out uh, in the stream. I appreciate it. Now, if you do have a comment or question for me, my name is Kismet. You can use my name in the chat. Don't even use, need to use the at symbol, uh, and it will highlight in red. Uh, if you do want to uh, even highlight your message, uh, you can also use the uh, channel points to highlight your message as well. Now, that's a really good spot right here. I feel like we could probably uh, flatten this out a bit uh, and just kind of go a bit further out into this area here. Kind of ramp this down into a... Hey, a punch! Punch, punch! Uh, ramp that down into a little bit of something. We got some rocks in the way that way, though. Rocks in the way that way. How about over here? Oh, this actually is better over here. All right, let's go with this, but I can't do anything because my work ban... Oh, pig, get out of here. Um, because my workbench is not covered. So let's see if we got enough wood to just quickly cover this. Actually, you know, let's just build that. And uh, we're going to need our thingy thing. It's not hard for me to even see it. exposed. Still too exposed. All right, whatever. Uh, there is a like sweet spot where you could just do that, but we're just going to do this. Okay, that's definitely too far back. Too far back is why it's not letting me do that. Let me move it a little bit forward. Under there. Really? Still two. All right. No problem. Let's just build a nice little extravagant thing here. Now, again, not everything works perfectly in this game, everybody. That uh, I've done that many times. Uh, I think it's because this is lifted up on this side. But let's get serious. Yeah, it's lifted up on that side. That should be more. Th that should be more than enough uh, to cover that. Let's just move it forward a little bit more and see if that helps it. Yep, that was it. Too far back. Too far back. So I didn't really need to build all that, but you get the idea. Uh, all right, we got that done. Uh, we're flattening. That's what we're doing, and we're gonna go this way instead. Something like that. Still some rocks here, but I think we could park a boat there, maybe even long ways across there. Seems like a plan. Uh, thanks so much for the follows. The bread coming in and Mr. Mantizo. Uh, thanks for coming in with those follows. Appreciate you coming in, hanging out in the stream. Uh, between things like that and not being able to get uh, the ground perfectly flat, this game drives me nuts. Well, got to think it's still early access. Give them, give them some slack. Um, because uh, this is a 10 out of 10 early access, everybody. I played some $60 games that weren't even as close to as good as this game. They weren't even close. But I bet you they're going to have some $70 games, because that's ridiculous, uh, that are going to be just the same way. They're not going to be even as close as good as this game. Or four or five times much. This game's only 20 bucks. $20 game. I've got more out of this $20 game, again, than I've gotten out of a lot of games. Uh, that is for sure. Uh, all right, so we got that going. Uh, what else do we need? We needed 
Uh, we needed our workbench. Oh, moved over here. That's what we need. Uh, we'll leave that workbench there. We'll just make another one. Okay. Now we're going to need to run this out. Where are we at on the low side? Again, we're going to have, we're going to have the water's going to surge. And the boat has a certain height, too. Uh, so we need to think about that when we are, are trying to run over here and dropping off our loot. And so I want to be uh, up high enough. Now, that's probably going to fall because I'm stuck. Uh, I'm trying to get back up here quickly before it falls uh, to put a support under it. There we go. If you notice, it'll change color, too. Uh, see how it's now back to green? That's because I put a support under it. Now... You know, you don't have to put a support on this side if you don't want to. But it just looks better. It just looks like a real dock now, right? Like you'd really run out there and have a dock there. Uh, there we go. And then we're going to try to sneak in. Maybe one more at the end. Of course, I'm out of wood. Of course, I am. I'd expect nothing less. Ha-ha! Take this, trees! Kismet. Coming in, missing all the trees. There we go. I definitely suggest to use these these ones uh, in the lower levels. Uh, they are way easier to cut down. Uh, take less time. Grab a little bit of wood. Like of that. Alright, let's try to get this in here before it surges again. Nope. Nope. Good enough. I feel like that might be good enough. Uh, let's go ahead and widen it a little bit. All right, good enough. Uh, now we need more. More. Oh, that's not. Dash not something. How we doing? Two minutes. God, time goes by so fast. So fast when you're having fun. But what we're going to do, everybody, is we're going to go ahead and try to finish up this little bit here. Uh, we're going to pick this back up on Saturday. We're going to go ahead and do a battle. I'm not going to go into battle mode. We're just going to peace out uh, out of here. Uh, after we do this next battle. Try to get this going over here. And really, the only last thing I want to do here, of course, is uh, put some uh, put some chests at the end. Like that. So I can get the uh, stuff. I can bring the... Uh, this is right in the way now. Uh, I can go ahead and bring... Like off to the side. Uh, I can bring the, uh, the uh, uh, cart all the way along the path. Bring it here, and of course, you know the well, best well blade, uh, well laid plans always uh, turn out uh, horribly. But then again, you'll have to tune in to find out how it ends up, right? They'll be leaving you on a cliffhanger uh, where I'm going to try to cart all of that iron over here to another ship, and then I'm going to sail that ship uh, all the way from where I'm at right here, all the way up. Uh, and around, and around town over this way, through here, up through there, around this, around that way, uh, and then all the way up here to where our base is uh, to bring all of our uh, iron and all of that other stuff there. So I think that's going to work out wonderfully or horribly, uh, one or the other. Uh, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Now, while we're at it, let's go ahead and uh, run back, uh, since we do have another minute or two. Maybe we could go ahead and get our boat in the water on this side. And that's really all we'll need. Then on Saturday night, we can come back. I can go ahead and get the stuff uh, uh, onto the boat. Then take the boat and get out of my big gigantic dock that I built there and try to back it out of there uh, and then run it over here. Maybe my crew will go with me uh, on an epic journey uh, to bring all of that loot back. 
Now, if you are one of my crew, obviously don't go and do that because that is what I just set up so I can do it. Uh, that would be very rude if you are in a group, by the way. Uh, be conscious of uh, when you're stepping on other people's toes uh, because that's not cool, bro. That's not cool. All right, let's put that away. Uh, let's get some more food here so I'll remember that for next time. Oh, and there it is. All right. Let's get some food here. Uh, what's this? These are... This is food stuff. This is like raw food. It's raw food. Let's go over here and put this under meat. Raw food, raw food. You know what? I'm going to put blood under meat too. There we go. Put all the meat together. Uh, all right. This is going to be finished food in here. And so... Uh, what was I doing? Oh, thinking of uh, getting the big boat. Uh, normally, I don't like to take the big boat, by the way. I like to take the medium-sized boat. I feel like it's easier to navigate uh, shallow areas. Um, but let's get the big boat ready. What do we need? We need iron nails, ancient bark, fine wood, deer hide. All right, let's do that first. Hold on. Let's get our iron nails. How many iron nails do I need? A hundred. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, how many we got? 145. All right, nice. That's enough to uh, definitely do. That's the hardest part of that, by the way, is have enough iron nails uh, to make the boat. Uh, so let's grab that. Uh, ancient bark. I already forgot how much I need. 40. Uh, 45. All right, we'll take that one. And then deer hide. Oh, that's not going to be a problem. We got so much extra of that. We have got a lot, a lot of that. Uh, fine wood, 40. Also, overflow currently, 44. We'll take it. Uh, what do we got? And there we go. We got ourselves a boat, everybody. Let's go put it in the water. Or no, let's not put it in the water. Let's hold it until next time, and then we'll put it in the water. How about that? Uh, let's go ahead and go to the bed and save the server so everything we just did don't it doesn't get lost uh, for when we play uh, tomorrow. Good use of signs. Well, thank you, Brett. Thank you very much. Uh, no gain. The game, uh, the game is a steal at that price. Oh, absolutely. Uh, now, if you haven't seen our awesome mega base, I'll give you a quick tour here. Uh, you can see this is our living quarters here, uh, and of course our grand hall. As you can see, uh, you know, little, tiny little base. You know, as you do. <laughs> uh, and of course, over here you can see we have our cooking areas. We got our windmills going off to the side there. Uh, we're going to build ourselves a little beekeeper area here, and you can see we are on the plains. That's right, the hardest area of the game. Uh, currently, uh, as well as you can see, we got a tiny little bit of a farming going over here. Just a, you know, there's a little smidge uh, going on. Uh, as well as if we go ahead and run down here, I'll give you a quick little view. But of course, it's going to be foggy and dark because that's how it goes in this game. It's either dark or foggy or it's raining or something's going on. Uh, it's rarely ever sunny all the time. So I'm going to run over here to give you this little bird's eye view of our mega castle uh, that we're currently still in construction uh, after weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh, wait. Hold on. I, I stand corrected, everybody. Hold on now. We got the sun rising uh, coming up on the side there. Look at that sunrise over there on the side coming in through the side of the thing there. Now, over here on this side, these are all uh, uh, portals. Those are our portal area. We have a three-story portal area. Uh, of course, we have our cooking area, our foraging area, and our crafting area up there. Uh, and this is just getting started. You can see this is going on. We're going to get our animal pins uh, in as well as uh, a whole bunch of other stuff uh, that we are going to work on next time. Oh, let's get our bonfire back. Oh, I don't have any wood. Come back to it next time. Uh, we got to get going. We got to get going. Now, I am the all-powerful Oz uh, of the server, anyway, uh, where uh, I can press F5 and I can type the word save, and boom, it's now saving my progress onto our primary mega server uh, that we do play on. We have up to 10 people on there. Some of our servers, we have up to uh, 64 people up on there, too. We could override it if we wanted to, uh, but uh, usually we have up to about 10 peeps uh, on the server, uh, usually around 5 to 10. Uh, very, very fun. Now, let's do this battle real quick, and then we're going to head out to battle. All right, battle is on. Let's do it, everybody. Let's get it fired up. Uh, this is a truly epic base. This is nothing. We're just getting started, the Brett. We're just getting started. Wait till you see us build the entire village down below in the epic 10-lane dock I'm about to build down there. But first things first, 
We've got to tear down our old base. You want to be here Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the dot because we're going to tear down our old mega base. You think this base is cool. That base was cool, too, uh, but it wasn't an awesome castle like this one. Uh, and it was also in the Dark Forest, and this is in the Plains. So uh, you're going to see us tear that down. So everybody make sure to be here uh, Saturday night because uh, it's going to be awesome. We're going to watch my crew tear that down. Uh, and then we're going to uh, push, uh, try to take this stuff across the sea uh, and bring it to our current base. And then from there, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, then start to work on the fifth boss. We're going to try to find the fifth boss. Don't tell me anything about it. Uh, I have not done the fifth boss yet. Uh, so I can't wait to go ahead and try it. It's going to be fun. Oh, too easy, everybody. Too easy on that one. Took that win. Very nice. Oh, look at all these rewards. See, the more units you guys put down. How many you put down? 92. So close. Uh, the more units you put down, the more item rewards I get to give out, right? It does it automatically. I don't have any control over it. Uh, just more units down, more uh, item rewards. Uh, Orb coming in. We got LOC. We got uh, the Brett, Blue, Kronos, and Reaper all getting some love. Do you know that I do sometimes 10? 12, 13, 15 hours of battles all day long. Did you know that I do that? I usually do, except for one day of the week, and that is Friday, uh, which is uh, the uh, uh, my family day. So I'm going to go hang out with the family. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, congrats to Big Fubar, uh, who was MVP of that round with 11 kills. Way to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick this up uh, next time, again, uh, Saturday night, and we're going to uh, finish off those last two battles. Now, let's go to my office, give you guys some love, then we're going to head on out. All right, everybody, you're going to see it pop up right there on the side. Look at you guys, are right there. Look at you. You're immortalized and will be immortalized forever because it's going to go up on my YouTube eventually. Uh, right on there. Uh, so go ahead and uh, show me some love here by going over the Twitter page. Hit that follow button. Really fantastic way to support the stream. Hit the button for the YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, everybody, who has done that. Uh, going over there. I've got tons of videos over there. I'm one of the few streamers on Twitch or really any platform that puts every single stream up. I'm talking whether my stream is two hours, four hours, six hours, 20 hours. Uh, it is up there on YouTube. Yeah, except for a few of them that got corrupted. I can't help. That, that's beyond my power, everybody. But uh, basically, 99% uh, of them are all up there on YouTube, including guides, unboxing, stuff that I've given away. There's all sorts of killer stuff up there for you to check out, including a giant playlist of all the playthroughs, like Valenheim, uh, that you can go through and look at how we started our base and how we got started and how we went through uh, and got to the point we are. Uh, so you're welcome to go check all that stuff out, as well as uh, probably your best resource is my Discord and my website, kismet.gg, because I get it all the time. Kismet, what kind of equipment you got? What kind of microphone? What kind of lights and stuff and all of that? Uh, and I've made that super easy, where you just go to the website, kismet.gg, you click on studio equipment, and boom, there they all are. Uh, you can check out what video card I've got and all that stuff that I commonly get questions about. And you can even click on it, and it will take you up to Amazon or wherever it is, uh, like if you want to get Maya or or you want to get uh, Adobe products or any of that stuff, uh, you can click that. It'll take you right wherever you need to go to get it going on. All right. Uh, so thanks very much for being in today. I had a really fun time. I hope you did uh, because, man, did we crush it. We absolutely crushed it. We spent five hours five hours straight just taking all the loot from one place and moving it to the other one so we went back and forth and back and forth moving the loot back and forth back and forth and we got it done so we've set up our people for success right that's my job my job is to facilitate greatness in my team now my team's gonna hopefully be here uh saturday night uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, to work on more of the base. We're going to also we've got a village we're working on down below there. Uh, we're going to try to get that going on, our docks and all of that. So much more to do. So much more to do. And then try to hunt down the fifth boss, try to take out that fifth boss. Once we take out the fifth boss, by the way, you guys can bring your character. Say you're, having, you're stuck on the second boss or fourth boss or whatever boss you're stuck on uh, and you can't find anybody to help you, you're welcome to come jump into our server. Once we kill the fifth boss, uh, we'll be happy to help you take out that boss. Uh, be a team player, though. If you're going to come on our server, make sure to be a team player. All right.
Uh, all right, so that's it for me, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and press the button and head out for the day. I will be back again once, man, I've about said that about 10 times now. Uh, I'll be back again, uh, again, uh, Saturday morning or Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, let me go ahead and give you guys a bunch of kids cats before I forget. There's 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 cats. We didn't quite hit 10 retweets. Maybe, maybe next time we'll try to hit that. Uh, and that's it for me, everybody. See you guys Saturday night. We're going to have some fun. Bye, everybody. Hey everybody, Kismet here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right in the center of the screen. Also check me out live on twitch.tv slash kismet. I'll see you all next time. 